Hey everybody, how's it going? Made it to the weekend yet again, which means it's time, this weekend at least, for the last of the Chaos Fortune Cookie bonus streams. A little late, uh, but better late than never. So I have the last ten wow. games. <laughs> and I have Leroy Jenkins screaming at me. Uh, the last ten games that people donated to see on stream. And let me just read out the list for you guys here before we hop into it. That is the wrong server I'm on. Oops. There we go. Tonight, you will be seeing the games in this order, barring any issues. Death Road to Canada. Custom Robo for the GameCube. Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Threads of Fate for the PlayStation 1. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart for the PS5. Breath of Fire 4. The Legendary Starfy for the DS, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, Ark the Lad, Twilight of the Spirits for PS2, and we end with AI the Somnium Files. So it's going to be a solid list, and at least for a little bit tonight, I've got two buddies hanging out with me here as well. Feel free to introduce yourself. Let's go alphabetical. Uh, what, what come, what's first? D? Shit, Wait. shit, you're uh, right. I just realized it's like, it's the opposite if I go by usernames. Damn it. <laughs> Well, I think, ja Jack, I, you I spoke up I'm first, so I think we'll just, we just, just you can just go. Oh, okay. Hi, hi, hi. It's me. It's Jack. <laughs> Hell Hello, yeah. J. I'm the J, the J-Man. What's up, guys? The J-Man is here as the only J-Man in this call currently. <laughs> That's man. great. The one, the one J-Man. That's right. The one J-Man. And we've also got Dan joining us as well. Hi. Right. Have y'all tried dates? Dates are very good. Like the food or going on a date, like the uh, like uh, both, but like food scheduling scheduling something like a date. Oh, <laughs> do you have y'all heard of a calendar? Have y'all are y'all aware of the concept of time? Sometimes yeah. I don't think so. Well, Never let's open it. up this stream. Time is like a human construct, bro. <laughs> Time's all made up, man. Time fucking sucks. Anyone who likes it's lying. You're a lion? No. Oh, wait, that's not, that's not my persona. Sorry, though. It's not talking about like, the food, though, right? Like the, uh... Oh, Damn, yeah. Dan was talking about dates the food, yeah. Mm. It's not like a fruit. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Oh. It is. Okay. Whew. Okay. I knew that. <laughs> So good. I think I got everything set up, and the one thing I forgot to do was pull out the timer. Oops, give me a second. Yeah, because fruits have um, seeds. That's right. <coughs> are, pits, are pits just big seeds? Wait, um, what? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like a big ass seed. Yeah. All right. These ones like. When does it? At what? What? Met, what? Like, uh, you know, size does it like transition over to pit status? Is it when it's more than like an inch or less than an inch? I thought it was just if it's like the gap inside of it is just a certain size. Isn't that what what dictates it? Or wait, is it is it just because it's one pit as opposed to? I have not seeds? put this much thought into fruit or vegetables in a long time. Well, salads are delicious, and so are vegetables. <laughs> that's more thought than I put into salads or that's vegetables. That's, that's true. John, do you hate? Yes, that's yes. Just say yeah. I'll just say yes to that question. <laughs> What were we gonna say? Yeah, I, I stopped. I stopped myself. John, do, do you, you hate? Do you... Oh yeah, all the fucking time, dude. <laughs> do you hate He's salad? A hater. Sorry, Dan. What was the question? Do you hate, do you salad? hate salad? No, I actually do like salad, but I usually only go for Caesar salad. Oh hell yeah. There's there's my guy. Well, because I feel like, I feel my bad because like half the enjoyment is just the the dressing at that point. I want to drink my salads. What I'm saying. <laughs> Just slam the bottle, yeah. dude. Slam the <laughs> that would that would give me such. No, I God, love salad. Mm. <laughs> oh, I have a game going. Oh no! On day 13, what is this save? Lynette. 
The horror continues. What is this Yikes. run? Oh, she's almost dead, so I'm gonna assume... No, she's this run alive. Is not going great. No, she's got full heart. Right? Let's exercise for fitness. Fitness. Ultra fit! <coughs> so for those who haven't seen Cat, sorry, I'm gonna be coughing a bunch. I don't know why. Uh, but I'm coughing really bad. I've been like super out of it today. Uh, so for those who don't know, Chaos Forge Cookie, we play the games for about 30 minutes, which is why that timer's running up in the corner. So once we reach about 30 minutes, that's when we stop playing uh, and swap to the next game. However, in this case, I don't remember when we played this file. So I'm actually genuinely curious what the hell's going to even happen in this run. Thanks, everybody, for the level 6 high P train. Thank you for the hype. Also, I got reminded I owe someone the Wisma Duke. That would be Jaga Waga. Here you go, Jaga. I am home. Did, like, the, the or am I? 20%. <laughs> Ultra kill. Ultra, Ultra kill. support. <laughs> <laughs> If only it worked like that. I don't even know what the record is on our hype train, because when they like they used to stop at five and then they just added like up to a hundred now. Oh, we have so much shit. What the fuck was this file? Oh my god. Um no. Yeah, John, I think you're fine. I have a Zweihander. Um I guess I don't need the tennis racket. Aw, uh, but what if you want to play tennis later? Once um, you get to Canada, to your homeland. I'm sure I can find tennis rackets in Canada. I hope so, at least. <coughs> uh, let's see. Let's swap the scalpel for the Zweihander. I, I cannot hold the Zweihander. Okay, so wrench, scalpel, Wait, and the med spray will swap with the shoddy. I can't swap the shot? What is... Oh, because I have no empty slots. So, there we go. Now I should be able to do it. There's oh. the problem. Now we're good. You threw the tennis racket away. I think. That's fine. No! Okay. Sorry, only rackets in Canada for badminton? Crap. Well, at least I'm decent at badminton. <clears throat> hey, John. Yeah? Is it always snowing in Canada? No, it depends on the time of the, well, the time of the year, really. It's Wilgie. Now I gotta remember how to play. I don't know. Something about like the way culture has taught me that it just <laughs> just no, like every movie. Thing. It just like it just shows. It just says like Canada, like in the corner, and it's just like a huge blizzard. Like <laughs> yeah, it's just like, every movie. Uh, like Scott Pilgrim, or. Scott Pilgrim. I mean, that's really, you can just say just Scott Pilgrim. It's okay, I get it. <laughs> um, I'm trying to wreck my brain. Uh. Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> Holy shit. No, oh, I'm fucked. Oh, I'm so fucked. Oh, no. oh I'm very oh, no. fucked. Swing that sword, girl. You're too fucking tired. Oh, nice. I can't even switch wow. my shotgun because she's too tired. There we go. That was scary. Wow. And again, the problem with not having played. Oh, for there's a, very a tennis dragon. You can replace the one you, you you lost. I can't. I won't. No. I refuse. Okay. I gotta get out of here. I'm so fucked. Y'all, <laughs> My favorite store. Get out of here. Uh oh. Oh, that conk. Conk. It's always snowy in mainland. And Newfoundland, it's uh, it's just rainy and windy. Yeah, I mean, it is pretty rainy and windy in Newfoundland, but like in the winter, we get a lot of snow there. But I also haven't been home for winter for a very long time, so. I I love just the naming of Newfoundland. 
because it's just like man we we found this new land but what, what do we call it at what point does it become old found land or is it just i mean it's technically land? it was it was like found like i think around the year thousand by the vikings so technically it's pretty old now yeah that doesn't seem new anymore i think the like the warranty is expired Old, old, old town, man. Right. It sucks. We're gonna need that after all. Cow. <laughs> Alan Doyle said, "Best part of being from Newfoundland is the weather is better everywhere." Yeah, that tracks. That tracks. I remember when we went back a year or so ago. On, it was my family. The um, that hurricane that hit the east coast of Canada oh, showed up. So we were driving around in like thinking. fog and rain and storm and wind, and it was just it was rough. Are you are you far in the game? This is pretty this far seems... in the game. Yeah. This, this okay, is like yeah, day fourteen it, it, or something. Okay. Yeah. Because it seems very hard. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, we are not in a good spot. Especially with just one person. Needless to say, the run kind of went to shit last time I was playing this, but I don't remember the run, so. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh no! Sorry, I'm very invested. I get it. You're a fan of Lynette, I get it. Uh oh. Shit. Shotgun, shotgun! Bulldoze him. Oh, dude. Oh. That was the death corner. You've died on the death road to Canada. Dang it. Dang it. Wow. Wow. That's a big old dang it. John, you want a tip? Like, no, because that run was, we were kind of in trouble in that run anyways. I was already playing with fire as it is. I just wanted another partner so I could actually have like multiple people backing me up. I think this is the run you found the magical girl in and she blew up. That sounds right. Oh my God. I think that's why Lynette was by herself and only had one hit point. PJ Prolix, thank you so much for the raid. All right, who are we? Oh, I don't have any right, because it's my laptop that had all the safe this is characters. A present from me to you. All right. Look at your lap. Who is our... Who's gonna be our well, actual friends. like um, I look forward to meeting new people again. person here? Uh, let's, do, let's do rare characters mode. Who's in, who's in your familiar? Hmm. Uh, uh, who, who do you? Whoa! Yeah, who do you have <coughs> as? All these characters you've created and saved. Make your friends and family. And they'll show up in the game. I don't have any characters saved on this file currently. So. Oh really? Okay. Because apparently, like, all the ones I had were on my laptop, and that save never transferred. So, unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to make... Old Man Red, the bandit, and his buddy... Archer, the mechanic. And they're gonna go on rare characters mode. Right, here's rumor that Canada is a safe place, free of the threat of zombies. With nothing to gain from waiting around Florida, he decides to brave the death road and travel north. Many traders offer you different things depending on how much food you have. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Let's go to the house on the road. All right, so Red has a frying pan, and Archer has a wrench. All right. Yeah, I'd say we're pretty set up. Yeah, we're pretty good. Well, I think we got we're this. We're good to go. Uh, let's go. Uh, right now, not, not doing so hot. Haven't found a single thing. 
Oh, just to show how far along we were on that previous run, Dan, uh, that counter up in the top left that says 15 next to the Maple Leaf, that's how many days away from Canada we were. We were two days away when I died. Oh my god. I'm sorry, buddy. It's alright. I don't think I've actually, like, finished finished this game since they updated it. Bullets. We've got a decent amount of bullets. <clears throat> and a handgun in general, so. One of my one of my favorite parts are like uh, it, it, at least a highlight for me, uh, cause Tom Tom was playing this with uh, people that he put in, and Steven uh, was one of the people and he just ran away and took everything. <laughs> It was very fun to see. So good to note, Steve, do not trust Steven in a zombie apocalypse. All right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what the? He's just, he's just looking out for himself, you know? I respect it. Oh, yeah, he left He left uh, Mal in the say. <laughs> <laughs> what a gentleman. We're already pretty low on food. Not great, but Red's back to full health. A giant fissure erupts across the road ahead. It's big, super big. The asphalt buckles on either side, making for a pretty sick ramp. Are we gonna gun it? Are we gonna bail or slam on the brakes? What do you think, Dan? Jack, what do you think? Gun it. Um, gun it, baby. Oh. Red grabs Gun the wheel and pounds it. the gas pedal. The car bolts forward, ripping a howling screech into the sky. Their morale increases. The car barely makes it, but sinks like an anvil and smashes into the ground. Chunks the car fly in various directions. It took a beating, but it's still running. Nice. Hell yeah, dude. Look at all that morale. Everyone's happy. All right, into the city. Let's go convenience march. We could use some food. Probably don't need to bring all these guns. You've only got that. Gotta get some scratchers. Hell yeah, brother. We gotta go win that lotto. Get some zombie scratchers. <clears throat> Is, are those just zombies? That scratchy? <laughs> you win the zombie lottery. Hell don't yeah. ask what the reward is. I don't, I've don't. i never won, so I don't know. <laughs> you get bit! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> I have a disease! <laughs> I'm gonna die. Some gas in the toilet. Search the house as fast as we can, see if we can find anything. Close that. More How does that table look like a hot dog? It really does. We're like, we're like, um, not a Twinkie. What are they? It's like a sandwich that kind of. Oh. Like oh, a ding dong. You're talking about yeah, a it cupcake. Probably is a ding dong. Oh yeah, cupcake. Yeah, yeah oh, there you go. The, the, the swirly, yeah, the, the icing swirly thing. Yeah. Ring dings. Just hiding burgers everywhere in bookshelves. Toilets. Uh, I saw the toilet sparkle when I left. Damn it. Damn it, I'm trying to find a toilet genie. Been there. Been there? You <laughs> found right, you guys. found one before in the past, or you're just looking for one? Yeah, yeah, I tell you, it's, it's... It takes a while. Let me just say that. <laughs> Gotta really put in it's... the put in the work. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see you guys in a couple weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Same, dude. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, we're done here. You guys don't have shelf burgers in Canada? I mean, not usually. 
shelf burgers. Okay, I guess we're done here. Made with real shelf. Ew. I guess it's got your Wait, over your your monthly dose of fiber though. <laughs> are shelf are shelf burgers just is that just another word for uh, smash burgers? No, it's like literally just you know you look at a bookshelf and there's just a burger sitting there. Mm. You never done that at all? You or you just like went to a bookshelf, just looked on it and just saw like a full burger ready to go, cooked and everything? I'd be a little skeptical. You know, I love fighting games sometimes. Like, you know, you like hit like a barrel and then like a rotisserie chicken comes out. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like, mm. It's like three frames per second too. It just it takes like 10 minutes to fall out of the sky. Our team is like not even remotely fit, but we got food for it. Oh, they're starting to fight. Red, come on, dog. Maybe we should turn back. <laughs> Maybe we should go back to Florida. It's probably safer in Florida than Canada. Yeah, we'll just go hang with the zombies. Oh, damn it. No, I don't need guns. I already got a bunch of guns. Oh, no. The fit old dude. That's... That's very un-American of you, John. It's an... I'm, I'm not American. It's an old but fit man in matching gray sweatpants and sweatshirt. He screams something about building mass and bulk and with an intense strength routine. He flails towards some heavy objects lying around. You have 26 food left. Let's skip buff. Yeah, dude. Let's work out. Uh, right, they're tired, so I think that was a waste, actually. Crap. Oh, no. It isn't? Okay, cool. Well, at least there's that. They got food. Wow, Red really just wants to rob people. Dude, Red sucks. Can I just, can I just say that right now? Isn't like I think his I think his actual like class is thief or something like that, isn't it? We're trying to see status. What a real time jingle blaster. Red likes bones, likes wood chunks, hates being eaten. I mean that's fair. Yeah, it's traits I mean, abandoned. I, I, yeah, I relate to that. Maybe we're not so different. I got an egg. Egg. That's your whole thing. It is. Particularly intense looking woman officer sell you a spare weapon. I only care the best stuff. Uh, parking meter. Yes, the best stuff. You know what? I think we're good. Right, let's, let's get out of here. Hey, John. Yeah? How did the whole egg thing start? Um, uh, you know Resident Evil 5? Yeah. Yeah, it was that. So oh. I was doing a playthrough of that with... Oh, not the magical girl. I thought that. you were just going to, like, like end it. Like, just be like, it was Resident Evil 5. <laughs> and then just like... I mean, that's technically <laughs> oh. what it is. But yeah, it was a case of like, we, uh, I guess, well, chat, first off, should I get the magical girl? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I mean, you have, you have like super special <laughs> oh, yeah. people on, right? All right, we'll get, yeah, we'll get the magical girl. Which... Clemmy Chan sparkles, lifts her lovely wand, admits a heart beam. A new team, let's make a difference. Clemmy Chan joins the team. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, so yeah, we were playing through oh. Resident Evil 5 and we were doing the um, mercenaries mode. And when I was doing that, we got to the point where uh, you could play as Wesker. I was listening to voice clips and Wesker can request items just like everyone else can. And his line for eggs was, you will give me an egg. And I was just like, for some reason, I thought that was the funniest fucking thing. So I just 
Really I just kept kind of playing it over the night, and was eventually like, yeah, no, this kind of rules. Let's that's let's just make this a thing. So we made it a thing, and, and that's why uh, Wesker always asks to give you to be given an egg. Oh, well, I thought that was the way to do things. All right, let's see how this fight siege goes. Dude, look at her go. Oh, oh she's going to kick ass, to be fair. Y'all y'all were tripping on climbing? Dude, look at her. I love that her hearts are weaponized. And she's a magical girl. Just like Rosa. Is Rosa a magical girl? Well, really, all, all, all girls. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Hot beam. Okay, well, I'm out. Bye. <laughs> this place sucks. Oh, we actually found stuff. I didn't. Oh, no, that's just all the stuff we brought with us. Never mind. Got excited for a second. All right. What are we gonna do? Morale and random skill gain, strength, shooting, or give Clemmy Chan faster run speed? I mean, you get, dude, Clemmy, dude. I believe in Clemmy. She's, 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 she's gonna carry. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Forbidden B thirty three and Ensley P music and play. Thank you both for your raids. Double. Clemmy Chan gets really good at running. Clemmy Chan now permanently runs faster. We got a Zombo point. Hell yeah, dude. Her morale is through the roof. All right, the eight. Let's all keep up our positive attitude. It's a clown. It holds out a little clown horn and honks. The sound is so distorted. Do we let the clown in the car or do we floor it? Hmm. Um, I don't know. Why does he look like Hannibal Lecter? <laughs> With the thing uh, over his mouth? I say we just, let's just get out of here. <laughs> you don't want the clown? No. All right, we're flooring it. Red oh, Jam's foot in the gas pedal floors it, but there's no escape. It's already in the car. Maybe it was oh, always in the car. Clown joins the I, team. Onwards to Canada. I, I didn't say he's for it. I just said, what's up, Clown? What up, dude? <laughs> oh. All right, do we fight the bandits? Clown comes to the rescue. Clemmy Chan offers a compromise, or do we give up all of our weapons? I kind of want Clown. Will he die? I, we don't know. Chat wants Chat clown. Tank, clown. Yeah. Clown felt suspicious about the campsite, so she wanted to wait near the car. As everyone's being robbed, the car barrels through the campsite, plows over a tent, and then stops. The bandits are freaked out, so they flee. Clown is very loyal, apparently. Okay. okay. I need to get my zombie splatter in practice. So it's a lady cl clown. Yeah. Oh, everything is red. Oh. Are we going to the sewer rescue, barn rescue, or deadly Yalmart? Well, how much cast do we have? Uh. Ooh, that would be like all of your gas. Yeah, that would be all of our gas. I that's a no. Yeah. Um. Well, sewer is pretty tight corner, so that might be rough. A lot of people saying "clussy" in chat. Y'all, y'all are, y'all are wild. Let's go to y'all, Mark. Very thick swarm. Yeah. <laughs> well, Clemmy's, so uh, thick Clemmy's swarm, eyes dude. are getting animated. All right. What does that you, mean? You don't even have a weapon? What? Should I give you a gun? This seems dangerous. You know what? I'm going to give you the broom, too, just in case. I just... The thing is, I just don't understand what I'm looking at when I'm looking at the clown. 
Like, I, think, I, I, I think I think the the purple is her hair, and then it's like a clown mask. But it's got like it was bar like, teeth or something like that. She's just got big ass teeth, <laughs> or she does. She got big teeth. All right, girl, I wonder girl got that big teeth. teeth. Oh, about that, that teeth, about that, that teeth. Where's no Tom? dental? <laughs> we got any Almar today? Welcome to Almar. Colt 45 here. Sorry, Adult 45. Oh, because it's a brand. Yeah. Can't use the official brand. We'll get in trouble. Alright, so far there's been a lot of pretty good stuff here. Is it Desert Eagle? Is that a brand? Is that like Kleenex? Uh, <laughs> you know, I actually don't know. I do not know either. If Clemmy was a cat girl, would she go to the Neal Mart? Uh, probably. There's so much stuff I can't pick up because entire crew's hands are full. We're getting a lot of food and med medical though. Gotta say, I'm feeling good about this this squad that we got going on here. I'm sure nothing will ever go wrong. We got the speed boost. <laughs> we got the clown with a gun. Like, we're good. We found a lot of stuff on this run, but I also feel like I'm not sure how to feel. Oops, there we go, burger. Probably missed. No, I see some ammo we missed. Oh god! Oh god! All right! Hell yeah! There Dang. we go. Now we're talking. This was a great run here, actually. What is that over there? An Otaku Katana! Well, I know who should have that. Um, here, you're an Otaku. You're probably an Otaku. You take that. Can I be the magical anime girl? Then I could gush with magical girls all the time. I, I don't know if you're going to want to be the magical anime girl, Trey. Done here. That was actually really, really good. Huge, huge Yalmart trip right there. 24 food, 59 gas, 6 med, 132 bullets, 26 bu uh, rifle bullets, 7 shotgun ammo. Almost the nice number. Almost. Oh boy. The group camps out in a pro shop near a golf course. Archer looks out the window and sees a large group of zombies approaching from the driving range. Shoot golf balls at the zombies, prepare for siege, or drive away with no sleep. Huh. Yeah, I'm thinking about the options. See the large group of zombies. Okay. Um, I, I think we shoot them with golf balls, personally. The group picks up a bunch of clubs and gets some buckets of golf balls. They start driving shots down the range as the zombies close in. They send golf ball after golf ball into the oncoming horde. The zombies get pelted by golf balls, but they're not hit hard enough to get slowed down much. Team ends up fighting them normally. Red's hurt, Clemmy's hurt, Clown's not very fit. Clemmy's, uh, Clemmy's holding on great there. Oh, 
Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, we're at time. We need to stop. Oh, my God. This is going to be quite the run to come back to. <laughs> I think everything's going great in this run. <laughs> oh, my God. Clammy. Clammy, your sprite. Uh... <laughs> uh... How do I save? I can't save, can I? Shit, I had to do it when we were driving. Ah, crap. Did I miss the save point? It's autosave, you're fine? Okay. I'm more worried about the clown, personally. <laughs> the clown somehow is gonna be okay, I'm sure. So I'm gonna just shut off the game, just making sure, because, like, normally there's an option to just leave. The whole game is autosave except when you're actually on the field. Well, I guess there's one way to find out. Oh yeah, it's there. We're fine. Blah. All right, game Burp. two is up next. What do we have up next? I think it's custom robo. It would help if I was in the right room to look at the list. Yes, custom robo for the GameCube is up next. Pog. You ever play this one, Jack? No, <laughs> but I love, but it's GameCube, so I know it's going to be good. Oh, you just love the GameCube in general? Yeah, I was, I was pogging because I heard GameCube. I was like, hell yeah. I'm surprised you haven't played this one. It's actually pretty good. What, it, what is it? Custom, custom Robo? Yeah. Yeah, let me go get the game. Maybe I have, let me see. You know, I'm glad they went with the GameCube and not their alternate, the Game Sphere. <laughs> the Game Sphere, <laughs> just roll around. Yeah, it just rolls. It just rolls away, <laughs> and then you're like, oh. it just rolls off your shelves. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen my Game Sphere? <laughs> my Okama Game Sphere. <laughs> Spherical. Beep, 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 beep. Noise. Oh, it's zoomed in. Oops, let's fix that. Hey, I'm Johnny Knoxville, and this is Game Sphere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's continue our story mode playthrough where our main character's name of huh? I think we must have started a new day, I'm gonna guess. Um, John, I forget, what's the protocol for voices? By all means, feel free to voice <laughs> whoever or whatever you want. Okay. If you want me to join in, I got I got my, my two voices on the go, I'm ready to go. These <laughs> are two voices? <laughs> well, cause I've got me, and then I've got the other voice. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's it. That's, those are the only two I can do. I can only do guy and girl. Okay, well... You got a flame gun! John's so proud of his voice talents. Yeah, all two of them, baby. Let's go. Earning that paycheck. Do, do, do you have an old man in there? Why, back in my day, I thought all the people talked like this, and then I found out no one actually did. You got a flamethrower. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, you got that flamethrower. Back in my day, we Boy. made all the flamethrowers hand handcrafted. Loved them. Loved all the work. They just don't, they just don't make flamethrowers <laughs> like they used to, I tell you. Now I changed the game name. Oops, thank you. That's one thing I got. I'm always bad about. I decided to go to the demon for some Chinese food today. <laughs> Yum! <laughs> Just thinking about it makes my mouth water. And water and water and water water and... And water. I'm out. Oh god, what am I actually supposed to even do today? Uh, I guess let's go to work. 
It took the longest way to get to work. All right, Hatsune Miku's hanging out here. Hey. Oh. <laughs> hey, Marsha, you're here. So, uh, what happened yesterday? Uh, nothing. No. Oh, no. <laughs> you got this one? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it was nothing. It was nothing, really. Hey, it was nothing. No, nothing at all. No. <laughs> I don't know why I went <laughs> I don't know why you went that direction. <laughs> She's been like this all day. I try to try to talk to her and she just clams up all clam like. We're supposed to be partners, but she's not acting real partnerly, you know. Eh, uh, I'm sorry. For the she This is so teen girl squad. Water, 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 Harry, give her some space. She'll talk about it if she wants to, but you can't force her. <laughs> Wee! Oh, shit. I, I see you're all here. There you go, there you go. We're going the same way. We're going the same way. I see you're all here. Good. Now listen up. Lately, we've had a really bad run of luck. You all seem overworked and just a little stressed, Marsha. I'm looking at you. <laughs> anyway. Surprise! I've entered you all in today's battle tournament. You did what? Come on, Chief. You know how tired we are. Why don't you just give us a stinking day off? Hey, I paid your entry fees. You should show a little appreciation. Oh, and you better win, you hear? <laughs> if you do, it'll be great publicity for our office. Why so are all the letters different <coughs> sizes? It's because they just really like messing with you in this. So that's what this is about? You couldn't care less about how tired we are. He's not worried about us at all. Isn't that right, Marsha? He, he must have been him. It's, <laughs> it's just like him. It looked just like him. Hey, Marsha! <laughs> oh, it's a tournament. Um, it sounds like fun. Oh, not you two. Why did I even bother getting out of bed this afternoon? All right, team. You've got your assignment. The tournament is at the training gym. Do whatever it takes to win. Remember, it's for the good of the office. For Steel Hearts. Well, okay. Bye, Chief. We're all gonna walk very slowly over to the training gym. Congratulations, you've just become a co-worker. Hooray! Oh, wait, no. <laughs> What's that TikTok? There still aren't too many people here. We've got a little time before things get started. <laughs> I'm gonna go look around. You guys better win your matches. Here's how we'll do it. I'll win first place, Marsha can have second, and huh? you take third. Why is that? Why don't we each try our best and see what happens, right, Marsha? But why now? Marsha, are you listening? Oh, huh? Yeah, that sounds good. Right, see you at the finish line or uh, Holiseum or uh, whatever. <laughs> Chat up some of the competition. You're still an amateur, no matter what you might think. See what you can learn from these people. Oh no, they're fucking neighbors, I forgot. I I am not rooting for you. Anyways, what's taking them so long to start? Care to talk for a bit? I mean, what else are we gonna do? Let me tell you about gun graph. There's nothing more interesting than the gun graph. Hung stands for homing. Wow. It shows how because the whole the whole story mode's a tutorial basically. It shows how long the round follows the target. The higher the bar, the longer it pursues the target. Rapid fire, which is just a fancy way of saying how fast the gun fires. The higher the bar, the faster the gun's round fire. Down is the gun's knockdown power. That's how good the gun is at knocking robos down. The higher the bar, the more force the gun's rounds have. Well, that's all. I'm done talking. We still haven't started. Maybe I should take a nap. Let me just lie down here on the floor, I guess. Right next to these <laughs> children. This is boring. Yeah. This is boring. I'm tired of waiting. What's it gonna start? <laughs> what do we do out here? I'm five years old. I don't have any patience or object permeants. <laughs> Let's talk about the gun graph. Wait, this is, oh, it's just the other half of it. They're really pushing the gun graph on yeah, you. Yeah, learn about the gun graph. 
Well, I'm still bored. Why don't you go talk to my wife for a while? Jesus. It doesn't look at all like the contestants. <laughs> well, we got some time to kill. Maybe I can give you a little information. <laughs> Let me tell you about the gun graph. Get <laughs> the bomb, bomb graph. graph this time. <laughs> oh, that's a different graph. Sizz. Sizz. <clears throat> it's a cool new word I just made up. Isn't that cool shit? Sizz anyway, and Tim. Tim is a nice man. Um, the doing. Do down. You know what I mean? Anyway. <laughs> she playing Beat Saber right now. Oh, she's too. She is too. She's playing VR chat. <laughs> yeah, I think I think she's supposed to be just wearing a visor, but it's just so low down. They're just like, ah, fuck it. We won't draw their eyes. Attack speed. A little too useful, don't you think? A little too rough. My visor needs adjusting. <laughs> Anyways, I keep running into shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't figure out why. I can sort of see, but like not really. Oh my god! It's literally the same tutorial that the wife told us. Are you gonna tell me the same thing? I'm gonna win today. Too bad my father couldn't be here. I guess they got something going on to land. I'll make him proud, even if he's not here to see me win in person. Tell me something about Robo. Mm, oh, hang on. Let me, I forgot. I'm supposed to tutorialize you. Hang on. Sky. Attic. That's all I can tell you. Third Dig Inventors have signed up for the tournament. They're not all here yet, by the way. Let me explain the Robo graph. Down. Defense. All right, I think we've, this Robograph. I think we've talked to everyone. Let's actually get this moving along. Look at this Robograph. <laughs> Hello, huh? I'll be the MC for our little tournament today. We still have time before the tournament starts. Want to chat? Right. So let's talk with the Podgraph. It's <laughs> attack is attack, and speed is speed. Attack is attack, and speed. That's all I've got to say. Cocaine is cocaine. I'm on a little bit of it today. <laughs> don't worry about that, though. That's all I got to say. I don't play with robos myself, but you learn a lot working here. Their nails are on point, dude. I didn't even see her nails. Oh, yeah, there you go. They're very there sharp. All right, I've literally talked to everyone. Oh, is that me? Nope, there we go. All right, that was the last person to talk to. Thank you for waiting. Let's begin the battle tournament. All the competitors should now take their assigned places. Why? Why is he? So we saw like someone. I think that's supposed to be your brother who's been missing for a while. So she's like very distracted. This girl's mind's obviously not on the battle, but she's still putting up a good fight. What? What do you want? Are, are you my <laughs> first opponent? <laughs> I already lost. That was quick. <laughs> Am I fighting the small kid? <laughs> <laughs> I am, in fact, fighting the small child. Okay. Good luck. Harry's winning for you at the battle table. <laughs> my, fa my father and I have a dream for me to become a great commander. I have to win. I won! I won! I don't know if I should be too proud, though. My opponent never showed up. Oh. It's that kind of tournament, huh? <laughs> Time to fight a <laughs> small <laughs> child. <laughs> <laughs> this okay, is our I'm neighbor's bad. kid, by the way. Do, do, do it, Jack. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, go to <laughs> go to the other side of the table and press the A button. Isn't that the kid that lives next door to you? Don't expect me to go easy on you just because you're my neighbor. <laughs> that kid's got guts. Try to let him meet you, huh? When you charge by using the X button, your robo is invincible while it is lit up. If you time your charge right, you can approach your opponents while dodging his attacks. Watch out, though. You'll be vulnerable to attacks right before and after you charge. Got it? I can't remember all of this. Got it. Okay, don't understand just because he's a kid. 
He's very he's got a very beefy voice for a kid. You gotta be very careful. <laughs> Alright, this is his mech. That's, that's always very fun when you're like Mommy. Mommy, I require a sandwich. Can I have a sandwich? Mommy. He's got like a little mole. A little mole rat dude. That's pretty sick. Mommy, I want Pasquetti. And this is <laughs> our guy right here. We got Rayo one here. Left five way, Gemini, P, cockroach homing, and long thrusters. All right, cool. Mommy, I'm tired. Oh, we're literally <laughs> fighting in like his fucking bedroom. What is this? Is this Pokemon? No, it is definitely not Pokemon. Uh, this is just like an arena battler game, so like you you just kind of it's up to four players. You move around, you can customize your mechs, you get different abilities. But where's the gun graph? <laughs> that was in a menu we didn't bother going into because I I, I, I knew the gun. You gotta learn. You gotta learn more about it. We need to talk to more people and learn about it. Uh-oh. Get up. So this is where Fortnite got the idea for the train. Definitely. Yeah, exactly. The exact, mm -hmm. This exact train. I can see the inspiration, definitely. Oh, shit. Okay, this got a little too close for comfort. John, just go right the choo-choo. I would, but there's a mole rat trying to murder me. I'm a little, I'm a little against being murdered. Specifically by mole rats. And small children. Bad way to go. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're bad in Fallout too. Oh, did anybody watch the show? I heard it's pretty good, actually. Yeah, same. Um, I haven't seen it yet. I'm very excited. Most of my nice. friends are watching, like, yeah, good. I love it. And then they get to some point near the end, they're like, I fucking hate it. Why did they do this? I lost on the first match. <laughs> oh, hey, kid. Uh, don't feel too bad. You did good. You put up a good fight. No, since he, since he lost, he lost his powers. He's like, I've been fighting Harry. <laughs> I won for sure. Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm sure you would have done better in your dreams. All of his confidence is gone. Twin flank pod G. You still in it, Hatsune Miku? Marsha? <laughs> Marsha! Oh, Harry, I won the second match. Good luck. Uh, Harry's waiting at your battle table. Your battle table's here. Your opponent's waiting. Ooh, hi. Hello, Don. Battles and cooking need lots of preparation. When you're ready, go to the other side of the hall, see him deck, and press the A button. Is there an actual A button on the other side, or is it? No, it's, they're saying they always, they're very fourth wall breaking in this game. Okay. okay. I'll end up taking something. Take it easy, easy on me. Oh, there please. you go. Please. Take it easy on me, Damn. please. The heart, too. Oh, shit. I've only got one thing on my mind victory. Victory. I won my first I won match my by, first de oh. by default, Sorry. but this guy looks strong. I'm so unlucky. After that little incident you saw, the police made me shut down the restaurant. They said I should have called what? them first. That was from pre earlier in the save. Okay. Anyways, I need money, so I've joined this tournament. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope your battle goes well. <laughs> Thanks. Maybe once they let me reopen, I can, re I can advertise Diamond as the Restaurant of Champions. 
I'm not sure Robo Battle Skills really make for a better restaurant. <laughs> you can use the air dash in a bunch of different ways. You can pretend <laughs> you're gonna land and then fool him with a feint, or you can charge right in. You can also dodge bullets if you time it right, but you'll be vulnerable when you land. Got it? Also, <laughs> have you heard of the gun graph? <laughs> what? Where really? am I? Anyways, I just told you some tactics that he definitely didn't hear just now. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I know, I know. I figured you got it made here. Seriously, how can you lose against a cook? But uh, a blade safe. All right, well, I got to change some of the weapons on my <laughs> my suit because right, I did pretty bad earlier. Oh uh, damn! Look at him. All right, let's see here. Left five my guns fine. Split bomb is what I need to change. There's your gun graph. There's your bomb graph, rather. Oh, oh here we go. Okay. Oh, there it is. Gun graph. So do we know? Do we know what the other what we're up against here? Like, do you know like what the other mech what he's got in store for us? I'll just left and turns right. Or we just we just go in. <laughs> how, do I, how do I try these? Is it? How does the button actually try out these weapons? R button test mode. There we go. Oh damn. You know what? Yeah, that's not bad. I'll, I'll do that one. All right. All right. So I think the cockroach seemed fine. The long thrust seems fine. That's good. Like we can look at our opponents, like Mac, and we can see all of his parts. He's got, the, he's got yeah, that's strike thick. body, okay. a drill, straight gun, straight bomb gun, twin flanking, and he's got high jump. Okay. I bet the drill. I bet that's like. That's huge damage. Probably. So let's see how this goes. All right, we're in a ramen bowl. We really are in a bowl right now. Damn, missed. Not a good start. All right, you get out of here. Oh, that drill! Yeah, dude. Oh see? my god! All right. Yeah, dude. Whenever you see the word drill, it's like it's not good. You know, like you you can just know you just know it's like. Well, you're in sometimes Jack. Like whenever you're at Home Depot, and you're like buying like you see drills, you you just run, dude. I mean. God, that thing! Oh my God, that thing hurts! Crap! Oh my God, that drill! I hope we get that weapon for killing him, cause holy shit! Yeah, so yeah, so do you get the drill? Oh, dude, that, that we get some answer. part from him. I just don't know what one. I'm really hoping it's that fucking drill, cause Jesus. Yeah. It's probably gonna be his jump boots if I had to guess. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh! Dude, he's so sick with the drill, dude. He, that dude, that drill is fucking me up! He's like so on it. I gotta control the center. I gotta control the neutral here. I think it's my only option at this point. As long as I'm out of the range of that freaking drill. No, nope, stay back. That's actually, this is working, dude. Well, the problem is I was trying to get close to him before, and that's what was screwing me over. So I'm, I'm just gonna keep control the neutral then. I'm gonna show the hell out of this match. You've completely shut this guy down. There we go. Nice, dude. That was sick. You now have access to the high jump. I knew it was going to be the damn legs. Aw, oh, no. That drill seemed too good. Mm 
My hopes, my dreams, my restaurant of champions, all gone, gone. You know, maybe be better advertising adventure like a cooking contest instead. You, you're right. I'm sure I could win a cooking contest. Thank you, thank you, I'd never thought of that. I don't have a clue what you were thinking in the first place. Well, let's go get the high jump boots, I guess. You got a high jump legs. Nice. All right, Miku, how you doing up here? We're into round three now. I'm just waiting for my third opponent. Hmm, who's my opponent? Someone with a little skill? Damn, wow. Well said. She just like dunked on everybody so far. Hey, hurry up. After you're done with your match, I gotta have mine. Let's see how the restaurateur is going. Oh, everyone's pretty good. I want Will and Wendy to grow up to be strong commanders like everyone here. Mm, I need to enter a cooking contest. Where do I find one of those, though? Sir, you need to leave. You lost. <laughs> You've been eliminated from the entire building? Get out of here? You need, yeah, you need to go home, sir. Ah, evil, my favorite good guy. Well, if it isn't question mark, come to watch the fights. Are you participating or have you already lost? Ha ha ha. Darn, he's strong, which means I have to be stronger. Well, I won my third match, but the other winners look way better than I am. I'm done for. Seriously, it's the same thing every fucking time. Stop talking to me. <laughs> what? Uh, who was voice? I don't remember. What do you want? Are you going to ask me out? No, I'm your next opponent. Oh, well, when you're ready, go to the other side of the table and press the A button. Okay. Don't oh fall for it. Keep your head in the game, dude. <laughs> oh, you look familiar. Have we met? Uh, back at Hub Park? It wasn't that long ago. Maybe a few days? Did you take me out for a date there or something? Oh, I'm sorry. I really should remember. I only really remember the good dates and the really awful ones. You look like you'd be memorable. Uh, uh, thanks. How do I tell her we didn't date? Anyways, how'd you get this far in the competition? Oh, I've met all these cute boys today, and I told them we could go out on a date if they lost to me. So they did. She might not wow. be a good commander, but she's got some mean skills. What about you? You probably want to date too, don't you? You boys are all the same. Is wow. she talking about the fruit? Like we were talking about before? Oh no, which answer do I give? <laughs> nah, you're not interested, it's, dude. Yeah, you're yeah, here just, to win, just say dog. you know it, and then no, just no, no. fucking... Like, we gotta... Uh, yeah. we're no, I'm to gay win. man would have been an option. We're here to <laughs> win that money, dude. Money, money, money. That's what we're here for. And no, I've really got to win. That's right. Duty for dating. We're lucky she didn't ask me. I'd lose to her any day. Uh, so wow. you're actually going to try fighting me? Well, just because I'm adorable doesn't mean that I'm a pushover. She could push me over anytime. <laughs> oh, well. Step on me. <laughs> I guess I'll show you what my er what Earth my aerial beauty robo can do. An aerial beauty, huh? The aerial beauty model moves excellently in the air. It can't do an air dash, but it can do something called a continuous jump. It can move quicker than a shining fighter, but its offense and defense are lower. If you're using an aerial beauty, you're not going to attack directly. Instead, you'll probably spend a lot of time dodging and moving to get the best position. Marsha's Milky Way is also an aerial beauty model. She's told me that's how she fights. <laughs> Got it. Bro's just like leaking all of her strats like right in front of her. <laughs> Win or get a date? Hmm. Stop thinking about it! John's voice radiates big mom energy. Like, I don't know why big mom energy is the voice I can do. It's because you want to go on a date doesn't give you the excuse to lose. Goldman, do you know what you're doing? <laughs> oh, okay. I don't. All right, that's her model. What moves does she have? Oh, okay. What? Earth model with a vertical gun, Gemini power bomb, ground freeze. Ooh, that's gonna suck. And quick jump. Ground freeze. You haven't helped with that energy either. <laughs> look, look. I'm sorry. We're already on it. We're on, we're on the date already. We're at the park. In the 
look like you'd be memorable. <laughs> you look like you'd be memorable. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, she is very fast. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. Get up. Okay, so she has like no like armor basically. Yeah, so basically get close. I mean yeah. that's basically what Harry said to do. She's not a she's not a forward assault unit. She's a very much a like a, a, a dot blah, 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 dodge and weave. Hmm. Uh oh, uh oh, that freezes me in place. That oh, she froze herself in place. Oh, dude. Check up. Fuck, fuck, fuck. You got this, John. Probably do, but man, when she freezes me in place, she does lock me down. There we go. Ooh, nice combo. Yeah, the other double good. dash combo. Nice, dude. Damn it. She's like literally, you could like literally like freaking sneeze and she would There die. we okay. go. Much Hell better. Yeah. That freeze missile though, man. That mucks things up. But John, think of the date. I'm good. You have access to the earth. Finally, I can be on the planet. Don't lie, Oof, John. You're not congrats. sorry. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Is the arena floor just cut and paste Animal Crossing? I don't think it is. Oh, I lost. You're not too bad with a robo. Even though you beat me, we can still go out if you want. Huh? Really? You lie. Tell me you're lying. Oh, hey cutie, are you busy right now? Let's go grab some food. Uh, uh what just happened? Great job, huh? You made it to the semifinals. Well, I made it too. I beat my three matches and my next opponent is. You gotta be kidding, Marsha! Yeah, I lost. Uh, I'm sorry. Are you all right here? <laughs> Marsha wins the match. All right, Marsha moves on to the next round. All right, well, let's get... What we get, what we get? I can be a cat girl now. You got, you got an Earth? <laughs> One singular Earth. Nice, Finally. dude. One Earth. My husband took the kids to get some juice boxes, but he hasn't come back yet. I want Will and Wendy to see the final rounds. I love that the, the cook is just not left. He's just hanging out. <laughs> oh, that's right. My restaurant's <laughs> closed down, and I've got nothing to do. I'm bored. Damn. All right, well, we're at He's time. Got so we got an on. Earth, but we also are at time, so. Is it auto save? Yeah, it, it saved earlier. Okay. That game was cool. Forget Magical Girl, we Cat Girl now, guys. Yeah, there you go. Alright, game number three tonight. Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Is that the one with Donkey Kong? That is the other one. Okay. Uh, yeah, the one with Donkey Kong is uh, Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. This is um, the one where they go to space. Cool. All right. John, how do you remember what profiles are for what games? Um, I use the same one. <laughs> oh, okay. It makes it easier. There, there's other ones there, like uh, ones there for if Reese is playing a game on here, and we need like the profile. There's one for like accessing other accessing other countries' eShops. Um, mm. There's a guest one. There's a one for playing games with subs when we ever do tournaments, etc.
So, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. I usually just use my main profile. Because most games have multiple saves, so I don't need to worry about it if I ever want to play it myself. Maybe later. Oh, yeah, there's like four game modes here now. I forgot about that. All right, we've got 0% game completion, so we're doing great so far. Well, we did 30 minutes. I mean, I assume a lot of that is the intro and stuff, so now it'll be... Continue the journey. Okay. We're on the first proper planet. That much I remember. Now, the question is, how much of the tutorial do I remember? Because I think, how long ago did we play this? It said on screen there a minute ago. I think it was like two months ago, three? Yeah, because here's the big dude. Hey, boy. No. <laughs> Go figure. I'm sorry, did he say lighthouse tentacle? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, that thing over there. We gotta go deal with that <laughs> lighthouse tentacle. Oh. An egg. Some broken shit. The number one. Well, at least someone's having fun. <laughs> How are there two Marios? Oh, because so there's the rabbit versions of everyone, and then there's the normal version of everyone. So there's oh. rabbit Mario, rabbit Peach, and rabbit Luigi. Mm, All right, not. let's build our team. Cow Impress your heroes and swap the ones in the team with the ones that joined. Uh, swap your select your favorite team of heroes without any restrictions. How many people can I put in my team? Uh. Oh, I can only have two people in the team. Damn it. Uh. All right. So who should I have as my team? You guys get. You two um. get the pick. Okay, well, I mean, you gotta go with Marcho. Can we look? Can we look through everybody? Um, yeah, so we got Mario, who's the all rounder, Rabbit Peach, the combat healer, Luigi, the sneak attacker, Rabbit Luigi is the pest, Princess Peach is the protector, and Rabbit Mario is the brawler. And I think we gotta I... do Peach. We gotta Peach the protector. We need the support. All right, so who's she? Who's she replacing? Ooh. I don't know. Hmm. And probably. What do you think? Peach. What do you think, Dan? I well, well, I mean, like as much as I love Rabbit Peach. I mean. We don't need two like, peaches, right? Like, we like switch. Is that what you're saying? Uh, I I mean, I guess. Well, well, I guess Protector isn't the same as healing. Providing protection. Yeah, she's almost like a. She's like a tank. It looks like kind of. Princess Peach is skilled at providing protection to the other heroes even when they are otherwise vulnerable. Rabbit Peach shines when she can he heal the other heroes while protected from attacks. Hmm. The versatile Mario excels at targeting multiple enemies to whom he deals damage with a diverse array of attacks. They always make Mario, like, so boring. <laughs> I mean, they kind of have to. That he's, that he's designed like, to be boring. He does everything. He's not good at anything. He just does everything. <laughs> Rabbit Mario is broken once you start upgrading him. I mean, I like I like this tank healer combo. I feel like that's a lot of coverage right there. So you, you want Team Peaches? That, oh, that's yeah. me. I, I, I like Team Peach. What are you feeling, Dan? You didn't sound like you were super into that. Yeah, yeah, I like I like Peach all day. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's got reflection. Team Peach, Team Peach. All right, Sparks. Uh, twenty percent of the damage intended for the hero is re redirected towards the enemy. Attack Master increased weapon base attack damage by ten percent. An upgrade? What? 
Team Pash. Yeah, allies within range of the Tormcent more damage with attacks and movement abilities. I can't... Wait, why did it say I could... Oh, it's just the icon on the back. Uh... I guess let's 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 give them some of the sparks, right? Because the the sparks don't level up. Do the sparks only level up if I give them like the star bits? Yeah, I guess that answers that. Only duty food. Okay. Oh. I like how there's like Mario Galaxy bits in this. There's a reason for that. <laughs> yeah, we're in space, I guess. Uh, what weapon skins do we have? Ooh, that's dope. Ooh. It does look look at that. Cool, actually. I uh, want that. Ooh. I want the Galactic Ooh. set. Luigi, you can use that one. Yeah. 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 Upgrade. Make a book. What? <laughs> Dukes. All right. All right. So team girl squad. Let's go, team Peach. I look so good. <laughs> heal your team. For seventy-five coins, I will heal your entire team. Mm, I think Rabbit Peach will be fine. She can heal herself, right? Maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully. I mean, a cleric can always heal themselves, so why not <laughs> Rabbit Peach? Yeah, people saying she can heal herself. All right, cool. Well, probably one of her turns then. Dash, pick up and throw. Dash, pick up and throw up a bomb to deal a lot of damage in an area. Pick up. Ah! ah! Dang. All right, I can only dash once. Uh, Hello? Can I tell you about our Lord and Savior shooting you point blank in the face? Creates a widespread uh, of heavy sure. damage. The further the targets, the less damage it deals. Ignores partial cover. Uh, oh, gosh. sure. Uh, what are you... Uh, oh, God. Yay. <laughs> My man just got blasted. I'm gonna see Jesus now. Wait, there's nothing even left. I just have to. There, yeah, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Battle clear. Never mind. Let's go, dude. Easy. Everyone leveled up. It's weird to me that Peaches. Likes protection. Skill prism obtained. Just unlock your first skill prisms. You can use them in the skill tree to empower your heroes. As the skill trees use upgrade your heroes' abilities during battles. Skill prisms are the currency you can spend to activate upgrades. Each hero has their own set of prisms, skill prisms. They can be used and refunded at any time without cost. Oh, wow. Okay. You can find a skill tree inside the heroes tab of the team menu. All right. What do we got here? Peach, what you got? Plus 10% max health. Uh, glide boost. So I can stay glided longer after a team jump. Movement range increase. Weapon damage up 10%. Technique team barrier range goes from 9 to 12. Uh, I would probably prefer the movement range, honestly. That's probably what I'm going to give everyone, honestly. Uh, let's see. Extra health, movement, you know, glide boosts, critical hit chance, weapon range, Ooh. final hit. And nothing I can do on that tree. I mean, critical hit chance is pretty good to have. Weapon range is also pretty good. Range. Range is always important. Mario, your options are extra health, glide boost, critical hit chance, weapon range, and hero sight damage. 
Let's go weapon range. Lewis G, you've got weapon range, critical hit damage, steely stare damage, movement range. Oh, you got movement range and weapon range. Oh, extra health and heal sponge. <laughs> Give that to you. Why is there no music in this menu? This is just really awkward. Extra health, heal sponge, glide boost, <laughs> movement range, critical hit chance, exhaust cooldown. <laughs> Exhaust range. <laughs> you doing the music. Extra health. Movement range. Let's heal sponge again. Critical hit chance. Counter blow range. Alright. What do we do now? Do we do... Ah, let's do another fight, I guess. <laughs> Defeat all! Alright, we want, we're gonna do the same deal as last time? We keeping the same team? Team Girl Squad? I mean, I'm down. I'm mad at Possum! <laughs> That's a yes! Alright, let's go. Oh, that did not kill them. Okay. Now, the question is, can I aim this in a way that gets both of them? Mm. Oh, just barely. This ignores partial cover, right? Oh, yeah, dude. Nice. Now, the real problem is I don't think I can get her <laughs> to that bomb. I team jump. How far will that put me? We're free. No, that's enough to actually do some damage. Right, man. I forgot about that. Hey, Shadow. Battle clear. It's so weird hearing the rabbit speak actual English now. Always throws me off now. Oh, God. Check your new item bag in combat and use an item to boost your strategy, but be wise as each hero can only use one item per turn and it will cost an action point. Is there a run button? I forget. It's not that button. I can catch a six! Red coin challenge! <laughs> Hooray! Planet coin awarded. You will love Rabid Rosalina's voice? Oh no. Please tell me she sounds as bored as fucking possible. Oh yeah, what do I have? So, so someone said I could probably see Rabid Rosalina this segment. What do I have to do? The bottom rung of darkness. Sorry, darkness. <laughs> She's you? <laughs> darkness oh. imprisoning me. Won't be in this segment, damn it. Does the term ennui mean anything to you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They lied. Rabbit Rosalina's at the end of World 2. Oh, shit. And then, yeah, we definitely aren't seeing her tonight. All right. What are we doing on this map? That's a lot more enemies than we've been dealing with. Oh, boy. Oh. They did say level 2. Oh, man. That difficulty just jumped up, huh? All right, we're just going in with the two again? <laughs> I mean, we can switch it up if you want to if you want to experiment, Dan, do you want to you want to try a different You know, I think everyone should experiment. 
So, sure. Okay. All right, who am I putting in? Um, let let them let the universe take <laughs> control. No. Hang on. Um. All right. Uh, stop, Mario. All right, let's bring in Mario. Okay. And I heard Power. I heard Chad say Mario Power. is actually pretty good. Power couple. Power couple. So Mario and, and Mario? And Luigi. Oh, no. No, I meant Mario and Rabbit. <laughs> no. Well, that's, uh, what, that's what we got right now is the power cup. Yeah. All right, so what am I doing? Am I putting in Luigi? Or am I Hell just, yeah. The boys. Mario and Luigi. The boys are back in town. All right. What is Luigi? Is he a sneak, he's sneak attacker? Okay. Yeah. Luigi does his best work from afar, where he has capable of attacks that deal a lot of damage. I think he's meant to be a sniper. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's got a bow sure. that's a sharpshooter. The farther the target, the more damage it deals. He's like target. an elf. He's like Legolas. Yeah, he's that's why he's green, because he's an elf. Like a yeah. sniper. All right. It's our team, the brothers. Oh, shoot. I forgot to move the rabbit over. Oops. What would a rabid you be like? Probably just rabid Rosalina, if I had to guess. I have no idea at this point. I did not pay any attention to... Because she's just pretty much like, Oh, I hate this! From what I'd seen of like the little clips going around, and that seems like exactly my kind of energy. Yep. Alright, cool. Then that that's it. That's, that's, just, that's just a different version of rabid Rosalina. All right, let's see how this goes. Got this, Jonathan. Oh my God, that is a lot of range. Hey. Jesus. Sniper, dude. This was actually a massive. I feel like this was, like this was the move for sure. We. I already killed the someone! Targets moving within range in the hero's line of sight are dealt 100% damage plus any super effects has one charge. Let the bodies hit the floor! Damn, dude. Look at this guy. He's, dude. Luigi's so badass. All right, Mario, what are you going to do? You haven't done your actual turn yet. <laughs> All right, we got a super mushroom. No point using that. Mario, just run in there. <laughs> Distract everybody. Just start shooting up the place, Mario. You can do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just be like, it's a me. That's my only chance. Man. I hope to have half the enthusiasm ever in my life that Mario has on anything. <laughs> just he's to be so, like, he's so optimistic. I am amazed literally Luigi saving, had that kind of shot. Holy shit. Literally saving the, the, the universe, and he's just, he's like, wahoo. There we go. Yeah. Damn. Okay, Mario. Hell okay, yeah. God. Okay. All right. Fifty percent chance of dodging. Not working pretty good right now. Mario, my God! <laughs> he's just like, my dude. he's like ducking. Nah. No. All right. Execcom rules. It doesn't matter. I know, but still. I just run in. I'm just gonna, you know, dash into that guy. No big deal. Get that kill. I need to kill two more guys, right? Well, then I guess I don't need to worry too much. Luigi, can you? Do you have a shot at anyone here? You do. You that's fifty percent chance. Get a lot of movement. Well, because remember, we also upped Luigi's movement. Mario's, by comparison, nowhere near as good. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I only need to get two more kills, and then mission ends. So let's let's do some silly silly nonsense here. Alright, 
Let's get into cover, and then we can shoot that guy point blank, and then we can shoot the other guy <laughs> right there. Now, let's... Yeah, let's, yeah, fuck it. Get him, Mario. Yeah, And dude. Luigi can just straight up murder someone else. It's not that big a deal. I like seeing the life drain from their eyeballs. Nice. There's no rankings in this one like there was in the first game, right? It doesn't seem like it so far. More star bits! Hooray! No, thank God. All right, hell yeah. What is this? All right. Ba bombs! He's obtained your first memory. Open the memories menu to check it. The Bob bombs roaming the galaxy are even more dangerous under Curse's influence, though their mo modus operandi remains the same. A successful hit will cause one to ignite, while dashing them allows heroes to pick them up and use them as explosives. The Bob bombs roaming oh. the galaxy right. are even more dangerous under Curse's influence. My bad, I forgot it was recorded. Remains the same. A successful hit will love cause you, one to ignite, while Big dashing fan. them allows heroes to pick them up and use them as explosives. <laughs> Hey, my bird. Oh, there's a shop. Let's go check the shop out. Hold X to what? Hold X to run to the plaza. Why is X the run button? That's a weird button. Also, when, like, Y is the fast forward button? Yeah. What does Y do in this? It That brings up the hero menu. So they're swapped, essentially. Oh, why would they do that? Beacon Beach customers get two free super mushrooms. My loss is your game. After this, you would want a full team heal anytime you need to pay or any, anytime except combat. What do we got? Super mushroom, power block, cooldown clock, star potion, Goomba's memory, Scoper's memory, Sunrise key. What's, what did the memories do? Is that just like complete like completionism stuff? Or I is guess, that like, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Speedway Dual Slinger. The Speedway Duke, so these are all uh, looks like skins. Are these just skins for the weapons or do they actually get different stats? Huh? They're just skins. Yo, okay, what up, dude? Good. Hello. Thomas Fox. Hello. How you doing? What's up, man? Doing well. How about you? Not too shabby. Tom, I was just talking about you. <gasps> An <No>. hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we were playing um, Death Road to Canada, and I, I was talking about the time that Stephen left Massey and Mal. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> That, that that's happened to Massey a lot, where I'll like, where I'll hop into the car and like I'll think, because I'm like, it, surely it won't pull the car away without everybody being in there, right? Wrong, very wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tom, you're here. What's my team gonna be this time? Oh, wait, do you have more than just Mario and Luigi? Oh yeah, you do. Yeah. Um. Ooh, go with. Go with Mario, or go with Rabbit Mario and Peach. All right. Both have both have good AOE, and I think Rabbit Mario has the most damage output of any character. That's what Chat was saying earlier, at least. That's what I learned when I let's played this. That's why I asked you, because I knew you knew the game. All right, what am I doing on this stage? I'll defeat eleven. So. I will say Mario Mario's like Mario's kit in this game has some depth to it. Cuz you can get like a ton of shots in like one turn. Right, so I can't do that but she can. Now uh, Mario 
Mario, what's your range? No, no, it's about the same. Okay. MVP! MVP! I already used my dash. Beat him up, so beat him up, beat him up. Reese's Pup, Reese's Pup. <laughs> beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up! Alright, so you always aim at the same target. You've got a big range. Uh, Peach might be able to reach the bob -omb if you position her right. That's what I'm trying to figure out right now. I'm trying to figure out what's going to be... I don't know if the cover would affect that, though. The cover's going to affect her there, but I have, oh, a, yeah. I have a jump, so that's what I'm trying to figure out what the best move is. Because theoretically, I could probably make her jump over and get the two bob -omb's. The range of the explosion on the bob -omb is pretty big, though. So you have to be... You have to position yourself pretty good to avoid them. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll try it. No, 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 no. She has to jump. There you go. Uh, is that in? That is barely in. It is, but it will hit both. We're back just a smidge, girl. There we go. That was that was always the roughest part of this game was trying to figure out where exactly you needed to position yourself. Nice. Use Peach's shield. No need. Uh, might be worth it with the other action if the other stooge on the other side is going to get close enough to take a shot at Rabbit Mario. I don't think so. <laughs> and also, no, she's nowhere near him. So. Ah, uh, yeah. I, man, it's been so long since I've like played the beginning of this game. I forgot how like short the ranges are on a lot of this stuff. Uh, I don't think that Why guy's gonna get anywhere near me, so I don't even think I even need to wear hey, the counter attack. Nine What's eleven that? was defeated. <laughs> Finally, the evil has been defeated. All right, you're safe another day, World Trade Center. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mario's projectiles, or Rabbit Mario's projectiles, go through, uh, go through cover. God, that's all the range I can give her. Oh, that sucks. So, uh, have Peach jump off of Mario into Mario's range, and then have Mario jump off of Peach. Now you fly. <laughs> now you fly. I mean, that's what I was gonna do. I was just trying to figure out what's the best course mm -hmm. of action. Because here's the thing: I can't tell if. Hitting the bomb is gonna be... Ah, the bomb is just out of the enemy's range. He's not gonna get hit by that. Damn. Actually, it might be good to do that, just so you can get out of the way and guarantee that Rabbit Mario can take down the Stooge. Uh, hmm. Because Rat... Oh, I guess he can get the team jump. Yeah, let's do that then. But I gotta keep Peach where she is, because that's the tail end of the range. Rabbit Mario's, yeah. Yeah, all right, so let's do that. Now she get rid of the Bam. cover, or at least make a half cover. I'm a jump! <laughs> jump, man! There we go. Easy peasy. Noise. Yeah, this game really, like, separates it from XCOM, <laughs> as opposed to the first game, which was basically, like, a, like, XCOM Lite. Yeah, the, I, it's, the differences are a little weird to get used to, but honestly, not that bad. Mm-hmm. God, the, every time I play this game, I'm always excited to play more of it, and I never freaking do play more of it. It's always a bummer that I'm just like, yep, <laughs> no choice. I still gotta I play the DLCs. Probably won't do them on, on video, but... I would still want to play them, especially the the Rayman one. What do I do with the sparkly thing? Or is that something I can't do yet? Uh, spin. Oh. Didn't know I could do that. And we're basically out of time anyways. We've only got 20 seconds left. So I guess I will just... How do I save or is it autosave? Uh, it, uh, go to options. Thank you. Why is it in options? Ah, a lot of games do that. We went from 0 to 1%. We did it.
No. Let's go. One percent. One percent. We are the one percent. John, I like this game. That's why I'm never playing this. No, the, the <laughs> problem... <laughs> you're right. But, um, I don't know, the problem is I just never give myself the time to dig through this. Like, how long is this game? With four it's, sets of story? It's pretty darn long. Yeah. I, I will say, at the very least, get through the second world. Because there is a character there that is... I know Rabbit Rosaline is there, don't she worry. She is you personified, I, dude. I, I, <laughs> I get that so fucking often. <laughs> God damn it. it. Like Rabbit Rosalina is like the best character and it's it, it's great because it's just it's 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 so it's amazing how much it personifies you. See, this is why I asked earlier, Chad. I was like when someone asked me like what was the character, I'm like Rabbit Rosalina is she exactly how I think she is, then it's me. So I told you. I told you I'm locked to Rosalina for the rest of my life. <laughs> the number the writers gave her like a personality that matches yours so well. <laughs> Well, we can't use Rosa, John. Let's do the next best thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How long to beat says a regular playthrough is 21 hours. Did he finally come in? Hello, mister. Hi. Where you been all day? Nine hours. Hi. I can only imagine. Hi, buddy. Hi. You, you, you scamming food off other people? Scamming. Are you scammer? No, you're you're in for the day, bud. Hey, he's grumbling now in protest. Man. Bagel's been out since noon, and he got out without his tracking collar. So we've been uh... trying to get him back for nine hours. Oh Wait, no. Yes, hey, buddy. What are you doing, Bagel? Get that subdermal GPS chip implanted in him. He's got yeah, Bagel. You got a new emote. You got a new emote now. Is it the spinning one or the smacking one? It's the spinning one. He's had the smack one okay. for a while. He's spin. Spin. I would love to make emotes of manatee, except the majority of people use dark mode. No, oh, no. <laughs> you can make him like dark gray, maybe. Or... I mean, I'm in dark mode, and I can see those two decently well. That's true. The one where the one where manatee is like a wizard is a lot easier to see. Alright folks, we're gonna drop eggs, we'll go to break, and then we'll load up the next set of games we're gonna do. So the next set is gonna be... Uh... What have we done so far? Threads of Fate for the PlayStation 1, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart for the PlayStation 5, and Breath of Fire 4 for the PlayStation 1. Alright, two PS1 games and a PS5 game, perfect. Mm -hmm. Can you play the PS1 game on the PS5? No. Because I don't have the service that gives you that. And I can't just slap a PS1 disc in there. Because I, I think only the PS2 and PS3 support that. Ah, that's unfortunate. 54 hours to 100% Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope with DLC 1, 2, and 3. Eh. I mean, that's shorter than I would have expected. but So I could do that on my own time. I never wouldn't do an LP of it. Who would hmm. do an LP of that? I don't know, oh. man. Man, they must be crazy. I'm trying to do a comprehensive Fire Emblem Path of Radiance LP, so let's see how that goes. Oh my god, Tom, why did you do this to yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck on Chapter 10 right now because I'm trying to figure out the best pathing for it. Well, here's the best part, because you're doing Path of Radiance, you get to do Radiant Dawn later, because they're connected. With, but I, I also get all the data off my memory card for it. Yay! There you go. Jogawaga for 71, Kador 2004 for 59, Master Odarkin for 29, Rajit for 71, Pyromuffin 5 for 73, Aussie Rayquaza for 30, Cable 51 for 20, Canvas Magnus for 98, Gami for 83... B Ball 1986 for 79, Casper Stone Nature for 52, Emperor Tylord for 28, Banerius for 4, Tiger 64 Guy for 42, Vita Emerald for 19, Mr. Pepper Fang for 121, Xeno Persona 819 for 77, CJB 256 for 66, Espionata for 69, nice, Kedok Doctor for 31, nice. Destiny Light 2 for 42, A Little Glitch Game for 70, Marina of Philip for 88, Zero Flame 16 for 80, Eudiptes for 56. It's Andrew for 56, Phoenix 926 for 65, Earthshade for 125, Storm Rider for 108, Sticker Mitch for 111, Tomoyo for 96, 
Dill for 28, Mega Nerd 20 for 105, Lingering Rhyme for 79, Sammy Weiss for 82, Puppet Master for 123, Fred Fred Burger for 38, Bramnet with a gift sub bomb, Amarnith for 67, Nate NQS for 67, Golden 0718 for 45, Kyler 76 for 46, Crying Cross 4970 for 44, Anonymous gifted the sub to Clussy, because of course someone did. Frosty the Dragoon for 35, Ozzyman 314 for 84, Millennium Pigeon for 5. Appreciate it, Millennium. Best of luck with the new job. Snowy Satori for 53. Sexy Gardevoir for 45. What is the toughest question anyone has asked you before that is Twitch safe? That. Right there. That. that yeah, because I, literally, can, I literally can't think of an answer because I've had people <laughs> ask some really fucked up questions. Oh, John, what's, John? What's, uh, what's 2 plus 2? Ah, fuck, dude. Right man, now. I wasn't ready for that. Come on. That's right. How do I type right calculator now. into Google? Uh... Okay, you know what you... Yeah, dude. I'll, I'll, you, you poop? <laughs> that might be the hardest question I've been asked, because I forgot that we <laughs> had that how many years ago we did that. <laughs> Spawn Combust for 63. Kion for 115. Rising Sun 98 for 45. Will... Uh, I'm going to watch this. Wilhelm Heinlein. Never mind, I did not. For 35. Karibro for 99. Adrian Kell for 34. King Monty for 36, C9Cage for 18, Ryota 87 for 90, Ryuga Knight for 63, uh, Sorry D-Pain for 15, Mirror Artist for 63, Scourge Boom 64, 55, Fox McCloud for 122, and DB Koopa gift to the sub to Do You Poop 69. Hell yeah! God, don't poop while doing a 69, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, thanks for stopping and hanging out tonight, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of... The Shuffler. You will give me an egg. That was Tim. How fitting. All right, going to break. When we come back, uh, well, there's no Dream Watch. There's no Art Block. If there is, it'll be very late at night. Uh, and I think by the time the whole stream's done, I'll be too tired. But uh, we'll be back in a bit with Threads of Fate, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, and Breath of Fire 4. See you guys in a bit. And with that, I take my leave. Farewell. Thanks for hanging, Tom. Oh, bye, dude. Bye. bye. You're welcome to stay for the whole thing, or whatever, how long you want. But yeah, thanks for popping in either way. He already left, didn't he? Yeah, <laughs> yeah he bounced. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> he just had to. He had to show show his skills in Mario Rabbids for you know. It, it's just like I gotta show everyone what's up. The Legend of Daniel says, "Dan, do you poop?" Um. Are you asking yourself that question? Because your name is Daniel. So, um... Jack. What's up? Uh, what, what's going on with you, man? Not much, dude. Yeah, I'm working, doing music, and gaming, dude. Fuck Literally yeah. Literally just like... <laughs> Just like pretty much the same, the same old, but I'm having fun. Nice. But yeah, how about you, man? Um, yeah, things things have been good. Um, just uh, with Colin, with Colin, with Coliseum, um, coming up, just like trying to get ahead of that. But very excited. Hell yeah, dude. Great. I'm so excited to freaking to chill soon, man. Yeah. Um, we, the music you... stuff is going to be so sick this year. <laughs> yeah. We've got we've got some plans. Yeah, we, we, we haven't plans. announced... Yeah, we haven't announced... What music? But it's exciting. There'll be some notes. A couple notes in there. Yeah couple shreds um oh uh jack why don't why don't we um preview some notes like um oh yeah that's gonna be one of them for sure <laughs> yeah um can't leave that one out what, what what's another one jack another one is <laughs> oh okay okay yeah that's a that's a that's a sick one. Oh 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 and you can't forget <laughs> That's a crazy one. You don't see that one often. No, you don't. Um, 
But yeah, dude, no, things have been good, man. Just been... Been shredding. I'm working on a... Working on a Final Fantasy cover right now. Oh, hell yeah. FF14. Be C sharp. I don't know. You think about what yeah, noise to bring to Coliseum? <laughs> uh, I don't know if or you guys are ready we'll... for that, dude. Well, we have to see C sharp, or else we'll all be flat. Womp 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 <laughs> womp 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 womp. <laughs> like the one music joke I know. What's your favorite note, Jack? I love all of them equally. They're like my children. What's your, what's your favorite chord to play? Ooh. Um. D is fun. D is a fucking sick note, dude. You get to make a little triangle with your fingers. I like C because that's the lowest note on my guitar, so it's always the most brutal. Oh. It's always like bow. So it's not just E. Normally it's E, but I go I go even lower. When you when you tune it down. Oh fuck. Yeah, it's fucking sick. Or you could do like a seven string and have an even lower note. Wow. Yeah, I could I could never play a five string bass with that extra B. Yeah, dude. It's I, so. I, I want to get a five string bass. I have a four string right now, but. Actually, um, my homie just got a five-string bass, and I'm like, fuck, now I need one. Oh my god. It just gives you that, it gives you the extra, the extra oh, low oh, notes. Oh. Yeah. For like a bass, like, dude. Yeah. I love that. Do you have a seven-string? Yeah, I do. I freaking love my seven-string. Which I didn't think I would. I literally bought it during COVID because I was like bored. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, hold up. I love this guitar. Give me a one string bass. Um... Wait, did you say a one string bass? Isn't that just a string? <laughs> yeah, that, that's a. That's just a rubber band. When you yeah, stretch exactly. It out. Boring, boring. The rubber boring. band is hooked up to an amp. Boing, yeah. Boing. Uh, all right, let's do alerts and then we'll hop into threads of fate here. Question Man says, philosophical question for you. If your existence is dependent on your time traveling, or on you time traveling to make sure your parents can meet or get together, should you exist? Isn't that just a time paradox? That's all you're describing is a time paradox. Yeah. The fact that they would even be able to ask that question is like, yeah. You should exist, because you do. You should and shouldn't at the same time, hence the paradox. Well, you the know, fact Squid that you're asking the question... Sorry. No, you go ahead. No, I don't, I don't even remember what I was trying to say. <laughs> to say. Yeah, that's literally the grandfather paradox worded differently. We are the Paradox Brothers. Sorry, yeah, is, that isn't that just it. Terminator 1? Uh, yeah, but Kyle wasn't his kid, though. Kyle was his dad. Yeah. So, like, yeah, he should. Oh, I guess you're did. right. It is kind of the, the same case, because, like... Yeah, no, you're right, actually. Because he has to go back to become his father. But he's the one that also sends his dad back, so yeah. It's all wibbly wobbly, exactly. Doctor Who had it right. Wibbly wobbly, timey wimey stuff. 
Uno Squids just says gazpacho. Evil J. Brian says, have you heard the news in the world of the Turtles? A rated R Ninja Turtles movie. That's right. The Last Ronin is being made as a live action movie. I'm sure that'll be kind of awesome. What? N Ninja that Turtles? That sounds so big. So have, have either of you ever heard of The Last Ronin? Mm -hmm. It's this storyline that takes place in the future. I think it's a spinoff of like the comic book series where only one of the turtles has survived and he's trying to get revenge against the person that killed the remaining turtles. Yeah, I have heard about that, yeah. I I've read it. It's a really good read. I highly recommend it. Uh, and it's not that long either. But they're making a game out of it, and apparently now they're making a live-action movie out of it. So, Ooh. Uh, I wasn't going to say who the survivor was, because that's actually kind of a spoiler, even though it's early in the story, but yeah. I will say... Um, Mutant Mayhem was fantastic. Mutant Mayhem was pretty good. That was an enjoyable movie. I'm excited for a second one. Live action worries me. I wouldn't be worried. There's already multiple live action Ninja Turtle movies. If there was any series that you told me was getting a live action movie that would worry me, that would be like the lowest on the list. Do you think um, the Jim Henson company is going to make... I, ho I hope so. I really do. <laughs> I mean, they could they could do what they did with the... Um, whatever. Who made the new, the new ones? What, the Five Nights at Freddy's movie? That was Jim Henson. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Um, Oh, Michael, Michael Bay. Bay. Michael Bay. Michael oh, Bay. the Michael Bay movies. Okay. I don't think that was Jim yeah, Henson. Yeah, yeah, No, no, no. That, that was just CGI. Yeah. Um, if they just did CGI, it'd be fine. But, like, maybe not how they made them look. I'm curious how they're going to do it. It's Andrew says, Yesterday was my birthday, so as per tradition, I'm going to send you some money for good luck, apparently. Hope all is good. Hell yeah. Happy birthday, Andrew. Hopefully it was a good one. And things are all right. Chaos Sister AC says, Chaos Fortune Cookie, the Don't Have a Cow, Mankind edition. Hunter Persian says, Finally, time for what I've been waiting patiently for. I took tomorrow up uh, off to stay up late. I got my strategy guide for Arcalad ready since I know you don't remember where to go next. You're right. I got more in the bank ready for next Coliseum for the exact same game. And I got the Bizzard the Wizard cook, uh, book I've been working on screaming at me to finish it before Coliseum. Maybe I can work on it before Ark the Lad comes on. Who knows? I will confirm, Chaos Fortune Cookie is confirmed to be on the schedule this year. So, it will likely work very similar, but I don't know if I'm going to offer the three bonus stream thing. We're, we'll see about that. I think we might offer the one. But because of the nature of how painful it was trying to get everyone scheduled for the other ones, I might just say, fuck it, whoever's available can hop on and we just do it so we can get it done sooner. We'll see. I'll figure that out when we start planning out the incentives and stuff. Yeah, that's the first segment I will confirm it's on Coliseum. Pog. Uh, Let's go. I, I can also confirm that Jack has a concert on on Coliseum as well. Wait, really? Oh, crap. Sorry, dude. Sorry, <laughs> I had to find out this way. <laughs> I thought I was just hanging out this year. Okay. I got you. <laughs> Sorry, man. I'm excited. Gotta, I'm excited for my set. Something. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. If, I'm hoping this year I actually finally get to catch the sets because last year I missed every single music set. Oh, man, dude. Yeah, it's going to be. It was actually. It was really freaking good last year. Like last year's concert, like everything music related last year was, was so freaking sick. And I feel like this year it's going to be even better, especially well, good, with our yeah, with our new secret guest. plans, a and secret, secret plans. Secret I'm going to tell plans. you right now, I was right. in the planning meeting for like the layout of everything. And it looks like you guys are getting at least what you had last year, if not more. So get ready for that. Yeah, we had a we had a meeting doing secret, secret planning things. It's going to be dope. But yeah, like the the set that I'm planning is gonna be sick too. I'm gonna play like it's kind of giving it's kind of giving whatever away, but it's just gonna it's just promotion. But like it's gonna be like a set of songs that aren't as obvious what game it's from. It's not like the 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 obvious choices. It's more like deep cut songs, and I want to nice. see like I want to see like how many of you guys know what the games are. Oh, I'm excited now! Hell yeah! Yeah. Like I'll I'll tell you guys you know eventually, but I just want to. It's it's just it's cool to see like how many of you guys are like, dude, I know that song. A little quiz for you guys. Yeah, it's the Mario uh, theme. 
Yeah. Oh, what is this? Is this what is this Mario theme? <laughs> I got this uh one dash two theme. I'm gonna play here. I don't know if like, y'all might know <laughs> one dash one, but have you heard one dash two? That's right. No. Or is it one far, through man. one? I don't know. Uh, Casper Stone Nature says, Bishop the Wizard tries the shelf burger. What is the shelf? Oh, right, because we talked about that earlier. Shelf. I already forgot. We talked. That was like not even an hour ago. Uh, Bramnet says, Sorry for the delay. It took a bit to set up. That was the water from earlier. Blue Fairy Kino says, Please don't zoom in on that. Oh, Kino, I'm so sorry. We're going to do our best to cheer you up. Here's hoping for the best for you. Uh, Legend Daniel says, Dan reminds me of someone. Says the legend of Daniel. Uh, hey. And Faison Farmer says, Ha ha, yellow taxi goes vroom. What? This... I've been asked to pick up the game Yellow Taxi Goes Vroom. Oh, this looks cool as fuck. Hell yeah. Alright. <laughs> what are yeah. some of these gift subs? Jesus, DB Cooper giving a sub to Reverse Pooping, and Sexy Garbar giving oh. a sub to Rosalina. <laughs> All right, let me let me throw that in my cart first. Yellow yellow cargo room. Oh hey, uh, check. Huh? Poop? I'm just kidding. Dude, you know it, bro. <laughs> hell yeah, brother! Hell oh, yeah! Bro, hell dude. yeah! <laughs> you don't even gotta ask, dude. But I appreciate it anyway. All right. Threads of fate. I thought, I thought they meant like when when it reminds me of somebody. I thought you meant like Kermit the Frog. It's no, no, no. They were literally because their name was also Daniel. So they were like, "Come on, it reminds me of someone." Yeah, yeah. All right, we've got an RPG doubleheader basically coming up here with Ratchet and Clank right in the middle. So, I am not quite sure what this game is. I've never played it personally, but I have it. Is this an action RPG? Um, it's 3D. Choose your character. Do you want Mint, Tail of a Spunky Girl, or Rue, Tail of a Mysterious Boy? Are you a boy or a girl? Are you a boy or a girl? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I mean, mystery, Mysterious Boy is mysterious, but Spunky Girl is spunky, so. I like spunky. Also, like she also I like her. Hoops. Yeah, I like her giant earrings. She's like she that dropped. freaking. She's like that Soul Caliber character. <laughs> My older brother absolutely adores this game. No, is it like? Is this just like a action RPG? Food. PlayStation One food. Ooh. Jello. Pumpkin. She's excited. Oh, wow! Perfect it. timing. Princess, dinner won't be for another ten minutes. Please return to your room at once. Come on, Gramps, I'm starving. I'm not waiting, no way. Gosh, just looking at this food makes me drool. Oh, she just Princess, jumped on the table? Okay. Don't touch the food. Oh, sorry, I jumped to the other side of it. Mmm, yummy. What bad manners! Princess, <laughs> behave yourself! The spunky girl is a spunky girl, but the mysterious boy could be anything! It could even be a spunky girl! You know how much we wanted that! <laughs> hey, take it easy! I'm gonna eat it pretty soon anyway. What difference does it make? Princess, please! What should I try next? Let's see... Am I actually in control? I am actually in control now. Okay. All right, what what food should we try, Dan and Jack? What food? Um, try the weird uh, red jello thing. Yeah, I was gonna say, is that like a like pie or like that looks like some apple pie? Maybe I don't mm. think that's what it is. But this soup is great. It looks like it. It's so smooth, melts in my mouth. Soup melts in your mouth, huh? 
I think that's called a liquid mint. All right, you want to check this pizza out, Jack? That, oh, is that pizza? I did, yeah, it's pizza. I think that's a pie. Yes. It's a, per it's a perfect golden brown. It looks so nice and crispy. Yeah, I think it's like a pie, but I'm still down. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go for the melon. Oh, watermelon. These are, like yuck, the pumpkins. Uh, he knows I hate pumpkins. Oh, that chef is so dead. Oh. Oh, it's like those gelatin thingies. Oh, I can jump on the table. Oh, no, I cannot. Are they gonna let me try everything at this rate? This is what life's all about. What are you doing? That is his majesty seat. So did they mean spunky girl or spoiled brat? Because we seem like a spoiled brat at the moment. Yes, yeah, someday, but you'll be queen of the East Heaven Kingdom. However... Exactly. So why are you making a big fuss? Uh, as someone else. Jack, do you want to be? Huh? <laughs> okay. Oh no, it's edgy teen us. I, I got you. I got you. What's up, Maya? What's up, Maya? Oh. <laughs> why is Dollmaster with you? Why are you sitting in father's seat? Oh, my dear sister, we must talk. Later, I'm starving. Come on, let's eat. Oh, gracious. We have very important roles in this kingdom. Have you even considered that for a second? My role? Huh, of course I have. I'm your older sister. Oh, she's the older one? Wow, okay. Oh. Why do you look so puzzled? Okay, you want to know what I think? My role's a hundred times greater than yours, because I'm smarter than you, prettier than you, stronger than you. I can go on forever. The point is, I'm the most qualified to become the next queen. Not anymore. Not anymore. Damn. What are, you what are you talking about? That's hard. Oh, here you go, Jack. This is absolutely you. The High Council Coven this morning. Convened. Convened this morning. They have voted unanimously against your future <laughs> succession to the throne. They came a bunch of witch witches. I don't understand. What does that mean? It means that you have lost your right to the throne. I don't know if I would trust a leather daddy telling me this information, really. <laughs> Therefore, the future queen of our kingdom will be Princess Maya. I'm the Kim. So you see, you're no longer qualified. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, what? Why? Why did I? What did I do? Who decided this? As I have said before, the High Council. His Majesty also supports the decision. No, Dad, but how could you? This can't be happening. This isn't fair. What did you expect? His, His kink is lying to royalty. <laughs> <laughs> Break curfew every day. You spend lavishly and only eat what you like. The list goes on and on. Did you honestly believe that a spoiled, selfish person like you could become the queen of our renowned kingdom? Hey, when the time comes, I'll start shaping up. That lazy attitude is exactly what will destroy our kingdom. And this leather daddy, probably. Our kingdom will not last one year if you were at the helm. Oh, damn, even Gramps. Probably not even half a year. Gramps, you too? So, my dear sister, the next ruler of East Haven will be me, not you. I will not tolerate your childish conduct anymore. Do I make myself clear? Who do you think you're talking to? That's it. We'll see who's better. Maya, I'm going to beat you to a bloody pulp. Th that throne is mine. Do you hear me? My goodness, you must be kidding. Ah, that's the Book of Cosmos. Our kingdom's greatest aeon relic, the Book of Cosmos. My dear sister, your self-taught magic is useless against the power of the book. Dang it, you big coward. Whatever. You can do so many things with the book. Here, you'll definitely like this. Pretty good at pratfalls. Uh, uh, pumpkin? What, what? 
That's right. From now on, your life is going to be a big pumpkin nightmare. What is this plot? Starting tonight, you will eat what is served, just like everybody else, including the pumpkins. If you do not, I will have you confined to your room and have the chef serve you nothing but pumpkins. No! No! Get fucked. Come on, I was kidding around. You're not serious, right? I'm very serious. Here's a hint. This pumpkin's gonna murder you. Fuck off, sis. Yes, this plot goes places. I can tell already. What did I do to deserve this? That's it. I'm gonna get it, Relic, too. I'm gonna steamroll my with it, Relic, of my own. Hee hee hee. Then the throne will be mine. After that. It's world domination time! Are we- are we the baddie? Are we the bad guys? We got a boat and everything. What are- what are we doing? Where's Link? How are we the bad guy compared to the leather daddy? It's already been two years since she left? Dang, I thought it was gonna be so easy to find a relic. Huh, there's no way I'm giving up. Once I get the relic, it'll be world domination. Wait. <laughs> You're gonna be my slate? What the fuck? Are we the hmm. bad guy? Hmm. I'm a slave for you. Ha! <laughs> This my bro to blood always got big plans. You're damn right. We're gonna get busy after we get to Corona. We're gonna eat first when we get there, then we'll get drunk. Chop up some weaklings and take his money. And take his money. Are we just hanging out with a bunch of fucking pirates? What are what are we doing? Where did we get the money? I mean, we are royalty. I assume we have some access to money. Man's gotta do what a man's gotta do to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, bro, what is that thing right there? That red thing? What the hell? What the hell? We're gonna crash, brother! Let's see, what should I do first once I conquer the world? I guess I could start by making Maya scrub the toilet. <laughs> what else? Whoa! Well, we died. Dang. Thought I was gonna die for sure. No, you're right, thanks. What's your name? <laughs> it's Davis, I run the docks here. Pulling people out of the water is my job too. I don't know what happened out there, but you better be more careful. Yeah, thanks. Oh yeah, one more piece of advice. Watch yourself around here. Generally it's a safe place, but I know some suspicious characters coming in lately. Don't worry, anyone messes with me, I'll send them home crying with my magic. Magic, huh? That's cool. I guess I'll see you around. See ya. It's pretty pretty chill about that. Suspicious characters, eh? Maybe they're after the relic too. What? Oh shit! Get out of my way. Hey, <laughs> good hit, bro. Let's see if she got some money. <laughs> Yo, hurry up, get your butt over here. Wait up, bro. We're going to the forest. Jesus, we got shoved far. Ugh. Those hoodlums must have a death wish. Nobody hits me and gets away with it. Well, this story is definitely off to a start. And the only button I have right now is jump, so... Hmm. Can I set Mint on fire? I think she's gonna do that to herself at this rate. Like any hidden shit I gotta worry about? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, where's chocolate chip? What? So we can have mint chocolate uh, chip. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, battle? John, is it too late to restart his Rue? I don't think so. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I thought it was a battle. Must be boring living here. These hoodlums said they were going to the forest. I wonder what they're up to. Maybe I should go too. Like, I don't even have... Oh, I do have a menu. Okay. Mint, 60 HP. 60 MP, but none at the moment. Strength, 24. Defense, 16. No monsters. I have a, 10 bronze coins. Magic, set magic, jump, cancel, attack, confirm. Okay. How much exploring should I do around here? My name is Doyle. I guess it's not important. Our names are meaningless before God. Names only serve to distinguish people, but before God, we're all the same. Have you come to pray? Sure. Assuming that's save. Excuse me. Would you like to make a donation? I don't have any of that money. Forget it. Um, excuse me, before you pray, would you like to give us money? Is that Doyle? That was the statue right there. <laughs> and Doyle was the dude next to the statue, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Get her a polearm so she can be spearmint? Oh my god. 500 bucks for one night at the hotel? Jesus. <laughs> This whole town we're gonna, sucks. We're gonna have to, yeah, we gotta get like a job. <laughs> oh, that's the same building, but they had two doors. Okay. I figured they'd be separated or something. Oh, never mind. Can't even shop. All right, I guess we just gotta go in the forest. Turn around, you can just... She doesn't even have time to get a job, she has to find that relic. Oh, just right into combat, huh? Okay. How do I fight? Wait, is this a platformer? I think it's a action RPG, a beat-em-up. Oh, oh he, okay, we're in tutorial mode, that's why. Press X to attack. You gain MP by attacking. Hit him with the hula hoops, girl! Nice. Look at her go. Can you just farm this? It looks like. I don't know if I should be doing that, but I can. Like, are they giving me experience? Do I even gain experience? John. Just keep farming for the next 15 Oh years. my god, really? No. It is this like Quest 64 vibes where it's like <laughs> you have to like stand in the first area for like two hours and grind your defense. <laughs> no, what you do in Quest 64 is you put a rubber band on your control stick and then you just walk away for two hours and come back and you, oh you can god. walk around faster. Yeah, max, max agility. <laughs> there is no experience in this game. Oh, okay. Interesting, okay. Well, what's the MP? That's magic points. Yeah, it's like mana. Well, we basically have full MP now, so... Attack distant enemies with magic. Hold down the square button. Choose the color of the magic with the left and right button. Choose the effect of the magic with the up and down button. Press triangle to use the magic. Raindrops or rapid fire. Ooh. And then. Oh, this is weird. So, spread shot for five way shot or Vulcan for a rapid fire. What about if we do that one? Raindrops or triple blades. Oh, I gotta know what triple blades are. Alright, that's, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Three bronze coins. The bronze coin allows you to continue when your HP becomes zero. 
The silver coin and gold coin allow you to continue your game as well. You can find these coins in treasure boxes and other places. Not just have one coin. Eh. Okay. Eh. Eh. It's the flying pack, man. Oh my god, this guy's. Alright, alright, you need to calm the fuck down, sir. What are you, me? <laughs> You're not a spunky girl. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, my MP went up, though. And so did my HP, actually. Oh, don't tell me this is actually Quest 64 or Final Fantasy <laughs> 2 rules. This was like, was, I mean, this is like the same time period, isn't it? I feel like. Well, Final Fantasy 2 was like, what, 88, 89, 90, somewhere in that range? Like a decade Final apart. Oh, okay. People are saying yes. Oh, God. Okay. Wait, so what What does that mean? So it is, it is yeah. Quest 64 rules. It is the more you do something, the better you get at it. Oh, okay. Alright, this spell is too slow. I need to pick a faster one. That seems faster. Alright, time to stay in the level 1 zone for 20 hours and get to max level. And then we can finally do the story, guys. Um, chat, I was kidding. Um, I did not mean to manifest... Quest 64? Yes. I might want to pick a lower cost spell, too, because this is I'm going through this really fast. All right, so is it a case of I just gotta get hit to actually get more health? Oh my god, it actually is. Oh, it dude. actually is. That's the worst, man. They're like, oh, you didn't dodge that attack? Here's a reward. Oh, you're dodging the mechanics? No. We're gonna, you don't get HP. Come on, I'm a little girl. Kick the shit out of me. There's, there's just an area back here. <laughs> Alright, so the blue things are potions, which makes sense. So it really is just get the get the snot bean out of you. It really is quest 64. <laughs> Finally, Square's take on Quest 64. Exactly what I've been looking for <laughs> in my life. I feel like Quest 64 is having like a resurgence where everyone loves it again. Everyone's like, I love that game. That game was okay. It's not great, <laughs> but it's okay. I used to have to defend that game like against everybody. Hey, mister, what's up? Oh, buddy, you okay? You literally ran. Mister, you okay, bro? Come on, buddy. It's okay. Yeah, have some weed. Smoke, 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 smoke weed. Smoke weed every day. Smoke weed. Smoke weed. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. We ain't gonna hurt you. Oh, God. What the fuck? <laughs> We haven't eaten for two days. Got no money for dinner. This is perfect. I get to play hero and get even. <laughs> Got anything to spare? <laughs> hey, bro. 
What are you whining about? Holy shit! <laughs> Not yeah, what I expected. Blurg. Bro, you good? The hell you think you're? Oh my god, she's just gonna keep fucking try dive kicking him. What do you mean, not fair? You're the thug that knocked me down at the docks. I hope you have painkillers because I'm gonna give you plenty of payback. Damn. Shut up. You think you're gonna waste your time, a little brat, like you? Take the girl hostage. Bro. She got away. She's not very good at getting away, though. She's looping around. <laughs> Show your weed, buddy. Oh, did you just throw a bunch of it on the floor? What the hell? Oh, okay. Hover up the weed, mister. We haven't even eaten yet? Okay, go eat. Yeah, hey, stay here, buddy. Yeah, you're too high to move now. Good boy. Good boy, buddy. Dang, you guys are dumb. What'd you call us? <laughs> Alright, Smokey, let's chop her up. Oh, boss. Woo, they went oh, right for me, huh? Damn. Alright, good boss fight so far. Good boss fight so far. <laughs> <laughs> Can't fight out of empty stomach, you know. Wait for me, bro. All right, good, good boss fight. fight. <laughs> huh, that was easy. Dan, you want this one? Thank you so much for helping me. Oh, don't worry about it. I wanted to beat those guys up anyways. Gee, if you didn't come, I don't know what would have happened to me. Probably would have gotten eaten. <laughs> or arrested. Oh, by the way, what's your name? I'm Mint. I'm a princess, but you don't have to be formal with me. People refer to me as your highness, your greatness, beautiful majesty. You know what? You can just call me Princess Mint. Okay, Mint. What did I just say? Oh, I haven't told you yet. My name is Elena. 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 Okay, so what are you doing here on your own? I came here to look for my parents. They've been gone for five days now. I know they're here somewhere. Huh! Those brutes might go after my parents. I have to go find them fast, Mint. It was nice meeting you. Hold on! I'm curious, what are your parents doing out here? My father likes to do research on old ruins and stuff like that. I think he came out here to look for some kind of treasure. I think it's called a relic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, relic? Really? Yes! Hee hee hee, finally! Oh, if I find her parents, I can finally get some solid info on that relic. Elena, uh, Elena, you're incredible. Thank you. I'm touched by your Thank selfless you. wish to help your parents. I want to help you. Let's look for your parents together, okay? Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Okay, let's get going. I fell in a hole. Ah, <laughs> uh, what am I doing? <laughs> so I don't think you'll get to that point to find out, but there uh, are other ways to raise stats besides losing HP to a hit or burning MP. Oh, I think it's this way. Come on. I love that you're like, let's, <laughs> let's. I, you did I, that one. I'm I role playing hold. Daniel. I am playing the role of Mint right now. Oh shit! Okay, Mint can't swim for <laughs> shit. Good to know. Oh oh fuck! Well, I also can't attack or change spells. I just can't do anything right now, except for jump.
<laughs> okay. All right, bye. <laughs>。Oh, she actually found them. Oh my god. Elena, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? You haven't come home for five days. I was so worried about you. <gasps> Dad, what happened to your leg? Oh, it's nothing. I just I twisted my ankle a little. I can still walk. Phew. Thank goodness. I'm sorry, darling. I guess we came to cop my research again. I can't believe you came here by yourself. You all right? Actually, I almost got mucked by these brutes, but it helped me. I love that her mom literally is wearing like these greaves. She's like giant gloves for like fighting. She's got like the whole like knee pads going on here, but she's definitely still just wearing like mom jeans and a sweater. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mint. I know, it's a weird name. She's really nice, and she helped me look for you two. Oh, really? Thanks for all your help, Mint. Oh, it was nothing. We haven't named introduced ourselves yet. My name is Klaus. I live in Corona with my family. Oh, and that's my wife, Mira. Jack, you want this one? <laughs> Mint. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you, you helped Elena through a lot of trouble. I love the girl voice. Very, very nicely done. I got you. I got you. Thank you for helping her. Klaus, there's something I want to ask you. Sure, is it about the relic? Huh? How'd you know? This young man asked me about the same thing a second ago. So I thought maybe you had the same question. Young man? Ta-da! Oh, is that me? No. Who is, <laughs> who is oh, that? Oh, wait, no, was that me? Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's, shit, it's the boy. other playable character. It's Mysterious Boy. It's, it's player two. He looks like a weirdo. Wow. He He's... got here just... I don't even, oh. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> <what I'm doing. laughs> I'm all confused. Dang, he's my rival. Why? I'll be this guy. I'll be the guy. All right. If the guy talks. Oh, wait. Is this me? Oh, sorry. No, no, you meant the other guy. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many things. There's too many characters in this video game. <laughs> Guys, how do I save, by the way? Because we're at time. Oh, no. For the record, Rue does actually talk. That's right. We believe this magician did some research on the relic. If we go to his atelier, we maybe can get some information about the relic. Really? Where is it? Where is this atelier? Well, you, you don't know where it is? Oh, I think that's the mom. Oh. Can you come here for a second? You save the game of the inn that's back in town. The one I can't afford? Oh, fuck. I'm gonna push you off this cliff. If the legend is true, there should be some kind of special area down there. Why don't you go and look? <laughs> Why don't you jump off, the, please? The path that leads to the Atlia should be hidden somewhere there. I'm British, apparently. <laughs> As you can see, the cliff is so steep we can't get down there. Before you two came, I tried to get down there myself, but I ended up slipping and twisting my ankle. Dang, this is crazy, but... Oh, there's the boy. Oh, doctor. I think I can. Oh. Wee! Wee! See ya! Jeez. I hope she'll be all right. Those are mon there's monsters lurking all over those cliffs. I think she'll be all right. Elena, don't ever be that reckless, okay? Okay. Alright, so how long do I have before a save point? Do I just am I just giving up on it? What are we doing here? Oops. That's me definitely hitting the wrong button to fight. Oh, this guy wants to fuck me up. Oh no. Jesus. Holy shit. Is He's like, I'll end your game for you. Sick. 
six hours? No, that's not... I don't think that's correct. Like, is it worth me going for a couple extra minutes to find a save point, or are we SOL? Are you supposed to get on top? I don't know. It looks like I could break it. Cause it's the only cause I can hit it. You have like ten, maybe fifteen minutes before the save point, then I guess we'll just I think we're SOL then. Well, that's bummer. This seems interesting. Yeah, that looked cool. I bet I bet it's like I bet it actually has pretty good design. I mean it's definitely it like the first time I've good. heard of this game, so it's just the first time I've played it. I feel yeah. like if it's made by Square, it's probably like It's probably at least but decent. They know what they're doing, yeah. <sighs> oh, you know what would help if I put the disc in the PS5? That might be helpful. Um, I'm gonna be right back. Go for it. Okay. Yeah. I left Unicorn Overlord in there. Mister, where'd you go? You left so much weed. Bagel, how could you leave so much weed on the ground? There are cats that would fight for all that weed. Party foul. Party foul, oh, Bagel. Party foul. My god. Pew, pew, pew. All right. So are we starting Rift Apart from the very beginning? Because I don't know if we've ever streamed this. I have this weird feeling we have. But I don't know. Considering the game was moved over to my USB drive, I don't think that's the case. Never streamed it. Yeah, because I... Oh, yeah, never mind. Because I've got my completed game, and I've got one where I'm a third through the game already. So let's just... Let's just start a new save. Rebel Agent, a balanced choice for more experienced players. Make sure subtitles are set. Put them on. Standard. That's fine. Speed running settings? Oh. Interesting. That's cool. I love when games do that. I got speed run mode. Is this on PC? I think it is now. Oh, have you only played like 30 minutes of this show? I haven't played any of this game on stream before. I beat this game in my spare time. Oh, okay. I love Ratchet and Clank. It's just I've only beaten so many of the games. Uh, how early is this? This seems early. Th we started a fresh file. Oh, okay. Where are you going? 
Big hammer. Get fucked. Hey, it's okay. See? Just me. Rivet? Shh. Gotta go. Here, it'll help you get home. I designed it to be one size fits all, so it should. Thank you. I really like how they like yeah her, just her whole character you, you just like her design you think her design's really good yeah yeah it is a pretty solid design which is why we won't be seeing it for the rest of the stream segment <laughs> don't you think it's weird to throw a celebration for us I mean, but also like her character is really great too yeah no rivet's really good years what if everyone thinks we're washed up? <gasps> oh, what if we are washed up? Hmm? Luckily, we will not need to perform any heroics. <laughs> Unless you count smiling and waving. <sighs> right. <laughs> Give a big welcome to the Grand Marshals of our parade. Ratchet and Clay! No oh, Captain Copernicus Quark. Some ratchet share of VA with Johnny Tess. Yeah, it's also Titus from Final Fantasy X. Got the actual story. Oh, right. I remember where this all goes now. <laughs> Were you just shooting a cannon into the audience? Yeah, it's just a confetti cannon. Yeah, oh, it's... okay. <laughs> I'm like, that's, that's, not, that's not nice. <laughs> I'm just killing random bystanders. You know, what heroes do. Don't worry Hooray about for it. Bit with confetti. Confetti. Nice. I'm guessing it's on 30 FPS mode, the 60 FPS performance uh, RT and 40 FPS mode. I, I didn't set any, change any settings at all, so whatever default is. Right. Give me the ammo. Oh yeah, this fucking game has the adaptive triggers, I forgot. So for those who've never played PS5 games, they actually do a bunch of things in them, depending on the developer, where uh, you pull down the trigger and it does, it, like, it resists. So, like, certain guns will, like, only go halfway and then you have to, like, press it again harder for the other half of the trigger. Yeah. So it's kind of neat, but it's weird to get used to when you're so used to playing other games. I was gonna say Returnal does that, yeah. Jump hazards or hit them, sure, whatever, we don't care. <laughs> oh dear. Activating Magna Boots. Smiling and waving, huh? I 
would bet the blogs are behind this, or the Cragmites, or, oh, Dr. Nefarious. <laughs> no way! Nefarious has been retired longer than we have! I do have it, okay. Oh no, Poker Floats! Damn it, I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> this tutorial goes so hard. <laughs> it's such a cool idea for a tutorial because it's also a recap of basically the entire series. Right. I know they are, Riley, but I keep doing it out of pure reflex because Ratchet and Clank's all about smashing stuff, so. Plus, I think it's also... I forget if taking damage gives you XP in this game like it does in some of the other ones. after you weren't even aiming at me <laughs> I was chasing you burst pistol level two second I got out of cover. Nice. There we go. Nice and easy. And now we reach the present of our hero story. Ever play the game where you <laughs> play as Ratchet, like... Sly, and Jack? Is that like PlayStation Heroes or whatever it was called. I heard that was not that good. I like other just like, yeah, nothing crazy just happened. speech prepared, but considering that our event seems to be under assault, I will cut to the chase. Ratchet, I do not know where I would be without you. You are my closest friend, my teammate, and you have given up a lot to... I have repaired the Dimensionator, so you can travel Aww. through dimensions and find your family. What a fucking hobby. No, how I... What? Dr. Nefarious? Ratchet and Clay! What a wonderful surprise! I didn't expect to see you here. Considering my goons were meant to annihilate you eight minutes ago. Oh. What do you want, Nefarious? Yes! Fish! Can't anyone print instruction manuals anymore? You literally just made it. Well, he didn't make it. That's what he stole from Clank. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's what I meant. Like, it, it... I think it's from a previous game. I forget which one, though. Oh, okay. okay. 
Oh, it's from Into the Nexus. I guess that would make the most sense. Because that was also the previous one before this. Is this from the future trilogy? Oh, shit. We have to get the Dimensionator away from Dr. Nefarious. Yes, and quickly. Whatever he has planned, it cannot be good. So here I am. No, I'm just God, I love Dr. Nefarious. He's one of the better villains they've got. I should have known Nefarious would try something like this. Don't beat yourself up. This will be just like old times. Come on. It looks like Nefarious landed somewhere near the train station. Go. That's why when you play We should grab a weapon. That's why when you play all for one, you're gonna be nefarious, right? Uh but I like I like quirk though. Uh what do you want to get? I only got enough for one of them. Am I getting the shatter bomb or the enforcer? I already have the pixelizer. Well, what do you think, Dan? What are we what are we looking at here? Um we got a double barrel plasma cannon, and we've. Oh, there's previews. Yeah. Oh, okay, sick. Ooh, that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Can I see how that? Okay. Yeah. And then we have the shadow. That, guy, that guy's crazy. <laughs> what is this voice? Oh, it's fucking Invader Zim's voice. It's Richard like for real, dude. It's, yeah, it's that's actually exactly Zim's like voice. That's so sick. No, no, no. The shotgun's way cooler. Yeah. I, I like the grenade launcher, but I, uh, yeah. The force is nice. Uh, I mean, we're pretty close to getting both, so let's get the Enforcer. And then... I'll double back and grab the Shatter Bomb when we get a chance. Oh my god, that's Zen. Holy shit, dude. That's wild. Alright, give me a second, because I'm trying to remember what button is the wheel. There we go. We also have the Pixelizer, if we haven't used yet. Which we can make everyone 8-bit. And then they shatter. Yeah. Oh. Fuck yeah, dude. That gun's sick. But this is the one we actually just bought. This shotgun. Oh, that's the shotgun? Oh, dude, yeah. Now, now it's the shotgun. Oh, yeah, dude. That's all I'm saying, dude. We got that shotty. I like the one that goes bang bang. Alright, I forgot this game has audio in the controller. Alright, well, I got enough, so let's go back to Mrs. Zircon if she didn't leave. Oops. Uh, Mrs. Zirk. Oh, you don't. Alright, I had to finish combat first. Dude, I used to have a fucking Invader Zim backpack. Back in the day, that shit went so hard. Yeah. Alright, now it should let me. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright, Mrs. Zircon. It's all squirrel. It would like this. Give me that. Mrs. There we go. Nice. 
Here we go. All right, we got them all. Nefarious. Put down the Dimensionator. Yeah, right. Today, you will see what losing feels like. Spoiler, it's exhausting. As soon as I figure out these stupid coordinates. Say goodbye. This guy's a famous voice actor too, right? Dr. Nefarious. I don't remember what he's done, but someone said earlier in chat he was in an episode of Next Generation or uh, Deep Space Nine. I think it was TNG. He sounds like a freaking... He sounds like a dude in Avatar, too. Whoa. What just happened? We may have a slight... He's Quark? The bridge is shot. There has to be another way across. He was straight up Quark in Deep Space Nine. I didn't realize it was the same actor. in your glove? Try pointing it at one of them. All right, now the main gimmick of the game: rift tethering. Yeah, this is definitely gonna it's come so freaking cool. It actually is really fucking neat. I am with Dan, yeah. 100. This, uh, this is like my favorite part of the intro. Just like the where they're just like just doing all this jumping and rift. stuff. Yeah. He's actually a really cool mechanic. He's Andrew Ryan from Bioshock? Are you kidding me? I didn't know that one. That fucking rules. Wow, my aim sucks. That shouldn't click. <laughs> Click, no gods, no king. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, a ratchet chooses, a clank obeys. There we go. That's what I was trying to go for. I couldn't remember the line. It's been so long oh since I played God. through Bioshock. Whoa, watch your head. This is worse than I had imagined. Rift to Park, aka the PS5 Flex. Yeah, pretty much. Those people just become plants? They sure did. From above. Oh. Oops. Hello. Damn. Okay. Okay. See you, Shatterbomb. Shatterbomb's cool if you can aim it right. Yeah, that was huge. I love that because he decided to shoot the Dimensionator, that, like, this is kind of all his fault. Oh, it's absolutely our fault, yeah. Yeah. But also, we probably shouldn't have let uh, Dr. Nefarious even have his hands on it in the first place, so... Well, yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're all... Everyone's got a little bit of fault here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, is that the same race of person that we saw before? Oh, God. I think so. Nefarious's ship. We've got to find a way up there. The taxis leaving from that stand are driving right by him. Then we better not miss our ride. Hey, uh, when did you rebuild the Dimensionator? I have hobbies, and I know that finding the oh, lost. Sorry, I thought I was being talked to. I guess not. To you. I thought perhaps. Mister, come here. Together. <laughs> Why don't we get it back from Nefarious first? I hear a cat crying. Are you kidding me? 
Bagel, come on, dude. He's being weird, whatever he is. Ooh. There we go. Is this the one? Is this the one that leads to the secret stuff? Or is that progress? There's one of these that leads to some rare titanium. Yep, there we go. This is the one I was thinking of. Grab more of that. Man, I love it when... And like sci-fi, like whenever it's like an obtainium or like oh, just like the obtainium. weirdest like word they could possibly attach to it. Yeah, yeah. I also love in sci-fi when like if, if it's like set in the future or like really, really wherever it's like what their like terms for money is. Like, either, like, what <laughs> it's called... It's credits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is, is it credits? Is it, like, units? Space, is it... Space dollars. And then, like, whatever, like, nicknames people have for it, like... Space Eddies. Bucks. Yeah, like... <laughs> That'll be ten space bucks, Junior. Alright, so let's pop in here first. Yo, V, where are my eddies? Or whatever. Where are my creds, bro? Where are my creds? You promised me creds. In, in a recent Genshin Impact event, there is a bagel XP. A large and aggressive orange cat with a scar on a right eye that busted into a house. You're fucking with me, right? Out of hand. Tiny Eddie's. No, they're. No, that did happen. His name is Sir Puncelot. Hey. Sir Puncelot. Okay, interesting. Just blowing shit up everywhere. <laughs> like genuinely, there's so many of them I haven't finished yet. I've only finished the first two and this one, but like they're so fun. We just want a game that's just like got a really goofy, fun sense of humor, does like a bunch of like weird, strange shit, but it's like surprisingly entertaining. I highly recommend getting into the Ratchet and Clank series, and especially since this one is on like PC. I do recommend this. This is this is a great one also to get into, despite it being the current end of the series. But like, it's just, it's just really satisfying. Damn it! I did and it again. It, and, it, and it's also just super beautiful. Like, if you can play this in 4K, highly recommend. Have I beaten Tools of Destruction? I've not beaten any of the PS3 ones. I watched uh, my ex at the time, or I guess my ex now, uh, play through a crack in time. So I know mostly how that one ends. All right, now let's get to Nefarious. These goons are useless. This is what I get for giving my assistant paid paternity. Quickly, we cannot let Nefarious overuse the Dimensionator. We must lower his defenses. Toads are so un 
peasant. Not the froggies. No, I mean, they're trying to murder me, so they can get the shotgun. They can have some shotgun as a treat. A treat? Well, it's a treat for me, actually. Never mind. <laughs> oh, hi, buddy. <laughs> I thought that was the game, not you. Hi. Hello. Can I help you? Yeah, Teddy's quite a boss fight right now. No oh, crap. Hi, I can't help notice your tail's in the way. <laughs> Hi. Get wrecked. You're done. I think this is my favorite part. Just this whole scene? Yeah, it's super cool. Here's a preview of it basically everywhere you'll go. Oh, I am in control of this part. Yeah, you have about that controller. You teach it who's boss. Did I do it? Oh, what is this? What's with all the neon? This is the part where you lose. Oh, I kill you. Ratchet, the dimension ate her. <laughs> Well, that plan's fucked. F. F planet. Ratchet? Oh dear. My arm. And. No. The Dimensionator. It. What have I done? What have you done? Who are you? Someone with a lot of questions. Let's go for a ride. Yeah. Wait, I have to find my friend. Hi, boy. Yeah. Hi. It's me. It's me. Nefarious, you have 
returned early from your conquest. Yes, Emperor. Damn, you got a secretary and shit. Yeah. He fucking made it, dude. Ratchet and Clank ripped apart late title card, baby. I like that it said, like, laughter and then, like, nervous laughter. Yeah. <laughs> Please tell me his alternate self beats him up or something. Play the game and find out. Uh, oh. uh, Clank? Clank? A Wombax? What is this place? Actually, that's a that's a pretty good half hour segment. This is a great place Where to stop at. You, Clank? Maybe someone around here has seen him. Right. Literally like a thirty minute tutorial. <laughs> yeah. But it's awesome, so it's like so it's okay. Yeah. My buddy. This yeah, was that... like any other game, they'd be like, thirty minutes for a tutorial. What? Yeah, that was two percent of the game, what you saw just then basically, so Dang. Yeah. Wow, let's yeah, play this um... in twenty twenty one. Jesus. Yeah, I, I highly recommend it. It's very good. To those, John, I know you said you already played it. I guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'll probably go play another Ratchet and Clank at some point because I just like them. Yeah. All right. Next up is Breath of Fire Four. Uh, let me try to figure out what memory card my save is on. Oh, hey, I never turned this off. <laughs> Let's go. Uh -oh. oh. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> you were grinding stats. Exactly. Every every second you're in the pause menu, you gain intellect. Uh -huh. <laughs> Is that the you word? gain pa patience yeah. points. Quest 64 logic, dude. Hey, why are you so nervous because I'm standing up? What do you think I'm going to do to you? Hey, no, no, that's not an invite to steal my chair. Oh. There you go. Hello. Look at look at this little fucker right here. Camera. Look at him. Hello. Aw. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Hi. I I kind of need my Aww. chair. Hi. He got real comfortable real quick. <laughs> he sure did. That's what he does. He's an opportunistic one. Hi, right, can I have my chair back? I assume the answer is going to be no. Yeah, that seems very much like the answer is no. Hello. <laughs> oh my god, that's cute. <sighs> I could be very mean and spin him around, but I don't want to do that. Look at that smile, dude. Oh my god, look at this smug ass cat. He's so fucking smug. Alright, well, I guess I gotta go get another Stand chair. Up. I guess I gotta get go another buy another chair. chair. Oh, I, yeah. I just turned off one of my monitors. Oops. He'll find a way to take up both chairs. He will. And he knows mine's more comfortable. <laughs> Alright, time for my favorite game. What memory card is my Breath of Fire 4 save on? It's probably not on the pocket station. Use the icon for Breath of Fire 4. None of those. Demon. 
Man. Fucking love Pepsi Man. It's a classic. Barbie Race and Ride. It's gotta be one of the ones on the desk, because there's only we played it recent ish. So okay, so I got it. I got it. How many memory cards do you have? <laughs> oh my God, dude, I don't even know at this point. Hang on. Eight thousand. On my desk right now. Oh my God. Mm. Why is he a long man? He's a very long man. There we go, Breath of Fire 4. Alright, on my desk right now, with my PS4, my, my PS2, I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 PS1 memory cards, and three ps2 memory cards <laughs> and then on my on my tower stand here i see another uh are these all ps2s these are all PS2s. and that's just like that's just like the immediate access ones well, like that's, that's the first pile basically i've got in like yeah. a slightly farther away oh thanks for my chair back buddy uh on the other place where i keep them now you can hear me better uh, I see one, two, three, four, four PS2 memory cards and two PS1 memory cards. So that would be nine PS1 cards and seven PS2 cards. That's so and cool. I, and I know I still have... I mean, have, you need them, I have, them a, dude. I have a container like, somewhere else with a bunch of other ones, too. You literally need them. Like, that's just... Well, now here's the thing. Like, I've got the memory card 2 ordered. So there's a there's a card you can get that's called the memory card Pro 2. It's literally just put, a, like, a micro SD in there. And it will create a memory card per game. Oh. That's sick. So we can probably fill, like, genuinely, you will never there. run out. Yeah, because, like, every game is, like, 2 megabytes. <laughs> Not even for PS1. PS1 is like... How big is a PS1 memory card? It's not even a megabyte, I don't think. I think it's like 128 kilobytes or something like that. That's insane. Is this, is this Digimon? This is Breath of Fire 4. So this is Capcom's RPG series. Okay. That wasn't Mega Man. <laughs> And then when like every new game comes out, they're like, oh, that'll be 200 gigabytes on your hard drive, please. Dude, Thank I you. cannot stand the fact that games take up so much space now because of 4K textures. <laughs> yeah. As someone who doesn't care about 4K textures, it is so frustrating that the game sizes for hard drives have bloated up because of them. <laughs> please, bro. We spent so long on the intro cutscene, bro. Please. It has to be 8,000 FPS, please. I just, I just, like, I, it looks nice when it's at full texture and everything like that, but, like, I just wish it was optional for a bunch of these. Because, <laughs> yeah. man, it takes up so much freaking space. Like, and the, the, or the damn system should ship with bigger memory. I literally had to install a second hard drive in my PS5 because... The default one was full, and I had five games installed on it. I say five, it was probably more like eight or nine, but like it was still a low amount compared to the amount of PS4, PS5 games I own. They should yeah. just put a link to a YouTube video, and then that's the cutscene. And then the game is like... <laughs> okay, no, they don't need to do that. That's a bit too far in the opposite direction. The game is like two megabytes. <laughs>
Was I actually in the right? No. You have the initiative. Damn, you're hitting 2,000 already? So this is like another character, like uh, it, it's, it's split between two parties right now, essentially. You won a great victory. I love that translation. Nothing. No, nothing treasure. Nothing treasured, nothing gained. Am I in the wrong spot? Oh, there we go. There's run. Is this where I came from last time? You're in the right spot? Okay. Big dino. Oh my god. Where's that crit, baby? Mmm. You won a great victory. God, I forgot how nice the sprite work is in this game. Just look at look at this shit. Yeah, I like that running animation. That's a. Like... Oh, no, I thought there was a thingy up here. I guess not. Basic dinosaur. Counter. Oh. Oh damn. Charmander. No, Charmander. I'm going to slowly walk away from my great victory. The slow-mo walk when the explosion goes off. Cool guys don't look at explosions. Cool, cool guys don't look at dead Pokemon. Put the flip the sunglasses on. Oh, wait. I actually did need to be on the other side. Shit. How do I go anywhere? I think some of the file size bloat is part of the if it doesn't fit fully on a disc, we don't have to let you keep it forever issue. Eh. That's a whole different argument. I'm not sure if I even want to remotely dig into right now. As a game collector, I've got opinions. <laughs> you get a vitamin from that dinosaur. Good, because I think I need it. So where did I go wrong? That's where I went wrong. Man, there, there's something about the rotation of the camera that I really like. It's it's what we call a kind of like easy ease, where it's not completely linear. It's like... Maybe you're the god Emperor Fo Lu, yes? Thou sayest thou wert waiting for us. Thou knowest of us and what we are then? Yes, your, yes, your oh, majesty. Yeah, you take, you take. <laughs> you got it. You got it. You are the first emperor, Falu, who founded our great foul empire. Ow. And knowing this, thou wouldst greet us with malice in thine heart and thine blade in hand? Yes. I'm afraid times have changed, Your Majesty. Oh, he, oh, um. Shit. I'm a giant spider thing. Well, Whoa. fuck you. I'm going to transform into a dragon hybrid form, I guess. Dragon hybrid. That's it, of course. That's what I meant. Anyway, I attacked him. I became three-dimensional. I love that, like, he just allowed you to, like, take ten seconds to transform. Well, I'm taking my turn. Now he gets to take his. I know, but I mean, like... Taste my flaming fist. Oh, that looks dope. That's like... What do I got for special? 
If he's a fire boy, maybe the maybe the I don't know. Yeah, that's that a frost works. strike. Ow. How dare you do roughly a hundred damage to me? I'm gonna use Bing! Not Google. No, not the search engine. What about cheese? I've been blaming the game size blown on people not really keeping up with or studying the techniques of the past for data uh, comp compression optimization because of tech advancement. I no longer have to make 8 kilobyte, 8K megabytes fit into a 5K megabyte storage. So, I mean, that is part of it, too. And the problem, like, storage has gotten a lot cheaper, which is great for the consumer. But some companies do kind of take it a little too far. Activision, I've always heard, is the biggest company that is like fucked with this like call of duties tend to be like 200 gigs now ish or was that uh, that they're that's like literally the, i think that's like pretty much where the meme started was like there was like a i don't know what call of duty it was but it was like so many freaking gigs dude i think this war zone is the one that apparently has like the huge file bloat they randomly yeah. have to do updates where they just kind of shrink down the files every now and then I think there was, I know there was a meme at the launch of PS5 where they said they found the games that took like the biggest file size possible on the PS5, and I think it was three games total, and then they filled the hard drive. Something insane like that. I know with like Diablo 4, it was like, do you want to, do you want the 4K cutscenes? Cause that'll be like 80 gigs. Or do you want like the 1080 cutscenes? And it's like, you know, the size of an N64 game. <laughs> Not really, but it's like forget it's like ten gigs or something. I'm like, damn, <laughs> that's a that's like literally all of the file size is like the upscaling. Yeah, and like again, the blessing and the curse. Arc survival evolved is three hundred and thirty nine gigabytes. Holy crap! You will pay a tired majesty. It is to be expected, I suppose. You have just awoken. I don't know. I'm, I don't know what. I'm <laughs> you have just awoken. <laughs> long like, like, sleep. Like, <laughs> you have just awoken from a long sleep. Very long sleep. And you are not complete, exactly, are you? Puberty's hitting this guy real hard. You are not complete. <laughs> he's just—he's having a hard time right now. To appear thou does mean not to fulfill thine duty as thou art called upon to do by our promise. He was like the podcast voice. <laughs> <laughs> Alas, it is me, as you say, my lord. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and today's true crime podcast is about the time that <laughs> yeah. we tried to ma ma murder Faolu. Apparently it failed horribly, and thus the world <laughs> was doomed for a terrible, terrible fate. <laughs> this, this episode was brought to you by Forspace. Forspace, please <laughs> give us money. I was called Have you heard it. Of proximity <laughs> effect. <laughs> <laughs> thou art mortal. Thou cannot go against thy nature. No more than a fish could walketh upon the firmament. Bye. Still, thou wilt find that our promises art not easily broken. Bitch. Return then to thy <laughs> master and tell him our words. Also, get fucked. Okay. Trying to buy time, are you, Majesty? Oh, wow. Set okay. Fire to the tree. Oh, God. Okay. We must stop him before he recovers his full strength. <laughs> full strength. His full strength. We burn in the forest. Cool. Love that. Smokey, Smokey, we, we, don't, that? we don't seem to give a fuck. We, oh, maybe we do a little. That was used fire against us. Indeed, planned well, have they? Oh, they might actually do have the worry, apparently. Uh oh. 
Oh no, a tree is falling! In the woods! It made a sound. I guess I can't go that way. And I, and I wasn't somebody, to hear this. somebody <laughs> did hear it! <laughs> Super vitamin. Like, is that a full heal or rare, high quality item restores all HP to one targets? Oh good, a wooden bridge in the middle of a fire. Oh. That's my favorite kind. As I recall, your majesty has... I don't know what <laughs> Your majesty a has a strong opinion in the water, yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's just his voice, guys. I'm sorry. That's just what it is, dude. And with your powers not fully returned... It is unlikely that you will be able to survive battle with my creations in Raging Fire. Rotate. We what's know thy name, O oh cunning one. Yo, General of the Folu Imperial Army at your service. <laughs> Fucking bitch slap, oh wow. I don't want to take any chances. Find the body. Body. Find the body now. Meanwhile, back where our actual party was. Oh, well, we managed to make it up, didn't we? Just a little ways more to the town. Oh, God. Oh, right. Right, she can fly. All right, Nina, get back in. What? So this is our actual party. Uh, we are Nina and Ryu. Oh, we're little level one fucking... We're level, we're level five and four, not level freaking... 64 like the other dude was. Oh, well, God. Yeah, that dude, that dude was a little borked, a little busted. So now we're going to be like, oh, I hit a two, cool. I'm doing 20 damage. Yay for me. I crit for three. So is this Street Fighter? And well, it's Capcom, so. Oh. Uh, menu. Let's save. Is this the same Ryu? No, so they, um... <laughs> what is it? It's uh, Capcom just really like the name Ryu. <laughs> Okay. So every Breath of Fire has a Ryu and has a Nina in it. And I think a couple other characters make multiple appearances, but maybe not everyone. Let's go, dude. Level one crab, dude. Level one slime boy. I goo. I Worth eight experience, Bob. six bucks. Croc tier and healing herb. I goos, like other goos, are lazy and often rest. Same. I love the two little that eyeballs. Damn, okay, 68, I see you. Damn, okay. I mean, Ryu means dragon, so it's kind of the obvious name here. I know, I know it is, so. Because this is Breath of Fire, which is all about Daggerons. All oh, right, didn't we like fall down here in the previous time we played this or some shit like that? So like I shouldn't be I don't have to look around here. This is backtracking. I think I'm waiting for someone to speak up. All right, there's a yep. Well, I get to stab some caps. <laughs> it's a duck beaver. These ducks are usually <laughs> quite peaceful and rarely ever attack. Well, let's stab them. Almost like monkeys. Cap is guarding. Oh, but yeah. 
The Hubba Platypus. <laughs> I got some berries. Heck yeah. No chat. It's a duck beaver. All right. Deal with it. <laughs> We've made the decision. We are Capcom, and you have to listen to us. I am El Nina, which is Spanish for the Nina. <laughs> Jesus. I know, I'm trying to... Wait, can I not go... Oh, I'm supposed to go down. That's what I was getting confused. Alright, there's like random spots here that I can look around for stuff too. Is it worth it to look around in these? Is this just if I want to fight things? Dang, 40 damage out of just like the starter enemies. Um, hey, Jen, what, what uh, number game is this? This is game six. If you need to bounce, buddy, it's all right. You're free to bounce whenever you need to. Same with you, Jack. We got four games left tonight. You said I literally had to be here or else. Well, I held you at knife point. We wouldn't, so we wouldn't that, be friends. But like, I, I have to pretend that's not what I did now in that, real life. Now so. that you're live, it's like, oh. <laughs> now that I'm live, got to put that good guy persona back on. Okay. Yeah, no, legit though. If you guys ever need the bounce, don't worry about it. I got my CoCom team will probably slide in and hang out for the rest of the night, so you ain't gotta worry. <laughs> if anything, you've hung around longer than Steven normally does. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> I'll hang out until Chad's just like, God, get out of here. <laughs> Chat's like, fuck, I'm sick of this asshole. God, his dumb voice. This <laughs> is like when I do like the voiceover. <laughs> what do you do to my favorite character? Long I don't even remember what the dude's name was anymore. Yomi. <laughs> I don't see any items. I feel like I missed something. John made them an Stand offer asshole. he they couldn't refuse, and that's why I'm management of the Coliseum team. <laughs> <laughs> Will we get the Xenoblade 3 now? Yeah. Yeah, I'm playing all the games. I'm gonna keep going. You got me for the rest of the night. Y'all y'all fuckers are stuck with me. I don't know if stuck is the right word. I think it is. <laughs> well. <laughs> Mister, it's your birthday in 30 minutes. Oh. Is it Bagel's oh. birthday? It's Bagel's birthday on Sunday, the 14th. Oh. Oh, it's been it's been that for an hour and a half. In your time zone. So. Yeah. Happy birthday, Bagel. Woo. It can be that loud. No, John, you are stuck with us! Oh, no. Can't believe Proton John's here at a Proton John stream. Well, I could let... Cla I must say Claire. I could let Rosa run the stream if we wanted. <laughs> I think I've been dreaming too much lately. Merp day to the bagel boy. Let's go. Birthday boy. Everyone's making you rotate, buddy. It's your birthday. You're eight years old. Damn, eight, hell yeah. Yeah, he has been, we've had him since 2016. We adopted him September. Uh, yeah, September 2016, and his birthday was April 2016. Aw, hell yeah, bagel. Please don't tempt chat, you know they'd love it. Well, I mean, they got a Rosa stream once, so. Please don't let Claire run the stream. Well, why, what would she do that's different?
There's so many bagels in the chat, buddy. Yeah. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. We even bought you a little number eight candle. No, really? I could have sworn you had him since before 2016. Wow. No, we didn't. Like, Reese didn't even move to, uh, to Calgary until the end of 2015. What you gonna do? Not give it back? I, I don't know if she'd want to stick her. I don't know if she'd want to keep, keep control of the stream. I don't know if that's that's what she would want. If anyone could actually control the stream, I mean. All right, bye, Nina. Until you join the party later. Time is stupid. You're right. How would you summon her, though? Life finds a way. Hail, travelers! I bet you've got a lot of questions, don't you? Well, you've come to the right place, because I've got the answers! What do you want to know? I would like to learn about learning. <laughs> How do you learn? If you're guarding during combat, sometimes you can learn attacks your enemies use? Oh, no. It's a blue mage situation. She'd come close with how feral chat goes over fam voice. Oh no. Oh god. Oh, there's spell combinations? Oh shit, there's a lot of systems in this game I didn't realize. About combat. Most of them are neat but not required, some are just busted. Some monsters you won't be able to defeat with ordinary attacks. When fighting those, you'll have to use special abilities or items. You can also find out all sorts of info about your enemies by pressing the square button. Push the X button then. You can explore a little of the area in more detail. Sometimes you find items or you might meet someone. No matter what, something will always happen. So be sure to go exploring as often as you can. Cool. Like, oh, she's... They're, they're telling me all this with, like, a weird reptar-ass puppet on their hands. <laughs> Well, they're trying to He's entertain like, this. They're trying to entertain He's this child. It, dude. <laughs> He's like, blah, blah, blah. I think it was actually the puppet that was talking to us that entire time. Oh shit! Ventriloquism. It's a lost art. Truly, it is. <laughs> we murdered Tim Curry just for cookies. Rock tier 20 you can cure. Antidote, eye drops, ammonia. What was the last thing? Wooden rod. None of us can use it apparently. Or a baby frog. Or straight. None of my party members are straight apparently. Good to know. Hell yeah. Get the rod? How many? Just the one? None of my party members are straight. So is your chat, John. Wow. Hell yeah. Just one and add some bait, which I assume is just is the straight and the baby frog. Fish to win. Can I open this treasure chest that's here? Nope, of course not. Ah, but you have weapons, which I probably can't afford because I just bought a bunch of stuff. could have bought was for her, but she's not in my party anymore. Am cis plus not straight though. <laughs> Jesus Christ.
Oops, I meant to actually equip that. My bad. Uh, let's just... I assume... I thought that said poop for a second, not pool. <laughs> Telling me that the bandana is not? Or sorry, the bandana is the best one versus the brass home? I guess it doesn't want to lose speed. My chat is now discussing how straight they are. I guess I, mm -hmm. I guess I should have seen this coming. Oh, that's a fish man. Uh, yeah, did you notice the frogs earlier? Or I guess lizards, I guess. Yeah. Random dude standing in an alley. Oh my god, look at this dude's fucking portrait. Hell yeah. He's like, you're not straight, are you? <laughs> I love, you I love... This party. <laughs> Jules, are you telling me a gingerbread this man? Jesus Christ, Jules, how you doing, bud? I would like to write in my diary, please. Dear diary. I Today, met I a bought guy an in the alley. <laughs> <laughs> I met a Reptar. And saw a dude in an alley with a mohawk. Who he asked me cool. if I was straight. <laughs> <laughs> Straight people in 2024 be like, I'm straight. <laughs> How up front of them? How dare. That is so I'll throw them off my scent if I tell them I'm straight. Clearly. Even if it is the truth, who cares? Oh God, dog! I gotta, I him. gotta hang out with dog. It looks like he wants to piss in the Look corner. The dog. dog wants to go piss in the corner. I, I love the way that the the game does um, the camera rotate. Like it's, it's it, not just linear. It's mm. like there's a ease to it. Now pet that dog. It's interesting, but it takes a bit to get used to, because I feel like I have to rotate a bunch just to see what I have to do around here. You will be careful. You know, just piss on me. Thanks, John. <laughs> oh. It had to happen eventually. Can I pay that dog? Oh my god, I am... So tired. Um, yeah, go to bed, bud. Yeah, no, yeah I'm gonna um, sleep. It's uh, almost two o'clock where I am. So thanks for hanging, uh, though. Appreciate it, buddy. Of course, thanks for having me. Um, thanks for reminding me. Um, oh yeah, bro. I will see you soon, dude. Yeah, we'll see you in a couple oh, months. Yeah. When, when is this happening? Like freaking. May <laughs> May third to fifth, so it's it's a little over two weeks away. Let's yeah, the go, act the actual it. event will be live three weeks from now. It's happening tomorrow. Oh, no, shit. fuck, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> I'm not oh, that fuck. ready for it. Oh boy. All right. Well, um, thanks right. again, John. No um, worries, dude. Take it easy, and I'll see you around soon enough. Night, nice, dude. Let's open up this. <laughs> you you owe me royalties now. He's not oh, here to no. hear that. Oh, he's still here. I thought he left on that. I thought you snuck off when you were doing I'm the <laughs> Yeah, I'm Dan now. Yo, dude, how's it going? What up? It's Dan too. You're just in time for me to go to break. <laughs> Family Dan. Good. I'll 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 just I don't know. Make everyone angry. 
Good. They're already mad. It's time someone else did that instead of me. <laughs> the silence really kind of just like made me worry for a second. I was just like, oh, was that? Not I, the I right should have just walked off and just let you sweat. Yeah, I, I was sweating. I, it was like one of those awkward silences that's actually two seconds, but felt like two years to me. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Let's drop some eggs. The sexy Gardevoir gives that sub to Rosalina. DB Koopa gives it a sub to Reverse Pooping. Met Wars for 64. Heroin Mari for 51. BRB, one sec. Go for it. Got some new job, Mari. One Crash 94 for 19. Hypercole for 80. Epic DXX for 56. Inokun 7 for 86. Kenda Queen for 43. Sith Arc for 107. Schlappy Joe for 9. Link 60255 for 50, Dan the Warrior 101 for 26, X Arian for 77, and Nalska for 63. Thanks for subbing and hanging out tonight, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of. Did I even leave? I gotta close the carton. Oops. Uh, yeah, I got videos in here. Buttery, you s am I showing your video now? You said to show it at the end of the stream, or was that just you wanted me to make sure Breath of Fire happened first? I wanted you to make sure Breath of Fire happened. Gotcha, okay. All right, Endless Beat sends in video output 366C9450-887944. It just keeps going. All right. Oh my God, this is three minutes long. What did you do, B? I've been since I've actually posted anything here, but guess what? It's been five whole years since I first posted in the Porton Buru with this image. Looks a lot cleaner now, doesn't it? So I had to finally preserve my old flip note drawings and restore them to their original quality. Stuff from before the brewer was even made is included. Remember Twitter time? These were there. Oh my god, Twitter time. How that got us in trouble so fast. Not every single thing I drew is included here. Unfortunately, some drawings are almost every image to delete from three days to make spaces. I previously had no other means of storing them at the time. What a luck! Thankfully, the missing drawings and animations are still on my main Twitter account. They're only in the phone only they're in phone camera quality. Hey, speed of animations, how about I end this video by showing a few? For stars, there was, this own, there was the only older animation that was saved. I'm not sure anyone recognized when this was made, but I'm glad I can show at least one in full quality. Now, how about a couple unreleased animations? Truth be told, I don't know what this was actually going to be for. My guess is that it was something akin to Bagel's is Fabulous video I made way back when. Looks like Bagel's trying to kill me. It's one more animation I planned to post, but by the time I finished, I thought it'd be too late to, and rendered it irrelevant to the stream. Eh, screw it. All I need to know is that you played Pac-Man 2 The New Adventures at one point. So I made this. What is happening in this? Ah, there's the smug walk, baby. Let's go. Let's go, smug Pac-Man. Everyone's favorite Pac-Man form, smug Pac-Man. I am grossly impressed at this animation skill. This is with Flipnote? Yeah, it's with Flipnote. That's incredible. This is very stylistic, too. Beat, you did a great job on this. What is this? This, this is an the animation they did in, like, Flipnote Studio. Dang. That's cool. Look! There was also planned to be an end, but a bit similar to this, but got lost somehow. That's all I want to show here. Hope you all enjoy that. Have a good rest of the stream. 
Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, Endless Beat. Thank you for saving a bunch of those. I haven't seen some of those in a very, very long time. God dang. All right, Buttery. You're the one who was most excited for Breath of Fire 4. What in the world have you done? So, um, this was nice. This might be the last time that we ever see Breath of Fire 4 on stream, but hey, you know, it's more advertisement than Capcom's possibly doing. So, in Breath of Fire 3 and 4, you have this master system where you can enlist characters into certain skill trees. A fun little fact is that the characters from 3 do make a cameo comeback. Specifically, Momo and Rai, two party members in the third game. It is completely non-canon on why they are in Breath of Fire 4. Uh, please, please don't ask me about the Breath of Fire timeline. We'll be here for, like... Well, not as long as if you ask me about the Kingdom Hearts timeline, but- Foreshadowing is a literary device. It's also worth noting that Breath of Fire made a comeback recently on Capcom's results for their consumer fan poll. So, you know, that that's neat and all. Uh, I don't got much else. Moth, 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 hey, hey, moth, moth, what do you got? Did you know that Keiji Inafune was the person who made the original concept art for the series? He later on went to say that the series had no future when he was the head of Capcom. Isn't that cool? Isn't that fucking cool? Doesn't that, isn't that great? Isn't oh, it great bad. that nothing has happened since then, except a mobile game that totally doesn't exist anymore? Isn't it great that I'm suffering? Anyways, now I have to figure out what my next niche RPG hyperfixation is going to be for the next Chaos Fortune Cookie. I, I think I've used most of them already. Like, I've, I've used Xenosaga, uh, Breath of Fire. Fuck it! <laughs> We're doing this Gaia next! Oh no. <laughs> well, you got three weeks to figure it out. What was what was the message at the end? I missed that. I could just default to Xeno Saga. Take this with a grain of sand. Gotcha. You got three weeks. Chaos Fortune Cookies happening in three weeks because Coliseum's happening in three weeks. All right, we're going to break. When we come back, the last four games of the night, which are... Uh, what's the order these are in? Why is... Mush... Minecraft. No, it ain't Minecraft. I can tell you that much. Oh, shit, it's Minecraft. Who knew? Uh, no, whoa! I is, knew! I, I knew that! <laughs> the Legendary Starfeet for the DS, Xenoblade Chronicles oh. 3 for Switch, Ark the Lad, Twilight of the Spirits for PS2, and AI the Somnium Files for PS4. Holy shit, that's a stacked list. Yeah, it's a pretty good list. See you guys Starfy, in a bit. Starfy foot. I've actually never played a Starfy game. So good. So cute. doing jack good dude Sick. just been been gaming for the last like or not not me personally but i've been watching john game it so i'm i'm vibing right now Sick. yeah sorry to crash the party but now nah, you're good dude you ain't crashing how are you doing bro you playing um ocarina of time today um I, so I, I was doing a randomizer that um, uh, Tyler uh, recommended me try, like a like a like a list of settings or whatever. And I was like, man, this is like really hard because like all of the silver rupees are also shuffled in, like to random places in Hyrule for like. Oh, that's fucked. Yeah, like puzzles and stuff. So I'm just like, oh, okay. So I guess. Uh, you know, if it if it doesn't, if I don't have all the silver rupees, then you just have to find them before you can even like go through rooms and stuff. Um, but and I probably put about like eh, ten ten hours into it total, because I was like I, I I mostly just wanted to see like all right, you know Tyler's been doing this for a while. I just started to learn how to speed run Ocarina of Time like. Am I a baller enough yet to be able to like hang with the attacking two cans and a <laughs> Zelda randomizer? <laughs> yeah. And it, for a while, I'm just like, man, this is like really, really hard. Like, I don't know what's going on. Um, 
and uh, I actually like I got to a place where I was just stumped, and I finally had to just look at the uh, uh, the spoiler log, and it turns out that the lo- the like the logic glitched out, and what? I- no way. Yeah. So like, um, what was it? Uh, I needed Sun Song, which is like the least. Th- there's only like one or two checks that need it, but like a gossip t- stone told me that uh, the frog mini game, when you finish it, and all I needed was Sun Song, it would give me the Spirit Temple key that I needed to finish Spirit Temple. Um, but he was fucking lying. It said that Sun Song was where the silver rupee, like it was like in a silver rupee location, but the silver rupees aren't there, so therefore there's nothing there. Oh, therefore, so it's like it didn't so load. It could be Sun anywhere, Song. basically. No, it it just didn't it just didn't drop it. <laughs> uh-huh. Like so, like I was like, yeah, okay, I don't feel as bad now. I do kind of feel like I just you know, wasted all this time. But I did, I, you know, I, I learned a lot from, from doing the, uh, you know, like, because, like, you and I have done stuff where it's, you know, just standard kind of randomizer stuff. Um, yeah. But, you know, it, it really teaches you, you have to know where all the sculptures are. You have to know where all the grottos are and all that stuff. And I'm like, I'm getting there and I'm like, I'm excited, but uh, it's, it's fun. It, it's like, it's honestly kind of like, a weirdly like Stockholm syndrome relief from Ocarina of Time because I'm like, man, I'm really tired of practicing Ocarina of Time. I'm gonna go play Ocarina of Time. Yeah. Well, it's like a whole different experience though. It really is, yeah. And it's like yeah, not I, even like the same game. <laughs> I know. It's because it turns into it's like a treasure hunt. Yeah, yeah, it's a scavenger hunt. Scavenger hunt, yeah. Yeah. I wanna, I wanna do some, I wanna do some randos on my stream and have you on. Oh hell yeah! We'll, we'll... I just gotta learn where the freaking Golchulas are. Yeah. I, I literally just have a like a, a tab open on the side that's like, <laughs> where is Skulchula in <laughs> Zora's domain? <laughs> it's like it's on the wall. To the left. <laughs> it's like, oh. It's in the room that's next to the other room. And then you look up, left, down. Thinking. I feel like that's there what Game Facts in like the late 90s was like. You know, when you, <laughs> you go on Game FAQS and you're just like, man, I just need a strategy guide for Ocarina of Time. I'll just be you like. You call the 1 900 number and pay like $10 oh my an hour. God, dude. There was a time where that was like my dream job. I was so like, just I gotta know, get like, yeah, your job is. Li- I mean, like, I'm not minim- like. First of all, I'm not talking shit about the job because that job's sick. But like, literally, like, y- you can just like read the strategy guide. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> and just like, <laughs> you're just like, yeah. So it says here. Uh, <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if like anyone. Left. <laughs> I wonder if anyone here ever called the Nintendo hotline. Did you? Did you ever? I called, I, like, there was one time I got stuck on Banjo-Kazooie, I had to call the hotline, because I was no too shit. trash to... Who, like, who was on the other line, do you remember? It was just, like, a guy, like, I don't know. <laughs> I was, like, negative 10 years old. I was don't it Ninja? <laughs> <laughs> it was Mr. Banjo-Kazooie himself. <laughs> Mr. Beast, but in 1998. You know what I was stuck on when I called it? I, I was stuck, I was stuck on fucking, um... Uh, what's his face? Clanker's cavern. Because I I didn't know you had to lower the, uh, or like swim through the there keyhole. Is, yeah, there is <laughs> nothing that tells you you need to do that. I was literally like I I did everything in the game that you could do <laughs> before that that was what I needed to do. <laughs> Wait, so you did like on the phone the was like yeah, I didn't do that. I'm just like fuck. Yeah. It reminds me of like Mario 64, like the the one star that I didn't know, like I got like 119 stars and I was like, where is this last one? And it was the second Princess Peach secret slide star. Ooh, like, yeah. Where you had to do it really fast. I was like, what? Like, how was I supposed to know that? I, it just that that was 
That was just gaming back then. Now, now gamers, they just. I, know, have I was gonna. There's gonna be like people, so like kids in the chat that are just like you idiots paid you paid money to like yeah, fucking. Yeah. <laughs> call a, call a phone number. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, you listen to your junior. Were, <laughs> yeah, games back then were hard, man. It wasn't because I was bad. No, <laughs> the game was bad. The game was. It was society's problem. Don't hate the game, hate the player. No, don't hate the player, hate the game. We used to have to kick our computer to fire it up, that internet. <laughs> <laughs> and it would go... <laughs> internet, internet. Those are old Dell computers. <laughs> yeah, had to pull the fucking... The, the, the start rod, whatever the fuck that shit's called. The, the, oh my god, I, I know what you're Ignition talking about. Pull the string, pull cord, yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, there it is. But yeah, dude, that would be like such a sick job. You're just like, some guy calls you, he's just like, I'm stuck in Mario. I don't know what to do. <laughs> then you just say, man, this sounds like a skill <laughs> issue. Then you say, skill <laughs> issue. <laughs> Ten dollars build yeah, to you $10 right now. Yeah, ten dollars get good. <laughs> <laughs> Messed up. That's funny. Then you send them a survey. How would you rate your experience? One out of ten. Oh well. Did <laughs> they say one out of ten skill issue? <laughs> I want to, I, I just like, maybe it's like a Santa Claus thing, but I want to believe the people on that hotline, like, they knew everything, you know? Yeah. Like, like they didn't need any strategy guides. They just knew. They, they played John every game. John could do it. Yeah. John could absolutely have just like 1-800, like, gameknowledge.com, like, I feel like uh, you wouldn't need any, any any cheese or anything. I'd like you too. I bet somebody. Like... I bet Chad could do it too. You guys could do that too, right? Nah. <laughs> nah. <damn. laughs> nah. I I think you guys could. All of chat combined. Oh yeah. Like everybody in this chat like knows like everything about one game. Everybody in the chat has like one game that they're just like disgustingly know every last thing about. So if you combine all that, that's like that's like an infinite freaking database right there. Chat, what's the one game you know way too much about? Just like just say it. Yeah, we need to start assigning <laughs> I can't wait for the one big, person big who says extensions. Yeah, <laughs> I'm wait. I'm waiting for wait, Honey Pop. Uh, everyone's like, just one, huh? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Chess history. I would say Metroid Prime, but that's like not true. Because it's like one of those like paradoxes where like the more you learn about the game, the more you realize how much you don't know. Yeah, that's exactly that's like how Ocarina it is. of Time. Yeah. All right, I think we got just about every video game ever covered here. Yeah, I definitely saw every game. Yeah, I saw every game. Some of you guys are going to have to step it up a little bit, do two or three games. No, I don't th I don't think that I don't think that would fly anymore these days. Like the the Nintendo thing. Yeah, you can't just like call somebody and <laughs> Pay pay ten dollars for them to tell you how to do something in a video game. I, feel like I mean, I guess you could. Everyone would just make fun of you. I feel like <laughs> you would just get roasted. <laughs> yeah.
One thing that's lost these days, strategy guides. I fucking love strategy guides, dude. That Barnes and Noble, any bookstore, book it to the strategy guides. Yeah. First, first thing. I used to just read the Majora's Mask strategy guide like for fun. <laughs> like, yeah. Like I already nah. beat the game. I just fucking read the strategy guide, dude. I feel that. Oh, game manuals? Oh my god, yes. So the A button is jump. Wow. Fascinating. Tell me more. You won't believe this. The B button is back. <laughs> it's not even punch. It's not even punch. Oh, true. Yeah, PlayStation. You got them fancy X buttons and square buttons. I love strategy guides. I would read one right now. <laughs> I think I still have some, dude. I think I still have, like, I gotta find them somewhere. Like Prima, right? The Prima strategy guy? Yeah, Prima's, yeah. The Majora's Mask one was sick because it like broke it down like chronologically. It was like it was like two PM. Here's what you do. Like oh, yeah. <laughs> it was like a it was like an actual story. I feel like that's like the notes I wrote for Pokemon Red. <laughs> it's like it's just I just wrote a Prima strategy guide where it's like, alright, go fight Misty, don't die. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Yo. I got everything uh, I need, I think. John, did you ever call the Nintendo hotline? Hell yeah. Stuck in it? Yeah. 800265. Holy shit. Oh shit, dude, he knows. 800265-5800? No, I think it's I got that wrong. Damn, I used to have that memorized. I was like 1-800-265-5800. That was like the that was the Nintendo Power Hotline. Which I would call all, the call. <laughs> <laughs> call all the fucking time. All the fucking time. Just like I used to go to my like adopted grandparents' place, and late at night I would just call the line just to ask them like whatever Nintendo question came to mind because I was that kind of just, kid. That you're gonna be like just ask them how they were doing. Just, hey, yeah. <laughs> you doing okay? And knowing me, me, I probably did that at least this. once. <laughs> You've been telling me where to go, but it, would, but but like, it wouldn't have been ironic. Good? It would have been generally like, "How are you today?" <laughs> But where are you going with your where life, are you sir? Going? Like, are you good? You're giving me all the tips, but like, do you need the tips yeah. in life? God. I have a SNES game right here because they're at the print on the back of the SNES games. Is your Metroid? You have the number? Oh no, no, they're not on the SNES games. Uh, shit, what game had them on the back? Oh, fuck. Well, either way, I don't remember the number anymore. But yeah, I called the one 1900 line once, and that was to get Mortal Kombat fatalities. Cause I think I was playing Mortal Kombat, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. And I was like, hey, can I get some Mortal Kombat fatalities like for, for Liu Kang or Scorpion? And they're like, hey, can you give me some more for other characters? And the dude on the line, no joke, was like, hey man, like, I can tell you're pretty young. I would I would call back another time to get other ones. Maybe maybe only take the one or two for now and call back another time. Because they were just genuinely being like, I don't want to keep you on the line and end up racking up your phone bill. I genuinely like as a kid I didn't fucking get it. Now as an adult I'm like, yeah. oh, they were really they were being really nice. <laughs> the true homies. The true homies. I feel like that needs to be a bumper, Jules. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be like, are you good, Nintendo Hotline? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Is it, do you, oh my god, what about like an advertisement for the Nintendo Hotline? But like, it just <laughs> it just starts becoming like this weird like tragedy of like the person who's on the line. <laughs> like, <laughs> It just no, it like you they film the commercial, but like it's actually like their family members and like their parents calling in. 
and they're just like slowly having a breakdown during his like uh, one at uh, one eight hundred Nintendo. How can I help you, Derek? Is that you, <laughs> Mom? <laughs> We're worried yeah. about you. <laughs> Mom, you died ten years ago. The accident wasn't your fault, Derek. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> so listen, like, are you stuck in a game or? <laughs> 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 I need you to help me figure out how to clear Tetris. I'm stuck in purgatory. <laughs> purgatory doesn't end until I finish Mortal Kombat three. <laughs> Too dark, too dark. I'm sorry, I got involved. My bad. <laughs> so good. It's so good, though. Hi, Troublemaker. I need the 3DS you're hovering over. Hi. Yeah, you're gonna lie down right there on the cord? Okay, alright, cool. <laughs> Hi, birthday boy. Yeah, happy birthday to you. The birthday cat. The birthday cat. Everybody's singing for that birthday cat. A recurring bumper of different Coliseum members calling the Game Tips hotline for different games, and it's just John's cell phone each time. <laughs> <laughs> One time, the hotline's not even open. I'm just, like, sleeping in bed, and someone got my number. Hi, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I call you at, like... <laughs> You're just like, who is who would call me at this hour? And I'm like, yeah, so I'm on level four. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to do here, bro. I need your help. <laughs> well, what game is it for starters? It's every game. Oh, shit, I have, dude. I, I have like 30 TVs on right now. <laughs> <laughs> that are all on level four. <laughs> Let's just break it down. You got like three hours. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, let's see here. DB Koopa says, I had a moment of feeling old at D&D &D this past Wednesday. I'm 31. The second eldest is the DM at 19. I flew up to a balcony during a fight and said, I'll just be Sir Richard Rose here and realized no one here had ever, there had ever played a Super Nintendo or Genesis. Fuck. Oof. 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 Sorry, Koopa. All right. Yeah, my Nintendo won't turn on. <laughs> <laughs> Did you try plugging it in? Oh, oh that's a good strategy. Yes. I never thought of that. <sighs> the strategy guy never said that. Yeah. Fucking funding that shit right now. Bumper sound like it's just gonna be me like slow descent into madness. <laughs> you sure we can't do the, the dead parents fat? <laughs> sure we'll get I in trouble for that one? No, Dead Parents is totally good. All right. All right, just making sure. Everyone loves a good Dead Parents joke. <laughs> He's a Batman. Yeah, exactly. Joker's famous for laughing at all of them. Yes. Your slow descent into man is so a normal Coliseum. Yeah, pretty much. I can hear MC sighing from here. Yeah, that's fair. He's probably more like, why is John the one suggesting this? <laughs> <laughs> DS works. Let's get it on screen for you guys. Uh, this one probably just needs the one screen, if I had to guess. Yeah. Uh, bottom screen's a little fucked. Give me a second. There we go. Much better. All right. So I have never played this game. I've heard it's just like chill, kind of like Kirby is in a way. Yes. You just you just laugh and squee at how cute the characters are. Wow, why is this so loud? I have the volume set to seven. All right, I gotta clear one of these. How do I delete these?
high in the sky. Oh, dude, Hell, stop yeah, yelling at me. <laughs> Above <God>. the ocean. <laughs> it's all capital letters, dude. Stop screaming. <laughs> there was once a floating kingdom called Puff Top. They got really high there Why it was in the sky. The prince of Puff Top was named Starfy. All right, well, while we learn about Starfy, I owe O2 to CO2, a Wisdom of Duke, and I owe someone else earlier as well. O2, here's yours. Damn it. I forgot my fucking wallet. And Zant, I owe you this one as well. I've got balls. <laughs> I... <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate that I laughed. <laughs> gotcha, fucker. Gotcha. Gotcha. I got balls, balls, balls. <laughs> I was I was there for those fucking ventrilo calls that era. Yeah, dude. Oh, so plus good. Plus four. It's plus four strain leather belt. Oh. <laughs> it was just another relaxing day in the kingdom of Puff Top. When Starfy was awakened from a nap by an alarming sound. Ah! Ah! Cut blam. God, it even sounds like Kirby. Someone crashed through the ceiling. <coughs> See, that should be all caps. That's that's urgent. Starfy was shocked. He tried talking to him, but the unexpected visitor was too bewildered to answer. Who was this mysterious fellow? Starfy didn't know what to do. Co crash. Dun dun. There he is in your hand. You're coming with us, kid. Three shadowy goons crashed through the wall. They started dragging the little fellow away. Herf. Hoink. Herf, 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 herf. They were trying to hmm. kidnap the little guy when Starfy saw what they were up to. Hey, what gives, Kapow? Who's the starfish? Stay out of this, or you'll regret it. Herg. Uh, huh? Whoosh! Smack flap. Ow! Wow! Tehe. Starpy used a whirling, swirling attack to clobber the bad guys. He spin. Where'd the kid rabbit go? Great. This is all his fault. We'll be back for you, pal. This isn't over. Foom. After the three goons ran away, Starfy heard someone calling his name. Starfy, hi, Starf. Yo, Starf. <laughs> Stop, bitch. What up? Oh, Starfy's best friend, uh, best friend Mo. Breast what? Uh, it's been a day. Been Starfy, a day. Starfy's <laughs> breast what? <laughs> I'm tired. If you couldn't tell, no, I'm really tired. If you couldn't tell. Friend of yours, he ran off that away. Here at Outback Stamp Talk House, about we are committed to giving friend. you the best meal of your life. Streams going with Outback Stamp House, your treat. By your local farmers and our beloved beef forward. Starfy was worried. We what were those bad guys chasing? Why were those order. bad guys chasing young visitors? If you go for the mine, he had to find them. Our specialized team of doctors will make sure your comfort is at maximum for the duration of your visit. And with our new That's delivery a Freudian service, nip slip if I ever heard one. Delicious Jesus food Christ. and pain you expect to the comfort of your own home. Try our special chicken fingers deal. Ten chickens for one finger. So come on down to Outback Stamp House. Satisfaction guaranteed, or 25% off your next yeah, visit. Don't. Satisfaction not guaranteed. By eating with Outback Stamp House, you agree you cannot sue us. Please eat responsibly. Huh? Uh... This is very cute. I thought your best friend was Claire. She hangs with you all the time, teases you as you with boobs, etc. See, that's exactly why. If she took over the stream, no one would notice her care. It's just me with boobs. And wings, I guess. That's the size point. Starby's big adventure began with a quite a splash. Who was that strange fellow who fell from the sky? 
Why was he being chased by a gang of shady goons? There were so many questions, and it was up to Starfy to find the answers. K.O. Oh, you're him? That's you? Yeah, we're oh, the little star, dude. Oh, dude, feet. that's you. Oh, do I actually need the, the split view? I didn't think I was going to. Or is this just this stage so that does good. this? He's so good. Look at him, dude. Yeah, Starfy and Kirby would be buds. I'ma get you. I'ma get you, little rabbit friend. Damn, this music goes hard, dude. Hi, are you Starfy? Like the the legendary Starfy? No way, I can't believe it. I bet you're gonna on an awesome adventure, right? I can totally help you. If you see any shells like the one I have, press X to tell me all about the stuff you did. Now just remember it all and like save your progress. Or you can press start and then select save. That'll do the trick anytime. Try to save like often, okay? Down at the touch screen if you ever want any mermaid gossip. Good luck. The mermaid gossip feature has been added to the touch screen. Use your Turbo Swim ability to speed through the sea. That's the gossip? That's some pretty shitty gossip. Hi. Crabs, no. Don't, don't. <laughs> don't do that. So the only moves I have are swim and spin. Is that it? Bean. Starfy loves pearls. They replenish his energy, so collect as many as you can. You can also use them to buy bonus items for Starfy. Push the R button to check out Moe's case on the map screen to do some shopping, Starfy style. Oh no, John's playing Starfy, my friend's asleep. Oh no. You got Moe's diary. Read all of his terrible, terrible secrets. Looks like Starfy and I got swept up into another adventure. Sheesh, I tried to stop him. Well, as long as he checks the ability screen from the pause screen and listens to my brilliant ideas, I think we'll be all right. I think they're trying to hint at something there. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. Swim. Entering a door. Turbo swim. Oh shit, it's like the shine spark. Surf jump. Do a sick split in midair, hell yeah. Walk. <laughs> wow, Dash. she can walk? Look at this sonic ass running cycle, hell yeah. Jump, dash and jump. Duck. Oh, he has actually has a lot of moves. Duck and slide. Star Ooh. spin. And a bunch of moves I don't have yet. So happy. What a happy boy. Yes, the happiest boy. Where's your speedrun of this, Jules? Why aren't why you speedrun this at Ocarina? Tomorrow. Okay, sick. Just a reminder to those folks, the people who made the Starfy series also made Super Princess Peach. Oh, shit, really? Cool. 
That explains a lot, though, looking at this. I'm not gonna lie. Sorry, Star, if I couldn't catch him. Big Squiddy still had that kid who fell from the sky. They're gone now. Guess we'll have to get back up the puff top. Yep. Right, Star? Whoa, what's that shiny crystal thing? You found it after that kid crashed through the roof? What is this face star he's making? <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> he's driven, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's yeah. this? I think maybe he belongs to him, eh? Well, that's too bad. Let's head home. Star, what are you thinking? I don't like it when you get that look in your eye. What? Come on, Star, if you want to give that crystal thingy back to that kid. All right, fine, but then we're heading home. My clam chores aren't going to do themselves. What a weirdo wants to do his chores. Did you say clam chores? Clam chores. Uh, okay. In deep trouble. Bye. What we got in the case to buy? Here's the pearls you find to buy yourself something nice here. Buy this pre-owned umbrella for just 500 pearls. And I only get to buy one. Oh my god. Oh god. No, oh, I hate this. Everything's way too fucking expensive. How many pearls we got right now? We only got 55. Oh my god. Yeah, we're fucked. It's mobile phones, 111 pearls. I can't afford any of these things. You keep really wanting me to get the bathrobe, too. I pushed hard for this game during Coliseum since it's a childhood favorite, and well, Coliseum was on my birthday l last year, so it makes me very happy this is happening right now. Quantum Leela, I'm glad to be able to play this. I'm sorry it took so long. Well, hopefully you're happy to see me checking it out properly here now. I remember I was working at a video game store when this game came out, and actually, like, I tried to sell people on it, but I never picked it up myself for some weird reason. I don't know when I actually got my copy of this. I clearly got it used if it had save files on it. Big Squiddy, like, totally swam off with him. Now where are they? This is bad, man. This is really bad. Oh, wow, kid, you look like a star. Crazy, I'm Herman. Staffy, huh? Cool name, man. You think you can help me? My pets got gobbled up by that gobbler. Over there, that's the bloated friend, man. Fiend, man. That's swallowed down my little coddles. Damn, Herman's hella chill, dude. Look at him. Yo, like my fucking kids got eight. You want to go get them for me? Is that you can hit the go the gobble up with your star spin? No, oh, please, please. Can you save my ten coddies? I know you, man. They're too cute to be food. I tag gobble up with a tracker. Just follow the arrow and use your star spin. Oh, and then they put me back in the tutorial anyways. Okay. It's established in previous Starfy games that Moe's deadbeat dad ran out on his family and he had to raise his younger siblings himself. Also in the third game, we find his hidden porno tape. Both of these facts are real. What the fuck? <laughs> Starfy goes hard, dude. <laughs> oh, he's tweaking out, man. I'm gonna guess this is one of those like racetrack stages where you kind of got to go everywhere. This music is surprisingly intense right now. I was like literally just gonna say, I'm like, is there a boss? <laughs> that's like, are you being chased right now? <laughs> oh shit, that's him, dude, that's a boss. Damn, Starfy gets tired very quickly. Yeah, this theme goes dummy hard. Hooray, I murdered! <laughs> Instantly.
instantly back to like <laughs> the super chill music. Super, <laughs> super happy. <laughs> you killed the bad guy. Hooray! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I do like that they're keeping like a position behind me, like they're in formation. Far out! You got my little buddies at a go goblin's belly. Thanks so much, Stuffy. Oh, have I seen a giant squid carrying a floppy ear kid? Ah, uh, yeah, I have. That's crazy just that you just asked that. Take the shortcut behind me here and you can probably catch up with him, man. Good luck, just be careful if you mess with Big Squiddy. Peace out, man. Peace. Hi. Hi. Oh, that was the gossip. Getting the hang of using your star spin? Good, because it's your famous move. <laughs> It's famous, huh? Okay. You found Herman's diary. We're just stealing people's diaries. What the hell? I know, this is <laughs> weird. Today I saw a strange little guy get dragged away by Big Squiddy. The kid was dressed like he was from outer space. Far out. I hope he's okay. I could help, but I can't leave my coddies. All right, there's one more treasure I can find somewhere. I think they said there were two treasures in this stage, so... What is that supposed to be? That's a bad guy. Never mind. <laughs> he looked a little too he friendly. Looked, he, yeah, he looked pretty friendly. That's how they get you. Oh, it's Herman again. Starfy, you gotta help me, man. I lost five super rare red pearls. If I don't find them, I can't buy the good treats for my coddies. What? No way. My coddies can't eat just ordinary snacks. That's cruelty to coddies. Come on, help me, Starfy. I'll find them. Oh, I'm so relieved. Thank you, Starfy. Here we go. He couldn't find these? He's not very good at his job. My red pearls! Nice, Stuffy. Now I can buy my pets the high-class fishy food. Sorry I keep asking you to do me favors. I guess I should give you a reward, huh? Oh, I know. I'll tell you about this crazy secret place I found. Here, let me see your map. Area Seeker 1's been added to the map. Secret. Hooray. Secret, secret. Secret, secret. I got a secret. Secret tunnel! Oh. What? No, I already did this. How'd you lose him again? Man, you are a deadbeat. I'm out. Could just be lazy. Lazy or deadbeat. One of the two. He had a long day. I mean, like, fair. I he was he was stressed standing around. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Starf, I've caught a whiff of treasure, and my nose says it's nearby. If you see any funky cracks in the walls, use your star spin. Keep a, keep a sharp eye out, we might get rich with treasure. Huh? Saving that space kid's more important than treasure? Well, if I sniff some treasure, I'll still let you know down on the touch screen. The closer you get to the treasure, the more excited you'll see me get. Mo, I don't want to see you get excited. I'm sorry. I might even catch a whiff of other stuff, so keep an eye out on my screen, Scarf. All right, all right, we can go. Let's find some treasure. I mean, uh, that, let's find that kid. The Mo's Sniffer feature has been added to the touch screen. You'll see this when a secret door is nearby. More Mo gets excited when he gets a sniff of treasure and other secrets. I oh, mean, to be I fair, hate it. I, I hate it. I get excited when I. Oh shit! <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I was gonna say when I smell treasure, I get excited too. So I get it. Why is bro, like, up in our personal space? <laughs> He's I'm a little uncomfortable, honestly. I'm not going to lie. He's, like, really close. He needs to back off. Like, dude, I get it. You like treasure. Relax. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. He's vibrating. Dude, he's freaking out. You got some beachwear. 
Aloha! Go to the stuff screen to change your outfit. <laughs> He's like, okay, I don't care anymore. Oh, that is more beachwear than I expected, actually. Damn, dude. I was expecting, like, just the trunks. I wasn't expecting the fucking jacket, the pendant, everything. Instant Giga Chad fit right there. Oh, and he wears on the fucking pause screen. Incredible. That I guess, I'm, yeah, yeah, I knew it. The sprite itself doesn't change. It's literally a pause screen version. I'm totally gonna forget that I even changed him on there, and I'm just gonna get completely side sidelined by it and just forget. <laughs> Calling it now. Get back here. Future game clearing? I heard, like, did someone say earlier in chat this was, like, a nine-hour game? Globerto. <laughs> oh, he's cool. Greetings, my good man. I am Globerto. I travel the world making the finest maps. Maps, globes, and charts allow you to hold the entire world in your hands. It's like magic. If you ever lose your way, come chat with me, and I'll show, show you the map. Happy to give assistance to you at any time in the future. Ta-ta, my friend. Okay, can, can you show me the map? Globerto. My travels have been long, but I finally have arrived here at Glug Glug Lagoon. Hmm, I didn't think it would be so crowded, though. Dirtier than I imagined as well. Why is Mo like still? Is he just always gonna be like that? I mean, now? I can press. I can switch back to the gossipy. <laughs> no, uh, you're mermaid. good. I'm, just I'm a like, gossipy girlfriend. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. I'm more so just curious. I'm like, what's he doing? Main and size, that's 12 and a half hours. Completion is 18 hours? Really? Damn. What does it mean X is... What? Oh, interesting. Okay. So I can come back here and do the side mission if I want. Main nine hours, main insides, 12 and a half, completion is 18. Gotcha. Well, hang on, how much money do we have now? 131 bucks. What can we get? Oh, meow helmet, come on. Kitty costume. Man, Mo, like. Oh, now you give me something for 15 bucks. Mobile phone, there we go. Nobody can afford anything else you got. What the hell is the Mo Show? Oh, but do I want that <laughs> or do I want a mobile phone? Damn. Oh, it's a flip phone. That's like a razor, dude. The Mo Show is the name of the porno. Never mind. Jesus. Oh yeah, this is this was made in like 2008, right? Like that yeah. was like iPhones like weren't really out. Yeah. Yeah, dude. That was the shit back then. Those phones. All right. What? I got my own talk show. I interview people we've met on the adventure. It's a hit show. It's the Mo Show with me, Mo, and Yowza. We have we got a show tonight. Tonight's guest is the Prince of Puff Top himself, Starf. Come out here, Starfy. How are you feeling about this adventure? Lay it on us. Whoa, whoa, what's with the sunglasses? Hey, pretty fancy, brand new. Fashion designer made them for you. Sheesh, some kind of rock star now. But you can't even go outside without getting mobbed by your fans. <laughs> Just rip me stuff. I guess today's Staffy, how you doing? What do you mean I'm not acting like my usual self? It's weirding you out. This is showbiz, I'm the host. I'm supposed to razzle and dazzle him. Sheesh, what a clam, can't have his own talk show now. Is that it? Well, I get it, you're thinking you'd make a better host than me. <laughs> Oh, 
cutscenes. That's a lot of cutscenes. Wow, that's actually a lot of cutscenes. Oh, should I do a mini game too while we're at it? Because I don't know. We only got like four minutes left. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Play by yourself. Play with a friend, or play with a friend. DS download play. Coin slinger. Tap the coins that are uh, the same color as you are. Score 40 points first to win. Dumpling master. Boil the fry or pour the batter. Toss in some octopus and cook up some scrumptious dumplings. Tap. Okay, if you shoot you have the coins in a row, some bonus balloons will appear. If you shoot a coin of a different color, it will change into a slot coin. Don't shoot a slot coin of a different color, you'll lose points. I definitely did not pay enough attention to what they were asking me to do. Are you winning, son? I don't know. I'm actually not even looking at the score. I did it. Who did it? Wow! Uh, oh, dude. Damn, you fucked him up. Okay. <laughs> Another mini game. Let's try the other one. Dumpling Master. Oil the fryer. Pour the batter. Toss in the octopus. Turn the dumplings. Fry them, but don't let them burn. Put on the toppings and voila. I'm not going to remember any of that. <laughs> Who is she? And pour the batter. Tap the grill. Starly. Keep her away from rule 34. Don't let them burn. Oh no, I didn't get to flip them in time. Oh, oh no. What if she's like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> How do I turn them? You left, you left that what part out. The... Use the pick. Turn them over. Are they good? They're looking pretty good. Pop them out. Nice. The plate is full. Time for toppings. I would eat those. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and I have to move Still around, or is good. he doing that automatically? Oh, oh, Drop my stylus. Uh oh. Oh shit. Damn it. Oh no. Don't let them burn. Well, oh, here. Good man.
I have way more time than I thought. I thought it was like done done, not like 30 seconds left. Doesn't doesn't help that this is like the most cracked out DS music I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, it's a little intense, I'm not gonna lie. It, it just gets faster and faster, dude. Damn it. Mo was very mad upstairs. Oh, because Mo was eating, no wonder. 13 dumplings. Dumpling disaster. Well, What's we are a disaster, but we also set the record. So. <laughs> you have the record? I wonder how many it's possible to get. No idea. It probably goes super high. All right, well, we're at time either way, so let's save our amazing progress. I know, guys, I know. I'm just... I'm just busy. I'm busy making dumplings. Or... All right. What's next? I think Xenoblade is next, if memory serves. Yep. Time for Xenoblade Chronicles 3. A game I have yet to start. Uh, switch. Turn it on anytime soon. Hello. Help. Hello. Why is why is my switch not turning on? There we go. All right, are we going to get to any gameplay? <laughs> I think that is a valid question. Are we going to get to any gameplay? Very small amounts. Great. Yes, no, yeah. You will. Tutorial for sure. No, you will. I think some. Yes, yes, you should be able to get to gameplay. Get the popcorn ready. All right, get ready. We're going to watch some movies. Get your blanket. <laughs> Get nice and cozy. It's time for 30 minutes of Xenoblade 3. <laughs> 30 minutes of movies and menus. I love it. It's my favorite. The game has been updated version 2.2.0. We deleted the whole intro cutscene. Normal. <laughs> We're dropping you right in the final boss. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! <laughs> oh man, am I gonna enjoy the three minutes of gameplay we're about to see? Oh my god. Talk to me, British people. Or Nintendo <laughs> logo. You mean it? Hop, hop. Slow down, guys. Is it true, though? There's gonna be fireworks. I do yeah. love fireworks. Saw setting up yesterday. There were loads of them. It'll be worth it. Promise.
Oh no! Oh no. There's gonna be a bomb, I guess, or a missile. Because they sure are setting up for that, and because all the ads were about war, so. It's just like the first Xenoblade game. Where everybody in the starting town lives forever and is very happy. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, this setup is kind of neat. This, the, like, time freezing bit. This yeah. is actually pretty cool. I'll try not to be too snarky. Oh, shit! The planet! <laughs> All right, well, this went, a this went a different direction. All right. That planet's too close. It's in my planet bubble. I believe it's called an atmosphere. Hey, recognize that, John? No! <laughs> That's the Earth. That's the Big Bang! Okay, but how much would you shit, John, if the next line was, somebody set up us the bombs? <laughs> I'd laugh. <laughs> but I'm like, no, Molosov would never do an all your base reference like that. It's not just a reference, it's the game. <laughs> all your base. Kevez and Agnes. What is it they need to stay alive? Water? Certainly. They need dots. What we need most is life itself. More dots. Somebody needs to replace this with the war. What it is good for. Absolutely nothing. Sing it again. Take it again. Taking each other's lives. With the taken flames becoming your own in turn. Oh, it's literally experience. We're literally... It, this is just Undertale. While the other... The one whose essence is stolen... Leaves only a husk. Who will win the war of the power buttons? This is how 9000. Do you feel old yet? How can we claim their life if you blow up the whole sparking thing? Cripple them. Aim lower. Yes, sir. Lower and aim, sir. Aiming for the crotch, sir. Aim for the balls. <laughs> Oh my god, the balls is the weak spot. Oh, my robot balls. <laughs> oh, my dick. <laughs> How will I robot pee now? <laughs> <laughs> that robot fucking hurts. Well, it's not ominous at all that everyone's life essence is just red orbs. Not, not bad looking at all. Fighting in order to live. And living to fight. That's the way of our world, Ionios. Cruel irony that it should mean eternity. Because slowly but surely, our world is now dying. Even though we have yet to realize that fact. Worry about yourself, Noah. There's still more of them. Even so. Shut it. Stop flapping your gums and move. Yeah, we've got more incoming. Oh, tutorial. Noise. Or not. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, anyways. All right. Oh, yeah. Caution. 
You'll automatically attack an enemy if you approach them. This is called an auto attack. Stand still near an enemy to continue auto attacking. The icon confirming you're in range for auto attacks will be shown in the bottom right corner of the screen. Oh my god, chat. You made it sound like it was like 30 minutes of intro cutscene. <laughs> To be fair, I'm there, there might still be. Is there? Is there more? Okay. Right into the A's plus music. I love it. Alright, markers for where to go next. You review tips you popped up. Okay, cool. How's about this better in Ted Turner, huh? Let's keep on routing these balls and keep this moving forward. Just how to begin a battle. Begin a battle by drawing your weapon. First target an enemy, then press A to draw your weapon. Withdraw from battle and hold A for a while to sheathe your weapon. Approach an enemy to automatically target them. If there are multiple enemies, press the shoulder buttons to target a different enemy. Yeah, the soundtrack is goes so fucking hard for this game, dude. They have like a full band that does like a real drummer, and they like all just yeah. they all slam. All right, that's it's awesome. plus, I think. This song is in. This is, oh, oh, I guess this is an ace plus. Hooray! We're all level two. We stole enough blood. Arts are stronger than auto attacks. It can be activated by pressing X, Y, or B. After using an art, you cannot use it again until its gauge fills back up. The art's gauge will fill automatically over time. It's called recharging. There's no like stutter step like there is in two, right? I assume it's not gonna be a case like I can just cheese it like that. No stutter step? Okay. Correct, gotta do it the long way? Damn. Break. Hey, Topple. Wow, they really do just kind of throw you in here. God damn. The combat in these games is so freaking good. That's like my one thing I, I can't get get in, into for these games. I don't know why. Do you play for MMOs me, at all? It was like it was like super off putting. I I do. <laughs> yeah, Jack loves oh, MMOs. I'm not I'm not huge on MMOs, so that's probably why. They well, they, they I, the gameplay reminds me a lot of like an MMO basically. So. And when I like, when I first played it, it was like super off-putting. Not like in a bad way, but I was like, "Wow, I'm so bad at this." Like, but it, I feel like once you get past that, like once you understand it, it gets really fun. I think like knowing it was like an action RPG, part of me was hoping for like Dark Souls combat, which was. Probably not good for my expectations. Yeah. Well, yeah, like 
from soft combat feels like so different i feel like but it's like obviously so difficult in its own way just because everything will like one shot you <laughs> yeah and you have to like dodge shit all the time Alevnis. that's what's hitting us well now we know it's do or die noah got it is no one going to comment on the fact that we have a fucking blue-ass Nopon with us who hasn't said shit yet? And just left, actually, now that we're back in combat? Talon Arts are stronger than normal arts. Talon Art can be activated by pressing A once its circular gauge is full. Talon Arts gauge is recharged by performing actions expected of a character's roll, also called roll actions. Attackers roll actions. If you can meet the requirements for arts, they get bonus effects for positioning. Your Talon Art uh, icon will flash red and your Talon Art gauge will charge up a lot. Actions that deal damage effectively, such as dealing critical hits or participating in combos, also count as roll actions, charging your talent gauge bit by bit. Form an attack the moment your previous one hits allows you to cancel one attack into the next, making them flow quickly into each other. You can cancel auto attacks into arts and arts into talent arts. Doing this speeds up the execution, letting you deal more damage quickly. Now win the battle. Why he's saying ground beef? Because he's very hungry. Uh, he just <laughs> wrecked like your, your whole party just like stood in that. <laughs> they like, don't Ow. care. It's the tutorial. They're just like, eh. <laughs> we can't move. Damn it, missed. Tutorial boss. <laughs> it just rolls to end credits. Thank you for playing. <laughs> That's it. That's the game. Everyone's dead. This fucking sucks. I feel like that's a common uh, occurrence in Xenoblade. Everyone being dead. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Did we win the power button race? Oh, he's getting squished.
Oh, that's a fucked up. That this is like fucking Starship Troopers levels of fucked up. <laughs> I'm doing my part. <laughs> <laughs> War is hell. That's why I'm going to spend the next 100 hours fighting. War is heck. Bird. Release the embryos. Oh, wow. That was very fast. Every one of us is born looking like this. As soldiers. As weapons for slaying Agnians. Yes. All of us live only to fight. Cut that out! Stupid Noah! Nice one, Lance. Too early for that. Look, it's you they're after here. Attackers and we're golden. They're gonna get it handed to them. Ah, flickering hoop. You're as slippery as Noah sometimes. Uni. Chick never shuts up. Kite. Range darts. Easy. Well, guess I'll do something in this training exercise now. will be good as one. Yeah! It's always the healers, man. Yeah. That's why the Geneva Convention... That's why the Geneva Convention. The only reason why. The only reason. I wish Geneva Convention would let us play. <laughs> They're not in their usual formation. 
Wait, what? <gasps> We're snuffed! Kai's just a decoy, so they're really after... Oh. <sighs> Quick thinking, land! Oh my god. Running. Yeah, but still. Didn't have to go get himself killed for it. Come on. He was trying to protect you. He lured in Garvel's gang. Gave us a chance to turn it around. Ugh. You know who wasn't up to it? We weren't. Yeah, but... Just stop it! No Damn. more arguing. It's my fault. I should have... Just done a better job. Then we'd have won. Hey. <laughs> so much for getting to the final, huh? Sorry. I let us down on your big day. I'm so... Sorry. What big day? The birthday. What? Whose? Yours, dummy. It's your second term, right? Remember? Ah. A win would have been a nice surprise. Lance was pretty fired up too, weren't ya? Cut it out. Dude, speaking of birthday, John, hey. it's Bagel's birthday what? now. It is Bagel's birthday. He's apologize, a birthday buddy, right? Are you even? Might do, might He's not. not even down here. <laughs> he left. We each have a lifespan of 10 years. We call them 10 terms. years Life begins with our first term and ends at the close of our 10th. And over the course of those 10 years, we fight continually. Though in reality, there aren't that many who can hold their flame for the whole 10 years. Most lose their lives on the battlefield before they reach year 10. But those who do survive to the end. Are honored in a special service. We call it the homecoming. Morning, Yarn. Hey, Noah. Morning. Morning, uh, Lance. Hmm. <sighs> Get a move on. Quick, we're gonna miss the homecoming. One they've ever had here, right? 
Yeah, isn't it awesome? Man, I have like nothing to say about this game. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing I guess, to add yeah. in at all. Chat, chat was they were right. You guys were right. A lot of a lot of cutscenes. <laughs> Bye. Girl, whoa, even the queens come out. So that's her majesty, huh? Wow, I've never seen her before. Oh. Oh, hell yeah. Here come the flutes. Congrats, your prize is to die! <laughs> ah. This world sucks ass! <laughs> I'ma die. You try and stop me. You try to stop me from dying. You're totally making it with me. Of course. Uh, hmm. And you, Noah, right? Huh? Sure. Yeah. You bet. Our lives came from the Queen, and we all lived for a chance to take part in the homecoming. The chance. To return to the Queen's embrace. Carrying out ten years of service fighting. That was our whole world. Nobody ever thought to question it. Until that day. I fucking love flutes. Mm -hmm. Shit sounds so sick. And that's when that person turned into Noah. Oh, damn. By spinning a bunch. <laughs> he just vomits. <laughs> <laughs> Comes out the flute at the end. <laughs> yeah. You're probably wondering how I got here. Here's a question. When do I get the save? Ah, oh, okay. Crack. Right after this? Okay. Let the fucking Nopon talk. I know he's got a meme voice. I know his voice is a meme. <laughs> Do you have to? Huh? You shouldn't be sending those guys off like that. What? Why not? Why are you like this, Noah? It's Agnes, our enemy. Why are well, you like yeah. this? They don't have an officer though, to send them. Yeah, 
They all bit the dust thanks to us. So what? Look, there's no rule not to. And what? You're just gonna keep going? I don't I get can't you, get over Noah. Him. I know we're putting our lives on the line, but still. Yeah, yeah. We get it already. Friend or foe, someone has to lay them to rest. For that is my role as an officer. Right. Uh, is my voice that deep? Shot at you. I wasn't trying to be anyone specific. Right. I've had about enough of all this depressing crap. Let's head back and hit the showers. I'm all gunked up with blood and sweat. Ah, oh, bye, transport. Guess we missed it again. Oh, bollocks! Oh, Noah always does this. How many times is it we've had to walk home now? Not a really good army if they're just leaving alive troops behind. They're like, yeah, we're busy. Ever blight plain. There are places across the world that give you experience once found. Key locations are called landmarks, and the and the especially difficult to find ones are called secret areas. When the whole party has been incapacitated in battle, you will return to the last landmark you passed by. Sweet, let's poke around. The map displayed at the top right of the screen displays characters' immediate surroundings and quest destinations. Press in the right stick to display a bigger map. All right, let's head back to Colony Nine. Right, there we go. Now I should be able to save. Ooh, that is a good jam. I know it's got that like freaking persona. It's good. It's got, yeah, I was gonna say like that persona style vibe. Yeah. <laughs> Persona vibes real. Yeah. This is some good waiting in the lobby music. All right. Two games remain, folks. And we're going to... Are they both PlayStation? What was the other one? I only see three on my desk. Oh, right. There's the last one. Okay, so yeah. Jumping over to the PS2 for Ark the Lad, Twilight of the Spirits. This is the one game out of the list that it's a game I don't know. Um, We have played this a couple times now. I think they've all been Chaos Cookie options, too, for that matter. But here's, again, we get to play my favorite game of which fucking memory card has the uh, Ark the Lad save in it. This one, I think I know which one it is. Let's see if I get a first try. God damn it. Nope. All right, which one's it gonna be? I'm BRB, one sec. Go for it. Chad, I have this problem. There's a problem that we're being raided by Green Power Stuff. Yeah. Fast food gender uniform? What the fuck, Star? What were you playing with? Like? Ah! Not that one. Well, 
I need to buy some time anyway, so let's run some countermeasures for, for Green Power Star. Green Power Star, thank you for the raid, and also for buying me enough time to find the damn safe for Ark the Lad. We played Seen It, Say No More, Winnie the Pooh, and Celeste Explorer. How do you get away with playing Seen It? John, I'm going to tell you where to go so we don't lollygag. Yeah, probably a good idea. Um, we had just gotten to the world map, if memory serves, last time we played this. But we last played this in 2022, according to my PS2. I don't know if that was actually correct, but... Who's in our party? Is it just Karg? At the next light, take a left. Is this last game? There is one more game after this. It is AI the Somnium Files. And I did not turn on my timer, so thank you for pointing that out. Glitch was not happening. There we go. Was this the game where the orphanage burned down and we parked our mech just outside the village? Uh, no, that's not this game. Right? Or was it? No oh, shit, now, now I'm questioning that. to the northeast to your house. Okay, now the save is not where I thought it was. Did I load an older save by accident? Mother, why did you tell Lloyd not to let me go? How many times must I tell you? I don't want you to fighting on feelings of hatred and anger. I'm worried. Feelings like that worry me. You're just looking for a way to test your strength. What's wrong with that? Is it wrong to think I can help people by using my strength? It's the Deimos who started it. It's we, if we don't fight, we'll be killed. Not all Deimos want to fight humans. How do you know that? Has Morth just been attacked by them? Yes, but...
The way you think will only serve to kill more of our people. I must fight to protect this land. That is my duty. That's why I must go. Bye, Mom. Peace. <laughs> Fuck you, Mom. I'm, I'm getting out of town. I'm going to bed, Mom. <laughs> I'm running away. <laughs> Moritz, shouldn't you be asleep? I only left him in the canyon so I could come back alone to get help. I can't sleep. I keep thinking I did the wrong thing. Commander Lloyd, has he already left? Yes. And he left me here. Right, of course. Of course? Why? Do you know why? Uh, no, not really. What? Even you're keeping things from me? I'm not. I didn't mean that. Just something about how Lady Nafia seemed. How she seemed? Please, you won't get into trouble. Tell me. Okay, well, while I was being treated earlier, Commander Lloyd asked me to describe the Deimos that attacked me. When I did, Lady Nafia's face suddenly changed color, and she asked that you not join in the battle this time. Why not? I don't know. But when Commander Lloyd said that, from the description, they sounded like Drakir. She looked like she was trembling. Drakir? Uh, Lord Karg. Yeah? Please don't tell Lady Nafia that I told you. No, of course I won't, Morth. Thank you. Don't mention it. There was one game I remember Kokami for Fortune Cookie, and I did beep beep sounds after we parked our mech outside the village. What fucking game was that? Because I remember that too. Hayden Hager will get you nowhere. You mustn't fight that way. Okay, I'll go do that exact same thing. Emperor Palpatine shows up. Actually. Do it. Oh, am I. Did we do, do MS it. Saga New Dawn? I feel like we haven't. Uh, we might have done that. We've never done Xeno Gears on stream. Someone open up this gate! Huh? Hey, is anyone there? Answer me! That voice. Stop having it be closed. <laughs> Sounds like the explorer guy, Zev. Oh, wow, that, yeah, that's not what I expected. I don't know who you are, but please open up. Zev, it's me, Karg. Oh, you! You helped me out on the scrap plateau. Open up the gate so I can thank you again. With my stick. Well, I'm not in here for the fun of it. I thought I'd come to you, Bell, to relax a bit after my travels. But there's a blockade and I couldn't get in. So I thought I'd try to get in through the castle ruins and look how far that got me. Ah, of course. That's the way. I can get into the castle ruins. I can pass through Chaos Forest. And get the plum game. Yes, let's go through Chaos Forest, Karg. That sounds like a good idea. Sounds pretty chill. I'm dying of starvation here. Open up. Okay, but I would open it up right now, but it's locked. Go and get the gate key and open it then. Okay, okay, I'll go and look for it. You're a bit pushy for a person who's asking a favor. Who's got the gate key? You've got, you've got the gate key. Who's got the gate key? Never mind. What? Jom, Jom, it's Jerry. I'm speaking from your job conscious. Where is there, where is there a random lady here? She says she's the trans feminine version of you. Jelp, Jelp. What? 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 Am I having a stroke? I, I think, I think Jerry is, which I assume is supposed to be Cherry. Jesus, John Jeans. I think the J key. Yeah, I think that zoom is from like just the, the everything starting with J thing that's from that. So it's supposed to be Cherry. Let let me translate. John, John, it's Cherry. I'm speaking from your subconscious. Where is uh, where is there a random lady? Why is there a random lady here? I assume she says she's the trans feminine version of you. Help, help.
Talk to Duncan again. He has the key. He was just in the building you were in. Okay, ask about the key. So the children got to you too, eh? Well, beyond the castle ruins and chaos forest, they say there's a wild monkey monster. I'm getting reports that this monster is coming into town and stealing food. Peer apparently has a green face and is quite wily. So in the interest of safety, prefer that no one go in or out of the castle ruins. Then I'll get rid of that wild monkey monster. Can you lend me the gate key? Return uh, to monkey. Return to monkey and stab with sword. If anything were to happen to you, I'd be in... Duncan. Lloyd said that in the absence of the Defense Corps, I should protect the city. It's my duty to get rid of the wild monkey monster. Well... Oh, well, I have to tell you. I thought I should keep it a secret, but... I beat Lloyd in a duel. So you really think that I'm in any danger from that wild monkey monster? Well, I guess not, but... Exactly! So come on, give me the gate key. I'll go and get rid of that monster, too. Two? Uh, no, I, I just mean, I'll get rid of the monster. Okay. You've convinced me. I definitely believe that you're not going to do anything else that will get you in trouble. Of course not. Hooray, got the gate key. Nice. Now let's save all that hot, hot progress. Don't hate me speak John Latin? It's like Pig Latin, but similar. No, no. But simpler. No, don't. Don't do it. Let's open up this gate. Do you want to use the gate key? Y yeah, that's why I went and got it. My god, is that gate gatekeeping me right now? It totally is. What a piece of My shit. My god. You deserve so much better, John. <laughs> I'm glad totally someone's finally gate. noticed that. Thank you, Jules. You're welcome. I'm gonna Are hurry. Like so gate? <laughs> name <laughs> name oh, five gates. Name three, name three ah, gate. Dude. Golden gate. That's no. That's not a gate. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the name, it's though. It's in the yeah, name. It, it's a bridge. <laughs> it's in the name, though. It's the white first that's, thing that came to mind. That's... That's the first rookie mistake they all make. Oh, man. I haven't really had to name many gates lately. Watergate. Baldur's Gate. <laughs> <laughs> None of these things are gates. Why do people be, keep putting the word gate in things that aren't gates? <laughs> yeah, well... Stargate is it's kind of a gate. I mean, there's a gate in Stargate. It stops things from getting in. Yeah. Alligators. Yeah, Bill, Bill Gates. <laughs> Pizza Gate. Oh my god. I'm just, I'm just noticing. It's Canadian, just, it's Canadian so streamer, Canadian streamer. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you've never heard of pizza. That's fair. Nah, it's my first time. It's my <laughs> first time. It's my first day with food, man. It, it... Fuck. It, it, it's kind of like poutine, you know. Just instead of <laughs> fries, it's uh, marinara sauce. I, the amount of people I feel like you just pissed off by that statement. <laughs> Are probably listen, not here in this stream, but I'm definitely like twitching a little bit. Listen, poutine is your national food. I I didn't I didn't choose. <laughs> to be fair, John, Canadians are responsible for Hawaiian pizza and sushi pizza, so I don't trust a Canadian with pizza. You know what? Now that I know that, that's fair. That's entirely fair. Remember that dream I read out where it looked like it was first per like it was just the third person camera, and then someone walked into shot? That's basically what happened in it. 
How is Yuna? Yuna is scratching her little head right now. And now she's looking at me because she knows that I'm talking about her now. So what I do? What I do? Is that the mo the monkey monster? Here he is. Oh, yeah, that'd be the monkey monster, monkey monster, yeah. Even though I swore that that was a, just a guy. What a throw! What a throw! Damn it! Bad. <clears throat> you little punk. I guess you want to die young, Little huh? fucker. <laughs> That's the one fuck they get in this game. <laughs> Keep it PG-13. It's the true face of a wild monkey monster. Wild well, monkey monster! I am the king of chaos forest! If you insult me, you can't be excused with a mere apology, underling. You're the one who comes around stealing food from you, Bill, aren't you? Uh-oh. Unbelievable. People were convinced it was a monster. Hey, don't make fun of me. Underling! Before I skewer you, tell me your name. I'm Karg of Ubel. Karg? Oh, I've heard about you. You're the former prince. Well, I'm in a hurry to get the Plum Canyon. If you want to fight, then let's get on with it. Otherwise, I'll be on my way. Hey, wait, Karg! You may not pass me without leaving an offering. Especially like bananas and apples. Meanwhile... Monkey. And rats. Hi, monkey. Bye, monkey. What are we gonna do? You live here and you're scared of monsters? I'm not scared of monsters, but those wild slothians are different. Dang. Dude's got a fucking hammer, so I guess I get it. Let's fight them together. If we work together, we can beat them. Together. Really? Come on, then. Pull up my pants. What's your name? I'm Maru, King of Chaos Forest. Come on, then, Maru. Let's get him. Now, do I even remotely remember how to play this game? Cause uh, I remember it kind of being a little, little wild. Fangbreaker Blade, one last chance, Venom Arrow, Antidote Treatment. We have some healing herbs, and we got Elixir, Poison Drug, and Sleeping Pill. Defeat the monsters. Defeat the monkey. Defeat the baby. I even check what my attack range is. Oh my! How do I have a bow and that's my range? Go! I know. <laughs> you have any special skills? No, well, of course I do. What do you think? Come on, let's show them what we can do. All right, but don't get carried away and rely too heavily on your skills. Use up all the spirit stones in no time that way. All right, this and fight's going great so far. Yeah, he's dodging. Forget it. Nice. Too slow. Oof. Okay, there we go. That's the range marker. I'm coming for you. I use my abilities again. It's there we go. Special move, Fangbreaker Blade. 
Does this attack multiple enemies or just around me? Well, might as well try it. Oh, win! Grant my sword the power of justice. Bang breaker blade. Destroyed. Some like crazy jazz happening. I know this the music is kind of wild for what it is. Yeah, they they're kind of cooking with this battle theme right now. Watch the arrows rain down. Venom arrow, go! Hey! Oh yeah, I just remembered. A long time ago, I hit some herbs in that dead tree. We bust up the tree, we can get the herbs out. All right. While we're busy with that, the enemy will try to seize the opportunity. Let's be careful. What 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 tree? What what tree? <laughs> this tree? Oh yeah, this tree. Okay. Die, Die tree. Die. Die stump. Freaking herb at this rate. It's ours now. The good herb, hell yeah. He got that good herb. Got that good herb, baby. Oh, really? That also kills my. I... Okay, fair enough. Take this. Shit, I meant to actually use a special move. Nice. All right. Hope. Stupid dolt. Damn. Too slow. All right. That fucking guitar riff is so crazy. <laughs> oh shit! The arrows <laughs> pierce in a line. Holy shit! Uh, let's try Fang Breaker again, I guess. Oh wind. Grant my sword the power of justice. Bang breaker blade. Nice. More power. I didn't know what any of those. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I saw Moop. Uh, I saw like avocado or something. <laughs> Oh my god. Whoa! Full of those fucking splits he did! Holy shit! <laughs> he said, nah. -uh. It's ours now. Energy snack. We're gonna win this! Woo! Here I go! Ha! Ha! You're done. Oh, avoidance, yeah. <laughs> Max HP, attack, speed, hit. Tro? T R D. Tro. Traversal. Traversal? Uh, <laughs> Defense. Movement, I assume, is MNT. Avo is avoidance, yeah. What the hell is T R O? Tro Trope. Trope. Trouble. Trombone. Trombone. How good are you with a trombone? You never had a chance. Is this edible? 
MNT is mental magical defense. Okay. Okay. See, I didn't think speed All was right. movement. I thought speed was like initiative. TRO is how far you can throw, throw items. Ah. MNT affects either special moves and magic. Well. Take this. Okay. Ah. Hell yeah. Hooray! Ah, the silly music of the Chaos Forest. <laughs> yes! Finally beat those wild Slothians! Maru, why don't you live in a town? Huh, can't be bothered. Town people are annoying. They're so bossy around things. Don't walk barefoot, or if you want something, you have to pay for it. A prince, you know, actually. They're all so rude. A prince? Yeah, that's right. Come and have a look at this. This crown is absolute proof. You see? Bet you're surprised. Where did you take that from? I didn't take it! It's a valuable treasure passed down through the generations in the country where I'm born. And the mask and those shoes. These... Well, I didn't take them, but... <laughs> Don't laugh, I really am a prince. Of what country? Well, a lot's happened and I can't really remember. I don't know why, but I was taken away from my country by one of my relatives. He was always saying to me, you're a prince, you know. He died ages ago, though. I see. But one day I'll find the country I was born. It's my dream to become the king there. Still, until then, I'm the king of Chaos Forest. Okay then, Maru. All right, I'll overlook the fact that you've been stealing from you, Bell, this time. But don't do it again. Haha! <laughs> Thank you. Right, uh, Maru, I'm in a hurry. Wait, wait a minute. You said you were going to Plum Canyon. What for? Our spirit stone miners are under attack by Deimos. I'm going to help. Right, then I'll go too. Karg, you can become one of my followers. Then I'll come and fight with you. It's not a game. Look, if you become a follower of mine, I'll show you the way to Plum Canyon. You'd have to fight Deimos. I can't take you along with me knowing the dangers. Hey, let me go with you! Both my parents died when I was young. I'm quite used to being alone, no problem at all. But when we teamed up and fought together just now, it felt great. I felt what it was like to have a companion. You don't have to become my follower, just let me go along with you, please. Ugh. Can't say no now. <laughs> yeah, I know, guilt tripped, god damn it. Right, yeah, we can say no, get fucked. <laughs> We're not going up against puny monsters this time. <laughs> what? Great! Fighting Deimos, it'll help me get stronger. Plum Canyon's that way. Let's get going, Karg. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're friends now, but I'm still your superior, right? <laughs> and thus, a small child joined our party. But I'm going back to town if I can, because I could really use a heal. Yeah, I could really use a heal. Oh boy. Ah, the children did get to play after all. The castle ruins really are the best place to ditch. Uh, do homework. Yeah, and no, I befriended it. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe you made friends with a monster, Lord Karg. That's amazing. I like how only this kid has a portrait. He's gonna be important enough to the plot that he gets a portrait, but the others don't. Ha! 
Sorry, but I'm taking you across the country. We're going on a guilt trip, and you ain't getting off until you can take off. <laughs> All right. No, not really. Heal first, because I think she's the one that heals me. Thank you very much. I assume that does not recharge my spirit stones, and that requires the actual in stock ones I have there. Now I want to hear your story. Told you I was an explorer who scours the world in search of treasure, right? Of all the treasures, the one that I can't stop hankering for is the great treasure of old, hidden deep inside the planet. Can't tell you exactly what it is because it's secret, but I can tell you that's huge. Let's say I did find it. Well, I don't think I could dig it up by myself. So I was thinking that maybe, you know, if I did find it, I could show it to you and you could help me out. Sounds good, eh? <laughs> well, that story sucks. I'm out. even have equipped nothing <laughs> meanwhile I have a bunch of shit equipped can unbelievable I even, can I even buy anything right now hello I need something for a small child Nope, can't afford any of them. Oh, buddy. Got the good herb. The anti toxic nut. Some soap. Cure stickiness? Oh my god. <laughs> Spirit stone. Alright, well, I think I'm just kind of hooped at this point, and we're basically at time now anyway, so... But we did get to do a boss fight, we got an actual fight, and we got a new party member, so there we go. Slowly making progress on this one, too. And that brings us to the final game of the night. AI, the Somnium Files. Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> the Konami Date cringe compilation. Oh, hell yeah. You excited? I, I love me some Date. The last thing we did in the game was we actually did a Somnium. Ooh. We had done the first proper Somnium of the game. That was the one with the, uh, the in the park with the, like... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The carousel and shit. Dang, yeah, I should get this on the next chaos cookie. I'm hoping so we can finish this chapter. There's barely anything left. Well, we'll do it next time, Hunter. Don't worry, you got you got a couple weeks if you want to try to make the push for it. They're basically at the same spot. The psalm. Car. I love it. Small child. <laughs> Computer room. Computer I love. Room. I love this whole whole thing where they like show you everything to like catch you up. But like they don't say anything. It's just like, do you remember these scenes? You're good. If you don't, oh, you're in trouble. <laughs> All right, time for Date to be an asshole. <laughs> Don't worry, I was taking a drink. I hadn't, I hadn't hit timer yet. They do say things in the sequel, they're dialogue bits. Ah, that would make more sense. Oh, that. I saw it too. 
Who or what do you think it was? Hmm. Most likely someone Mizuki saw in person projected into her subconscious. Dreams can only be constructed from images and experiences the subject was present for. Mizuki Samium couldn't have contained that figure if she didn't see it in person. Of course, not everything we see in our dreams looks exactly the same as it did in the real world. You saw some strange things in Somnium earlier, didn't you, Date? That event you experienced is obviously not as it happened in reality. Dreams are a collage of many memories, intertwining and blending with each other. Your skills as a sinker allow you to untangle those dreams and solve mysteries no one else can. And that was Dreamwatch. Yep, pretty much. Computer. You saw things in your dreams you that weren't like how they are in reality. Gee, I wonder. <laughs> well, let's you mean see. I don't? You mean I didn't show up at school <sighs> naked? It was you. I mean, there's not like Dutty. two other versions what? of me fucking with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm kidding. I'm not being pestered by a guy and girl version of myself. <laughs> in a normal dream, the person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. Dreams are first-person experiences. However, the circumstances are slightly different during a sink. The sinker dives into the subject's mind and experiences their subconscious thoughts. Which apparently is the Roman Colosseum. This dream is experienced as an observer, as though you were watching a play. The subject is the author, director, and actor. The sinker is merely the audience. Aiba is linked to your brain with an artificial nerve. To put it more simply, Aiba is a part of your brain. During sinking, your consciousness is sent into the subject's somnium. Part of Aiba's self is also synced, but only a part. Not all of Aiba's functions are transferred into somnium. So that's why Somnium Aiba is so dumb. Mm? Whoa. Don't call me dumb. Hey, Pewter, when we were in Somnium earlier, Iba was in human form. She's never looked like that before. That was Iba's idea. What? I thought you would be more pleased. I designed it to your taste. What part of that was my taste? The girl part. I know everything <laughs> inside your mind. You don't have to hide it. Pewter, Iba's broken. She's talking crazy. <laughs> I am not broken. <laughs> Perhaps Iba admires the human form. It's not that. It was just a little something. I consider Konami. She's Dottie got a crush. I owe him gratitude. She I loves Date. That appearance would make him happy. Why would that make me happy? What a fucking Chad, dude. It would have only made Date happier if she had bigger titties. Hey, yeah, pretty I much. Pop this cherry. What? <laughs> Date, you sounded quite proud of that pun. Perhaps you'd like to repeat it. <laughs> no thanks. It's not the same as the first time. Jesus Christ. I also do like that nobody said anything in response. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in the room is like, what the fuck, dude? What Silent. the fuck? Dodge, this is why no one likes you. <laughs> yeah. Dodge, look. It's a brown tube. Brown tube? Braun. <laughs> Ferdinand Braun. Inventor of the cathode ray tube. I can't get my head around that one. Sean also did not like that pun when he played it. That is fair. I'm gonna hit Date over the head with that. What? Where did that <laughs> come from? 
This is why I click on the random shit in the room, because I, you never know what the fuck anyone's gonna say. Yeah, dialogue in this game is so good. So, who was the writer for this again? What did they worked on? Were these? Was this the Dong and Rampa team? Was this the 999 team? I keep forgetting. I think it, I think it was the 999 team. Or both, because uh, zero nine, escape. 999, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Dude behind zero escape, gotcha. Oh yeah, boss is here. Yeah, I'm glad she's talking again. You healed the wounds in her heart by sinking with her. Well, you meaning you and Iba. The boss has extraordinary perception. I deserve much of the credit for helping Mizuki recover her voice. All you did was follow my instructions. Date, Mizuki needs you. Protect her. Not on the suspect. How would I know? We still don't have enough information. Continue your investigation, Special Agent. Not what I saw Insomnia. No need to report specifics. We saw it all from here in the control room. What the sinker sees insomnium is projected here, remember? We've got it all recorded. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? I invented it. Anyway, we know about the figure you saw. I wonder who that could be. Do you have any questions? Right, there was something. Hey, Mizuki. When we found you, you were holding the ice pick, right? Can you tell us why? When I got there, the ice pick was, it was, it was stuck in my mom's eye. I couldn't think straight. I, the only thing I could think was, I had to get it out. So you panicked and pulled it out? Yeah. And you held on to it when you hid in the column? Yeah. Okay, just one more question. This is very important. When you pulled out the ice pick, was Shoko's eye still there? I'm pretty sure it wasn't. The eye socket was empty. Yeah. Thank you, Mizuki. That was very helpful. Boss shines in moments like this. She doesn't hesitate to ask anything. It's a pretty now fucked up question to ask, though. When we got to the scene, it was definitely missing. And it has not yet been recovered. We can therefore conclude it has been removed from the scene. Fucked up unnecessary? I mean, I guess. Yeah, you're right. What's inside this? Sometimes a cleaning lady is hiding inside. What? That's disturbing. What? <laughs> <laughs> you know. Normal shit. Yeah, it's regular normal shit. Alright. Uh, are you hungry? I'm fine now. But I didn't forget your promise. A promise? You said you'd take me. So you heard that, huh? Infonia only affects speech. Her hearing should still be intact. Sure, Mizuki. When we're all done here. Stew. <laughs> Do pickles? I told Stew. you I'm fine. So annoying. I annoyed you already, huh? The pressure is annoying. What pressure? Force over area measured in Pascal's dummy. <laughs> I see she is back to her usual self. Her attitude is within normal parameters. I think I liked her better when she was silent. <laughs> that figure I saw. Who is that figure I saw? What? 
Insomnia in your dream. I saw a silhouette. Date, Mizuki would not understand the question. She does not experience Somnium as you do. You are witnessing a dream inside her brain. Never mind. Did you see anyone at the merry-go-round the night you found Shoko? I did. I saw someone. In the corner, past the merry-go-round. Who did you see? I don't know. It was dark and raining. They looked scary, so I hid inside the merry-go-round. The door was open a little bit, so I snuck in. Who sent you the Nile message? I... I can't tell you. Why not? Because I don't want to. That's not a reason. You were at the scene of the crime because of that Nile message. Whoever sent it to you is a prime suspect. I don't think she is going to answer. When she is in a mood, it's impossible to get her to talk. That's the kind of girl she is. <sighs> Sometimes I think you know her better than I do. How long do you think I've been observing her? It's been four years now. Correct. I know things that even you do not know. Like? Actually, never mind. Some things I'm better off not knowing. By the way, we already looked into Mizuki's cell phone. Unfortunately, the contents were wiped. I'm tracing the sender of the Nile message through other means, but it's taking me some time. Alright, summarize it all for me. Anyway, I get the story. Mizuki witnessed a suspicious person at the scene, but she didn't get a good look at them. Maybe there's something at the scene we missed. Date, could you return to the scene of the crime? There might be more to Bloom Park than we first thought. All right, I guess we're done here. Let's go back to Bloom Park. Any eyeballs? Anyone drop an eyeball around here? <laughs> Did it roll underneath here, the merry-go-round? Here, eyeball, eyeball. Anyone got an eyeball magnet? <laughs> Anyone got a little, like, mini vacuum? I mean, eyeballs do be fucking... Walking and talking in this world, so it's not out of the ordinary. Casual reminder for chat that this game goes on sale somewhat regularly for eight bucks across all platforms, and if you have a deck, it plays great on there, as does the sequel, Nirvana Initiative. Both games are on the Switch, right? Because I know Nirvana is. I couldn't remember if this one was as well. I think it is. Yes, I believe so. Yeah, so. And highly recommend it. It's one of those games that, like, you'll play through and then you'll think about for the next, like, five years. It'll just, it'll just, it'll just, like, make a blender of your brain. Slight hitching on Switch, but it's a, a visual novel, so it doesn't really matter all that much. Yeah. I mean, you're not Somewhere doing, like, frame-perfect right? inputs in this game, really. Yep. A bench. Yeah, I do. What do you remember? I went to this amusement park when I was little. I was four. I remember it so clearly. This is where I saw my mom and dad smile. I had so many happy memories here. The only happy memories I really have are from here. Memories of my family are so bright and colorful. But now, this is where mom... You saw that person standing here, right? A man? Yeah. What was he doing? Wait, what? I don't know, it was dark. But 
Uh, friendly reminder, he was Yuchi Koshi also was the 3D standing, modeler for Pepsi Girl. Man? <laughs> but I don't remember amazing. Absolutely amazing. No way. Went to hide so sick. Car. If that's true, that's incredible. Yeah. What do you care? You never My man just doesn't ever. miss. And I liked it that way. I don't want you getting close to me. You think I like you now because I hugged you after the sink? Did you think, aw, how sweet she likes me? Don't get it twisted. I only hugged you because you were standing right in front of me. Could have been anything. Could have been a pole or cactus. In fact, I wish it were a cactus. So stop worrying about me, okay? So she says. Nothing. Just wondering where this goes. Yuchikoshi's first work was a 3D modeler for Pepsi Man. He said Kid was kind of a very murder barn place to work. Oh, that sucks. Kawasaki District buildings in the distance. The sky! UFO. No way, that's a plane. No UFO. No way, that's a drone. Oh, a UFO. No way, just a grandma. What? <laughs> that grandma's booking it through the night sky. I must be really, really tired. There are no stars tonight. Jesus Christ. This fucking game, dude. Ferris wheel. The eye that doesn't blink. Iba. What's past here? This leads to the subway. The subway? It has of course closed down. It is no longer in service. This is due to the explosion at the chemical plant that occurred years ago. The surrounding district of Kawasaki was contaminated and declared off limits. Bloom Park closed for the same reason. As did all commerce and industry in Kawasaki. This means the railroads and public transportation to and from this area were shut down as well. <laughs> How has Pepsi Man come up twice tonight separately? Mm. I guess the other time was the memory card icon, but still. It's funny that this has come up twice and it's been relevant both times. Kid is very important to Yuchi Koshi's story as his creator, though, as that's where he became a writer on the Infinity series, including Ever 17, The Out of Infinity. And if you ever play that, you'll 100% understand how we came to make Zero Escape. The subway. Iba, does the entire track run underground? No. The track leading northward from Bloom Park eventually rises to ground level. At a railroad crossing? Correct. Then the tracks must cross the surface street at some point. Correct. A railroad crossing. Railroad crossing? Iba, do me a favor. Can you see if any cars were driving on that surface street last night? Searching. Hey, you've been quiet for a long time. Are you okay? I'm just thinking. I've got something. I picked up a single vehicle traversing that street last night. A black SUV. I ran the plate through the vehicle registration database to find the owner. Who was it? Shoko Nadami's ex-husband and Mizuki's father. Renju Okira. Dramatic music time. So let me get this straight. You think that daddy drove his car on the tracks through the tunnel, stopped at the closed down station and carried mom's body to the park? I can't prove it was Renju. There's a chance someone else was driving the car. Yeah. Yeah. But in any case, I know that the suspect must have used the subway tracks. That explains why there were no cars parked near the scene. 
Using that subway station, we could take the body right to the merry-go-round without being caught on camera. Daddy didn't do it. I am not so certain. Either way, I have to talk to Renju. And you can help me find him. Stupid jokes I'm gonna get because of the car this time. Or I guess they got them all out of the system earlier. It steers the car. They did some really dumb joke last time we were in the car, and I can't remember what the hell it was, but I just remember being like, what are they saying? I don't wanna say anything. I don't wanna talk to you. I don't wanna talk to anyone who thinks my daddy is a killer. Look, I don't wanna believe it either. I've known him for more than five years now. He's like family to me. I want to put cuffs on him? I never want Mizuki to see that. Anyways, Ranju isn't just, just isn't the kind of guy who would commit a crime like this. Hey, Mizuki, tell me again. The person you saw at the merry-go-round. No, it wasn't Daddy. I know it wasn't. You're sure? Well, I... The joke was sticking your hands out the window feels like you're holding D cups. What the fuck? Yeah, that seems like a joke this game would do. I think about a week ago, when I went to hang out at Lemnus Gate. Did you notice anything different about him? Nothing really. He was the same as usual. And he didn't come to see you in the hospital, did he? No. Not even for his own daughter. That is very unusual. Mizuki, Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? What? I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. I got some help from them. Bad personality? It was a message sent at 8.05 last night. Does it sound familiar? Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Yeah, that was it. It was from Daddy's phone. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... So you kept quiet. Yeah. My dad's never said anything like that to me, ever. That he was counting on me? I had to go. But you invited Ota along. Bloom Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki District. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime rate there. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. But it couldn't be him. Why not? Daddy couldn't have sent the message. Someone else must have used his phone. And his car. Daddy wasn't driving the car either. Somebody else did it. Copia. Killer did it, not <laughs> Daddy. The only evidence we have so far leads to one conclusion. The cell phone and the car were both operated by Renju Okiura. When was the last time you spoke with your dad? I don't remember. It was a while ago. What about you? What about me? You tried calling him. I did. I called earlier, and I tried a few times last night. And he didn't pick up? No. Patch it into my eyeball. <laughs> hey, I just got the report from Ima. Renju is a suspect? He's definitely suspicious. I agree. I think he's our number one suspect. He's been acting strange since last night. He didn't come see Mizuki in the hospital, won't pick up his phone, and he vanishes after questioning. He doesn't have an alibi for the time of the murder, either. He doesn't? No, not one we can corroborate. I don't have a cell phone, but my eyeball works as one. <laughs> Jesus. Alright. 
That ranger's questioning. Didn't have much to say at all, really. That ranger's alibi. Shoko's time of death was estimated to be about 5 p.m. <laughs> An iPhone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice one, Jazz. Why'd you release him? So Renji was questioned at a local station? That's right. Then why didn't you keep him there? Protocol. Nothing we could do. He wasn't a suspect then, and we had nothing to charge him with. We couldn't hold him. You idea where he is? No, I told you he vanished. Where are you headed? Renji's house. Don't bother. I had local cops search the place. Didn't find anything. <sighs> where could he be? Hang up the phone. All right, boss. Let me know if you find something. You too. Keep me in the loop. Where the hell did Renju go? Uh, Sunpoke? What? What? Um, Sunpoke. Or something. Oh, Sunfish Pocket. Renju was telling me about that place. It's a maid cafe that he runs. Wait, what? <laughs> I found it. You didn't go to his business? North, north east. In Akihabara. <laughs> Don't have to tell Date twice to go to a maid cafe. Oh my god. <laughs> Sunfish Pocket, Saturday, 10 20 p.m. Be. How to traumatize traumatize a child again? Speed run any percent, hundred percent traumatize. All right, so you saw your mom die, so now you're gonna see your dad die too. Yeah, yeah, it's you know. Rip the band-aid off, you know. Renju. Yikes, dude. Damn. Damn. That fucking sucks. They're really hanging on that scene. Wow, okay. <laughs> oh, poor choice of words. How can he be killed <laughs> if he is killed? Impossible. This baby can fit so much trauma in it. Jesus. Day three, Sunday. Soyokube AI. Police headquarters, Sunday, 9.17 a.m. So you will not believe what I saw, guys. <laughs> <laughs> My eyeball took some awful. pictures for you if you want to see them. Have you been sleeping any? <laughs> I'll upload it to your eyeball. Do you have an eyeball? I don't have it in me to sleep right now. Oh, just me? Oh, that's too bad. Oh my god, I forgot how fucking busy this office is. Oh my god, there's so much shit in it. There's a lot of stuff. There's an achievement for clicking every fucking thing in the room. <laughs> Which I think we've already done before, so it's not gonna be any different, so. Yeah, none of these, none of these are saying anything new. Boy band poster, I love boy band. They're my favorite, boy band. <laughs> or just favorite band, really. Am I not allowed to be here? No, I didn't mean it like that. I was here first. I was just talking to the boss about Renju's murder. All right, we got 20 seconds left. This is probably a great place to stop before digging too much into it. Date, hey kid, you want to see another dead body? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right, that is time, and that is all the Chaos Cookie games. We are fully caught up. I have to do a, um, a Dokapon stream at some point. That may end up not happening until after.
Kahlo, unfortunately. I'm gonna see if I can get people together for it, but no one seems super gung-ho about it. Uh, but... I'm gonna do my best for that. Coliseum is in three weeks, folks, so, uh, you can get your game suggestions in again for that. Chaos Cookie is confirmed. Uh, we will have a similar setup like last year, where you can use a separate site to donate, to pick games for on-stream and off. I assume we're doing the same setup. We haven't... We're, we'll figure that out later. Um, but an important thing that I guess we did not make super clear last year, you can use the site, and as long as you leave a message, it will work for donation incentives for other segments. Because they will still show up normally for us. It's just it will also be tracked in the Chaos Cookie system. So that's an important thing to, to keep in mind. Yeah, Deep says, I'm literally working on Chaos Cookie right now, actually. Lol. There you go. Straight from the dragon's mouth. Like, editing its actual code. Alrighty then, folks. Schedule for the week, Monday... So, the schedule's actually all fucked up for this week. Because I forgot about a bunch of things. So, uh, it was going to be a pretty standard schedule. It is now basically a whatever schedule. <laughs> Uh, Monday is, is a sponsored segment for, uh, a, a dare drop game that I'm playing. It's like a hockey, like, beat-em-up, but also multiplayer, uh, mini, like, arcade hockey game. It looks really silly, but I'm kind of excited for it. Uh, Wednesday is also a whatever Wednesday, uh, because Monday's gonna be a whatever day as well. Uh, but it's also starting with a weird sponsored segment, because... One of my friends is launching a board game? So, he's launching a Kickstarter for the board game, so we're actually gonna stream the game and show it off. So, we're actually- he's gonna come over to the house, because he's a local friend. Uh, we're gonna show off the board game and play it on stream. That sounds cool. That's cool. I'm- I'm so proud of him for getting that shit done, man. It's he's working, really he's working hard. for like two years. Yeah, it, it takes a long time. Uh, and then Saturday is either Fortune Cookie, regular, vanilla Fortune Cookie, or it's going to be a Dokapon Kingdom stream. It will depend on who's available for what and when. So, so yeah, it's a bit of a weird week, but uh, that's it. Disc only should be Tuesday. Uh, that was the original plan, but uh, some things have thrown some wrenches into that plan, in case you weren't aware. Um, uh, and for some reason, I feel like Thursday I got something going on that's not top-down? I don't know if that's been locked in, but rumor has it I might be playing some games with some friends. Video games. We'll see. We will see. Jules, Jack, thanks for hanging out. Jack, thank you for hanging out for the entire thing. I didn't think you were going to pull, you didn't think we were going to do that. But thank you for doing it. Oh, yeah, dude, my pleasure, man. It was fun. Jack's built different. I'm built diff. I can, I'm a gamer, you know? Super gamer, man. <laughs> yeah, GG's. All right. Jules and Jack, I will see you guys. I was supposed to say next week. <laughs> Three weeks from now, I'll see you all in person. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. God, no. no. Thank you for signing up for every stream ever. <laughs> uh... More Jack, please. No more jewels. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, we will not do Art Block because we have been live for seven hours. So apologies to those who did Art Block because I see there's also a draw pile in there as well. We will do all that Monday. The super Art Block on Monday. It'll be a big chunky Art Block then. Uh, what is our raid message, folks? Jules and Jack are about to show up to your house like a canon event. Oh, God. I mean, you guys are invited <laughs> over here anytime. You just gotta, you know, come to Canada. Alright, I'll be there tomorrow. Sweet, see you then. I, I, want, I, want, I want Bagel and Yuna to hang out. I don't know how Bagel would hang around small dogs. Weirdly enough, he seems okay with, like, medium-sized dogs. Mm -hmm. But also, like, he's never had a dog in the house, so I'm wondering how he would act about that. Yeah, there might, there might be some territory shit. Alerts and eggs. 
McClarkey Official for 37, Kimikawa for 49, Matrix Pichu for 64, Watson Aeon for 82, Scruff Kerfluff for 75, Bleach Bummer for 95. Sixty Garbwar says, Stream's going to Outback Stab House. Your treat. Mm, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I like my fingers. Voodoo Rabbit for 37. Have you ever played a game on Genesis called Pulse Man? Yes, we've even streamed it. Never finished it, though. Delo Comics for 79. Remember that time the Kev's mech shot Ang the Angus mech in the dick? Thank you. I haven't worn that Robocop shirt in a bit. I should do that. Uh, vale Lee for 48. Eye Penguin 12 for 69. Nice. Legend of Daniel says, One of these years, John will finish another Xenoblade game. One of these years. Ugh. I'm not promising Xenoblade 2 as a, as a uh, thing. I can't do it. I genuinely can't. It was a year of streaming that game, basically. Angel the Unlikely for 45. Lord Gamer Jars is for 18. Hey, John, hope you are doing well. Hope to see you at Momocon. I'll see you there. Also curious if you guys are confirmed for Odafest. We are not guesting at Odafest. I might just pop in to say hi to some local friends, but we are not guesting or running a panel or anything at Odafest. I'll just go because it's, you know, local. That Crazy Crabs for 35 with that weird jom message. <laughs> You know, now that I realize it, I read out the entire message, but didn't even realize the thing about the part where it says Jom. It says Jom, J-O-M. And not John. But it says Jom twice, but every other word has the J mess up. Now what was that word supposed to be instead? Weird Al Tangovic for 99 and anonymous with the pet with the man. No message. Thanks for stopping and hanging out, folks. Here's your egg. You will give me a nice shot. And everyone says mom, I guess. Oh, God. All right. What's our actual raid message, folks? You promised it for the 2.9 million instead? That's true. If I am given 2.9 million dollars, I will, in fact, play through the game and dress as Mithra. But I need to be given, for me, 2.9 million dollars. I guess me and my wife. Yeah, 2.9 million dollars. Three minutes of gameplay, Xenoblade 3 the movie, Bagel Butt birthday. I do like Big Boss birthday. Watch me traumatize this child. We might get in trouble for that one. And boobs, or is that off the table? Look, I'll still get the boobs if someone gives me $2.9 million. It's only fair. This could fit so much trauma. Trauma the game. <laughs> uh, I think we'll, we'll, we'll do Big Boss birthday since it's Bagel's birthday now. Let's, let's go to see who is live at 2.35 on a Saturday. Mari's tempting. She's streaming Mario Party 6 Salty Bet with the CPU playing. Patty's playing Balatro. Tom's doing life hack bingo. Oh, we haven't had it. We have not rated our boy on Sandy Live in a while. Oh, he's got a fresh card, so he's going to be here for a bit. Let's go say hi to Sandy Live and let's tell him about the big boss birthday. What the fuck is he looking at right now? Jesus Christ. What the hell is well, this? Which is why I went, what the fuck? And then they put it on a tray and they put whipped cream on it. Damn it, is a follower only? Seriously? Motherfucker. And honestly, not too bad, but kind of nasty, but it's kind of boring. Sadly, Twitch is about to run ads uh, against my control, but I promise you, you're not going to miss anything, so just let it ride. I'm going to, I am going to run the bingo card right now. Big Boss birthday? What are you guys talking about? No, Big Boss isn't... Big Boss isn't Metal Gear. What's Big Boss from? Damn it. Welcome, everybody. Damn, hello! Hello, All right, go give Tom some love. Oh, He's funny. a good dude. Love him. I miss him because he used to live somewhat nearish. And uh, I will see you guys all on Monday. Peace, chat. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.
a terrible time. Not We're everybody. Run. Welcome, y'all. How's everybody doing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for anyone encountering an ad at the moment. Damn it. You have come at the, what I would argue, the best and worst moment. Not only are we in the overtime mode of this stream, this is this is the final life hack bingo card. So while you you're not getting the full stream experience, you are getting the last best time. I'm still trying to understand the picture he has on his screen right now, which looks like a giant pile of meat just getting like stuffed. I don't know how else to describe <laughs> it. It looks it looks like the sandworm from Dune right now. I don't I, like, I don't even like what what do I describe this as and what keep it PG fuck, and yeah. keep it PG. What? That's the that's the Sarlacc pit from Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, not everybody. Rah!